Hey there, it's Louie, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a volcano bag. So this is a new bag that I designed during a live stream uh, to hold my little dinosaurs, because I had just too many of these dinosaurs, and I just, I had, I needed a bag to hold them. So I made this cute volcano bag. He's got this cute little face. I did add a butt to it, uh, just so you know. And it's got these two tail ends so that you can tighten it tight as well. Just heads up, this video is a series of live stream crochet alongs. So it's actually three live streams that I did put together into one video. That way, um, I made it that way so that you could, uh, I could show you how I design these patterns live in videos, but it is pretty long. So to help kind of like mitigate the length of the video, I decided to add time codes in the description of this video so you can quickly jump to different parts of the pattern. And you can follow along with the written version of these instructions uh, as well as download the printable PDF version. Uh, it's also an interactive PDF, so it's got like check marks to keep track of your progress. You can find all that at clubcrochet.com slash volcano. Uh, yeah, I think that's just about it. I talk about all the materials you need uh, in the videos, but just quick uh, recap, I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% wool. I think I'm using Lion Brand's Wool Ease for the majority of this pattern, and I'm using a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. That's gonna be for the body, and then a um, size uh, G uh, 4.5 five millimeter crochet hook. I'm using that for the eyes and the tongue. Um, but uh, again, I'll go through all of that during the video. If you have any questions, please be sure to let me know in the description of this video. We also have a Discord channel and a Facebook group. I mean, in the comments. We also have a Discord channel and the Facebook group. And uh, let me know if you have any other ideas for bags that you'd like to see me do in the future. Uh, I'd like to do more of these live stream crochet along design, design along patterns. Um, we've gotten a pretty decent amount of cool designs from that, like that bag there in the back, which I'm going to be adding to the website soon as well. Um, and the plesiosaur, uh, one of the dinosaurs for this bag, is actually from a design along. So I'll be doing more of those in the future. If you like that kind of stuff uh, and you like that idea, please, please be sure to like this video down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss it when I come out with more new videos like uh, more design alongs, which I do now every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's not always a design along, sometimes it's just a crochet along, but regardless, you should join. They're way fun. If you like this video, you'll probably like the live streams as well. Okay, well, without further ado, I think that's just about it. Um, again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and happy hooking. Okay, bye. I didn't close the door, but you know what? We're gonna survive, and it's all gonna be good. Jimbo's already in this room anyhow. Hello everybody, welcome to the live stream. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, today's live stream is gonna be a little bit different, a little bit weird, kinda, and also I think just like a, the first part of a two-parter um, because I think this is gonna take more than one live stream. So I think we're gonna go for like, try to go for at least like two hours today uh, crocheting this. What we're gonna be making today is we are making, look at that, there we go. We're making a volcano for all my dinosaurs. Uh, specifically, we're gonna kind of try to make something about maybe this big, maybe a little bit smaller than this. This is our bonimal bag, our monomal, that I keep all my bonimals in. Um, but I needed something similar for the, uh, the dinosaurs. So I wanna make something kind of similar, but it's a volcano instead of like a little face like this. But I still obviously wanna make it a pickle. I, 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 you made me say pickle. You made me, <laughs> you, you, you got me. <laughs> I want it to look like a volcano, not a pickle, all right? Um, <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Um, <laughs> so anyhow, we're gonna be making a bag today. Now the pattern that I'm gonna be using, uh, I'm gonna be using a pattern that I have on the website for a bag. Uh, it's just at um, clubcrochet.com slash bag. I'll put that link on the screen. But uh, let's just switch, oh wait, before I switch cameras, I uh, am doing a giveaway today. So if you would like to, we're gonna put this right here for right now. Uh, if you would like to get a chance to win a $20 gift card to the Club Crochet store, um, I put a form in the description and it's currently pinned in the chat right at the top of the chat, wherever that be. 
Um, I will uh, probably be removing that in just a second. But what I'm basically looking for is uh, some feedback on some merch that I'm working on, which you can see I'm wearing uh, the first example right here. We're getting merch made for Jimbo, my kitty cat, holding a ball of yarn. Here, look, I made it as a mug, too, to give that a shot. Looks pretty cute. Um, I'm looking for some feedback, like what kind of merch uh, this should be, um, what like what shirt sizes you are to like see what kind of shirt sizes to order, uh, things like that. So feel uh, uh, feel free to enter that giveaway, um, and I will announce a winner at the end of the live stream. So that's that. Now let's switch it to the other thing. By the way, today I'm drinking uh, tea, black tea. I need her to wake up a little bit, you know. Um, okay, let's switch over to this right there. Wow, that timing was pretty good, right? This is like volcano music, if you ask me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not crazy, all right? Who said that? Anyhow, hi guys. All right, so today we're gonna be making a volcano. Now, I do not have the crochet pattern yet. Um, I will be putting it on the website. Uh, Cooper in the chat, say hello to Cooper. Hi, Cooper, is helping us out. He's a moderator today. He's gonna be uh, helping keep track of the pattern. And then after these live streams, I think it'll probably take two, maybe three live streams to complete this pattern. Um, we'll put it on the website. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. Um, but if you would like to uh, crochet along with me, I'm going to be using that bag pattern as a, a base pattern. You can find it at clubcrochet.com slash bag. Um, it should be in the description of the video uh, for where that is. If it's not, uh, just go to the website, look up, do a little search for bag, you'll find it. Uh, as far as colors go, I'm using, uh, I think it's worsted weight. It feels like it's worsted weight. Um, but today we're using wool yarn. I wanted to use something a little bit more um, elastic, I guess. We're gonna be using a, a brown for the majority of the volcano. And then we're gonna use this like, kind of like, um, kind of like a lava, I'm gonna say it's a lava orange, blood orange maybe. Uh, and that's gonna be used for the lava. You'll also need a little bit of white for the eyes and then some black yarn for the mouth. Uh, and I'm probably gonna do a tongue, but that'll probably be near the end. Because this pattern is gonna be a little bit bigger than, uh, like I'm gonna be using a little bit larger of a crochet hook this time. So I'm gonna be using a size I9 crochet hook. Normally I use a size G, so there is that. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, so that's all the things you'll need. Oh, and I'm gonna use a piece of cardboard here. You can see I have a cardboard and the scissors because I wanna cut out a big round base for it so it has a very flat base. Um, that's the idea there. Okay, well, I think that's just about it for what you're going to need for this pattern. You also might need some safety eyes, so I brought out my little um, thing of safety eyes. That's gonna be for the eyes there, but I don't think we'll need it in this video. We'll probably need it later on. Um, today we're gonna try to crochet the eyes and get about at least halfway on the body of the volcano before uh, the live stream's finished, but we're gonna aim for a five o'clock finishing time, so about two hours stream. Um, okay, I think that's about it for what you need. Um, uh, uh, if you'd like to support this channel, here's how you can do so. Um, if you'd like to support this channel, it would be really cool if you did. The first way is free and cheap and easy. All you have to do is like this video down below. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not, hit the bell icon so you get notified when we do these live streams. Uh, we do live streams like this all the time. We do, uh, I'm coming out with new crochet patterns all the time, stuff like that. Uh, it's a great way to help support this channel. If this video gets 350 likes, I'll do another giveaway next live stream. So I'm upping it again. So last live stream was 300 likes, this live stream 350. So if this video gets 350 likes, we'll do another giveaway next live stream um, because today we're doing that giveaway uh, and you can enter the form. Uh, I'll keep it in the chat just for a little bit longer until I finish my spiel. Um, if you'd like to help support this channel monetarily, uh, the best way to do that is with the Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the full library of tutorials, which I add new ones to every single month. Uh, this month, actually, this pattern is going to be up probably by the end of the weekend. We'll have the Plesiosaur pattern uh, up. I just I finished the recording. Everything's all ready to go. I even have the PDF done. But 
Uh, I just need to get it onto the website. Um, so it should be up by Monday. So if you are a Club Crochet member, you'll get access to the new Plesiosaur pattern by Monday. Um, and I'm working on a Raptor pattern. Whoop, that looks like this. Um, I'm actually looking for feedback right now. So if you'd like to give me feedback on the Raptor, you can go to clubcrochet.com slash Raptor. But if you have a membership, you can get access to all my patterns, all my tutorials, uh, and it's a great way to help support this channel. You can either get, even get monthly kits mailed to your door each month with all the materials that you need to make whatever we're making that month. This month, uh, we are, I'm extending the membership, the Club Crochet Kit membership sign up until Monday because that's when the kits go out. So if, you, if you'd like to sign up for the Club Crochet Pro Kit, you do have till Monday. Um, this is for the September kit. You're gonna either make a plesiosaur or a brontosaurus, and it has enough yarn and eyes and everything and stuffing to make an additional raptor. So you'll make a little raptor. It actually probably has enough for making two raptors. Uh, and you can choose between a brontosaurus and a plesiosaur, whichever kit you want. But each kit makes, uh, you can make the other design with it. So it's kind of cool and you get all the designs with the kit as well. Um, that's with the Club Crochet Pro Kit. You can also purchase merch and kits in the store. It's a great way to help support the channel. Um, I have a bunch of different pins and stuff, and soon we'll have the this uh, the little Jimbo pin. So that's gonna kind of be cool too. Okay, what size hook? Uh, in a size I nine. It's a little blurry. There you go. I think that's in focus. A size I nine. 5.5 millimeter crochet hook is what I'll be using in this video. Um, why don't we clean up our workstation and get started and say hi to the chat. Hi to the chat. How's everybody doing? Um, oh, that's right. There is one other way you can help support, and that is with a donation, uh, a tip, if you will. Um, if you'd like to tip, you can go to clubcrochet.com slash tip. There's a link in the description. Uh, or you can tip with a super chat. There's a little dollar icon next to the chat icon. Uh, and that's a great way to help just support this channel in general. And if you do tip, I'll put something out for you during the live stream. And I think I've decided if you tip more than... I'm going to let this first one go, but... If you tip more than $15, we're gonna up it a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna put something out right here. This is uh, my, by the way, this is my office right now. So if you tip for $15, I'm gonna permanently put, well, at least semi-permanently, put out something pretty big for you in the background uh, so that you can have something up like in my office. So like I'll actually like look at it all the time and it won't go down until this whole, uh, ledge is filled up with Amy Gurumi and then we'll take a big group picture and say thank you and then we'll clear it out and do it again uh, I just thought it'd be kind of fun um, yeah so if you support for a decent amount I'll yeah I'll do that Louis say pickle no oh wait dang it god um, okay so uh, we actually already did get a few tips oh my god we got three already okay so the first tip is from Cooper. Oh my gosh, Cooper, you are a champ, you know? Uh, Cooper supported for 30 bones. That's a, <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Um, oh shoot, I meant to find, you know what? We're gonna put this one out for Cooper because I wanna put this one out anyhow and this way Cooper can, can know that he was the reason that it's out. We're gonna put out Sunshine, the sunflower. Isn't it beautiful? Perfect for, st it's still summer, right? Kind of. This is gonna be out for you, Cooper. We're gonna put it right, uh-oh. Doesn't really, here, you can bend it. You can bend it a little bit like that. Hopefully it gets enough sunshine. There we go. Oh, that's great. Yes, that's great. So this thing's, hopefully we're gonna fill it all the way up eventually. Um. Yeah, someone get him a trophy. He d he's got two trophies now. He's got Freddy and Sunshine there. And then also for Johnny, um, thank you so much. They said, oh yeah, that's right. You got your wisdom teeth out. Well, congratulations on getting your wisdom teeth out. I hope you're having an okay time. Uh, but to say thanks, let's put something out in the background for you. Let's see. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Something big and beautiful. Something big and beautiful. About, about 
No, that's creepy. Ooh, ooh, how about this guy? I can't remember what this is exactly, but we'll put out this for you. Um, he's kind of like a weird little creature that I made like a while ago, but he's so fuzzy and cute. And you know what, Johnny? I know you're in a wisdom teeth like kind of like, whoa, uh, probably mindset, but that means you might come up with a really good name for it. So if you got a good name or uh, kind of like what this creature is, here's another, I'll open it. Uh, let me know and we'll give it a name. I'm gonna put it right in between these two like this. Right? That's pretty good. You can kind of see it. Yeah. It'd be nice to have a little camera, like, right here or something, so that you could, like, just see what's going on in this thing. But, yeah, give it a name. I've got a little piece of paper and pen out so I can put little uh, name cards and stuff. Um, and then the last support was for Tina. Tina, thank you so much. Give Jack the money so he has some food and say hi to Jules and the cats. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure to give Jack that money. Thank you so much for your support, Tina. Um, okay, let's get back to it. Uh, and obviously, let me know if we get a tip that I don't notice because for some reason the sound isn't working right for the tips. I need to, I need to fix that a little bit. Um, okay, so I think the first thing that I'm gonna do actually, well, no, no, no. The first thing we're gonna do is start just crocheting the base of the volcano. Um, I'll keep the, I'm gonna keep this. Where am I putting? these scissors do you know do you know where I'm putting these scissors because I don't know well I'm gonna put it with the cardboard that I had but I don't know where I put that cardboard um, where did I put oh here it is okay so we're gonna put this with the cardboard just so that we don't forget that it exists take a sip of tea because we got stew and now we'll get crocheting. Okay. We also don't need the eyes yet. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start with my brown yarn. This is just gonna be what, what the majority of the volcano is. I kinda wanted to do a slightly darker brown, but I didn't, I don't have any like on hand. So this is the brown we're using and that's okay. Um, I don't think this is gonna be the first volcano that I make. I mean, the only volcano that I make, it is gonna be the first one, but I wanna do a few of these, I think. Uh, just because I think this is gonna be really cool and a really good um, I have a feeling this will be a really cool design for Lava Run my new game that I'm working on uh, That is like about dinosaurs escaping a volcano uh, If you want to test out this game by the way I put a link in the description for where you can test it out We're still looking for another like 50 testers So if you are interested in testing a new game that you can crochet your pieces for uh, it's totally free to test it out. I just need feedback um, to see how the game works, if it works well. Um, this is just the first wave, and then I'll do another wave of testing where I'm going to update it with like one player, like uh, single player rules and adding some additional things and changing some designs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if you would like to give me feedback, uh, you can uh, in the uh, description. You can find that. Also, let me change. Let me get rid of this thing real quick. Unpin that. There we go. Here, you know what? Let me try this out, actually. Test. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Boom. Hold on. Boom. And then I'll pin that message. I just learned about pinning messages on the chat, so it's kind of cool. There we go. That's where you can uh, check out the Lava Run game. But yes. Oh, Cooper. Cooper beat me to it, even. God, Cooper's such a champ. All right, so we got four. Um, I'm using the bag pattern on the website as the base design. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's actually a pretty shockingly easy pattern. It's just a lot of crocheting. So this is just gonna be a lot of, a lot of crocheting. Um, I'm thinking of soon changing the style one, two, three, four, eight of these live streams uh, because I have just such a cool room here that you can't see. Uh, I can't, hold on, I'm having a hard time getting into this stitch right there. Um, so yeah, so the first, I have a feeling, by the way, Cooper, if you are keeping track of the pattern, 
the first, uh, I'm going to keep the first probably six rounds at least the same as the bag pattern. So we're just going to continuously be increasing it up. We started with eight single crochets into a magic loop, and now I'm doing an increase into each stitch all the way around to go up uh, to 16, and then I'll do a single crochet, then an increase. So yeah, it'll slowly be ramping up in size as we go. But yeah, the first the first bit is gonna be the exact same. And I will likely uh, be doing a little bit of alterations here and there throughout this pattern. But I'll make sure to let you know as I go. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is I am planning on trying out a different, um, so a couple things. First off, I'm planning on changing the days and times that I do live streams. So right now, we were doing them on Sundays at one. Uh, I kind of a little bit want my weekends. Like, I feel like Sundays, sometimes I have to like miss it out because like I have a wedding that I have to go to that weekend. So I'm thinking of changing it to being Tuesdays and Thursdays doing live streams. Thursdays for sure. Like I'll do a live stream every Thursday at 3 p.m. just like this one. Um, but then on Tuesdays, maybe also doing a live stream but doing it on uh, like either doing a gaming live stream or, or just like changing the, the, um, the system up a bit. Maybe not doing a live stream here on Club Crochet if I do gaming, but on my Louis Loops channel. But basically pushing Tuesdays and Thursdays to be either live streams or I'm recording a pattern or something like that. But always, always be um, creating something new for the channel. So I'll keep you, uh, you updated on that. I definitely think that like this volcano pattern, for example, um, I knew that I was like, man, this pattern is going to get so big eventually that it's going to be hard to get it in the camera, right? So then I was like, okay, well, what if I did it where I'm just like sitting, crocheting, and you see like me instead of seeing like just my hands? Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm still thinking it through a little bit. Uh, but let me know what you think about that. Also, let me know what you think about the uh, Jimbo design. I think it's super cute and I'm really excited about it, but I just hope that you feel that way too. And if you don't, uh, let me know why, I guess. <laughs> um, did you get the name I've been trying to say? Oh, j oh, you've been trying to say, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Wompert. Oh, he's totally a Wompert. Totally a Wompert. Let me write that down. Wampert. Also, is the music too loud? It feels like it's loud. But, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I entered the giveaway, but I have to go to work. No, 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 you can still win, for sure. You don't have to be present during the giveaway. I'll email you if you won the giveaway. So don't worry about being present. And the music is fine, okay, I'm glad. All right, Wompert, how am I spelling that? I'm guessing it's, yeah, cool. W, L, N. And then I'm gonna put on the back here, who donated. Perfect. There we go. It's going right here. Oh, it's such a good name for him. We got Freddy, we got Wampert. I'm not letting you rename Sunshine uh, Cooper, but uh, I will put a little thing that out for you. You can give it a middle name. You can give Sunshine a middle name if you want. There's a Jimbo pin, not yet. Uh, check out the giveaway. It'll explain a little bit. I'm, I'm working, I have a new design for a Jimbo pin and t-shirt and mug and all this other stuff that I'm working on. Um, but I want feedback to see what merch specifically I should get for it before I actually come out with it. Um, it'll probably take about a month or so before the merch is ready for purchase. The merch is ready for perch. But, uh, but yes, I'm working on a Jimbo pin. I've got a few different pins that I'm working on. Um, basically, what I'm trying to set it up with is doing um, in uh, next year, 
to do a pin of the month club that you can sign up for in addition to the membership. So you can be like, I want a membership, but I also want to get monthly pins. Uh, and then you'll get uh, a new pin every single month. We'll do like another pin. Um, and so I'm kind of like trying to get a, like a, a catalog of pins to give it, oh, to do for that. So, so I've got a few ones in the works uh, right now, but the Jimbo one is just too cute to wait. And I just, I just want it. I just, I just want those pins so bad. Um, but also, you know, I'm thinking pins, t-shirts, mugs. Um, I don't know. Any, if, if you got any other ideas for what kind of merch I should do, uh, let me know. Maybe a little bags. Actually, that'd be really good, right? Like a little, um, like a crafting bag that you can keep your project clean, like craft projects with. That might be kind of cool. How do I make my pins? Uh, so I make my pins from a website. Uh, I, I order like a bunch of pins at once from a site. Um, there's a few different sites that you can use. Um, I think the one that I've been, that's been most useful for me has been a website called Wizard Pins. Um, they're pretty good, and if you have any mistakes or anything, they're, they're really good at fixing things up and stuff. Uh, and they're pretty quick. But there are a lot of different websites like that. So, yeah. How long will this live stream be? Yeah, exactly what Diamond Tech said, about two hours. I'm going to try to finish it up around five. Uh, and I think this is going to be an ongoing live stream. So I'm going to do this again next Thursday, uh, same time, same place. And we're gonna continue working on this volcano. And I think I'll just like keep working on it until we have it done. Um, but yeah, in September, we're also gonna be doing a lot of dinosaur live streams um, for the monthly kit and stuff like that also. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so by the way, right now, if you are trying to crochet along with me, but I'm going way too quick, sorry. Not sorry, really. I mean, kind of sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm on, uh, I'm currently on, I think round six. One, two, three. Oh no, no, I'm on round, I'm on round five of the bag pattern. Uh, and I'm basically making it uh, increase up to 40 stitches right now. But then I'm going to after, I think I'm gonna keep increasing it up after uh, these, these rounds though. So it's gonna be pretty big is my goal. I mean, I guess I don't want it to be that big, but you know, it's a volcano. It's gotta be somewhat big. Yeah, a project bag, right? That would be a good idea. Okay, I'm glad you think that. Club crochet project bag. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a lot more of project bags too. Oh, a stitch marker. I that's not a bad idea. Especially with the tail of the Jimbo. That's actually a pretty good idea. Yes. Um, yes, pay one... 370 you absolutely can sign up to play test the game uh, outside of the US um, all you need to do is print out the game so you don't need to it there's no shipping or anything like that um, you totally can test out the game uh, without being in the United States or anything like that you can be wherever you want um, I'm just looking for feedback you know I'm just looking for people to, to let me know what they do and don't like about the game um, and the link for testing the game out should be at the top of the chat right now uh oh, the great Jimbo stirs. I gotta fly. Mm, I'm watching you fly. You watch it, bub. All right, one, two, three, four, and then an increase. Okay. This pattern's already getting a little floppy. Which, I mean, I was kind of expecting, you know, a little bit of flop. But uh, it might be nice to have some kind of structural integrity. Because I think as I go up, it's going to just like flop down. But I guess, you know, once we fill it with dinosaurs, it probably won't be a problem. Hopefully. We'll see. Ooh, Autumn asks, Louis, are you a human? No, uh, that's a great question. No, I'm not a human. I am a from a uh, plant. Well, I guess in English or in, a, yeah, it in human English, it would be like, Planet X four five eight seven seven ten, um, and it's actually a really nice planet. You guys should totally check it out um, once you guys figure out your warp drives and stuff. 
Um, but once you figure that out, uh, you should totally check that planet out. It's really cool. A lot of, um, like, the sun is just a brilliant red. Uh, it probably will burn your flesh off uh, if you're not in, uh, in the right, you know, uh, human suits. I don't know what you guys call those. Um, but for my kind, uh, it's actually really nice. It's a really nice uh, uh, feeling. <laughs> but thanks for asking I can't believe you're the first one to uh, guess that I'm not a human I'm shocked five <laughs> and six where is it um, I get you know directions are kind of hard when you're in space especially because everything's moving but it's about 15 to 18 thousand light years do well, if we're spinning that, do like that way. Yeah, so if you just go that way for about for about 16, what I say, like 16,000 light years, um, you could probably get there. Yeah. Yeah, ch definitely check that planet off, uh, out. Uh, it's very cool. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm on my next round. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm increasing it up even more now. Uh, I just finished round six of the bag. I'm gonna skip round seven because round seven is just regular single crochets in each round. But um, my goal for this volcano is it's gonna get a really, um, I think I wanted to get about this big of a base. You know what, actually, this is probably a good time to cut the circle out. So. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cardboard and I'm just gonna cut a circle out and then try to get this to be as big as the cardboard. And this way we can have like a strong base of the volcano so that it'll sit upright. That's the idea. Um, so I'm just gonna cut this in as best of a circle as I can. Just eye eyeballing it. Hey, you know what? So far, that's that's pretty good. Keep going. Now that I've jinx, now that I've successfully jinxed my circle cutting abilities. Nice. You know that's not that's not terrible. That's pretty good. All right, so that's what we're gonna go with. I'll clean that up later. All right, so now we've got a circle that we're trying to get it as big as this circle is. So we need to just keep doing this increasing out. Um, and what I'm basically doing in the pattern is I'm just doing single crochets until I get to the increase and then I'm increasing that up. And I'll just keep doing that until it gets as big as I can. And I think I'm gonna try to do some kind of sewing not like really sewing it together, but like doing a little bit of stuff on this so that it stays on the inside of a volcano maybe. I don't know, we'll figure it out. There's a lot of different options that we could do as we go. But I'm not even counting my rounds or my stitches at this point. All I'm doing is I'm continuously crocheting, doing single crochets around until I find an increase. Right here's an increase. And then I'm doing another increase in the corner of that. Uh, and then I will let you know, Cooper, how big and how many rounds I've done uh, once I get it to the size I need to. So this way we don't even need to really like counter stitches or figure any of that out. But I have a feeling we're going to get to about, um, well, in the bag pattern, it goes to 64. So at least that big because this yarn is a little bit smaller. We might end up going a little bigger than that, but... Probably, meh, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. We will see. That's uh, the music that is from my planet. Yeah. You guys gotta check out this room. You know what, maybe at the end of this live stream, 
I'll try to give you a little like miniature tour with this camera. I'll try. I'll try my ding dang darndest. I don't know if I'll be able to do much, but I'll give it a shot. Let's see. One, two. Three. How do I know English? Oh, well, on, on our planet, um, we are, uh, it's required in our classes to learn um, uh, 15,000 different languages. Yeah, you're supposed to learn at least 15,000 different languages. So um, English was, uh, yeah, was taught to me in my uh, 18th grade. Yeah. We, we age a lot slower than you, you fleshy peoples. Yes, we are going to come out with a pattern for the Monomal and the Volcano Bag. Um, the Monomal, I've just been taking my sweet, sweet time on because I'm a butthead. But, <laughs> but I am going to work on that. Oopsies, I missed an increase right here. So I'm going to go back. There we go. Hopefully I have enough of this yarn to make this whole bag. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go find more of this yarn. Yeah, 18th grade, yeah. Yeah, about, yeah. Bl Blorfmore year. Blorfmore year of, of can cantery, canterary school. That's uh, basically, it's kind of like high school, but um, there's like three more schools after that because we, we just age a lot slower than you guys. Does my planet like Dungeons D&D? &D? Do you mean Dungeons and Dragons or do you mean Dynamite and D Daredevils? Because we really like Dynamite and Daredevils. It's this really fun game where uh, people try to uh, jump over uh, 15,000 uh, square feet of dynamite. And if they miss, the dynamite explodes, everybody dies. It's really crazy. No one's ever actually not succeeded. So the stakes could be a little bit higher, but... How do we print Lava Run? That's a good question. Okay, so the... Hold on, hold on. We have to give Jimbo a little bit of attention. Yes, hold on. Come here. I know, come here. Whoa. Jimbo requests an audience. Don't you? He was trying to take a nap. And look, now he's falling asleep in my arms. But this is, this is Jimbo. The great and powerful. Oh my god, he's literally falling asleep in my arms right now. He's... No, I'm not. Okay. You want freedom? Are you gonna be a little butthead? Am I gonna have to kick you out so you don't mess with my yarn? Are you just gonna be really sweet and just stay, sit right there at my feet? Okay. Well, let's hope. Yes. We're gonna hope that he is gonna be a nice, good boy and not interrupt the live stream too much. He did cancel the live stream one time, uh, which was interesting. How difficult was it to learn 15,000 languages? Um, you know, it's, it's okay, it's not that bad. Um, a lot of it just gets uploaded. Uh, we have like a really nice system where we basically like sit and, f uh, sit is like a strong way to say it, but essentially sit in front of a, um, a machine that kind of like, and kind of like, uh, essentially like uploads information to us. So yeah, we know a lot of things. Did I steal Jimbo from my planet? No, Jimbo is from a different planet altogether. Um, I'm actually completely unsure what planet Jimbo's from, but I'll tell you, he is unlike any creature I've ever met in my thousands of years of uh, exploration. Oh yeah, so how do you print Lava Run? So Lava Run, uh, you can, uh, once you sign up for the playtest, 
you'll get a PDF, and the PDF explains all the rules to the game. Um, it explains uh, where to provide your feedback for the game. And then at the very end of the PDF, there are, I think, like seven or eight pages. Hi, Jiminy. Jiminy's just pawing at my feet right now. Um, seven or eight pages of, uh, like, that you can, that you print out. Um, preferably on, like, a card stock, like a heavier paper if you can, but you can print it out on really whatever you want. And then, um, uh, and then you just cut out the game. So it cuts out the board, uh, and then you just tape the board together. Jumbo is licking my toes right now. Seriously, he's licking my toes. It's very ticklish. Um, and, ooh, you get a bing bong. Someone's binging my bong right now. Hold on. We gotta turn on Do Not Disturb. There we go. But yes. But yes. Oh, yes. I will do that. Okay. Let's see, how big is this? There we go. Okay, we're getting there. Just a little, like a few more rounds of increasing to go, I think. Jimbo can fly. Uh, it's more of like a hover, but yeah, something. It's kind of like flying. Yeah, he does. He does not like to do it though. He doesn't like to do it because he flies backwards, and so it's just kind of like awkward for him. I think. I didn't lie about my whole life. Not my whole life. <laughs> um, yeah, so you just, you print out the last, uh, like, seven or eight pages of the PDF, and then you cut it out, and that's how you can play the game. Uh, hopefully, eventually, the game will be, um, like, I kind of want to turn it into an app or something eventually, too, but... No, no, I can't fly or hover. No, no, no. I can't do that. No. Not since the accident. No. Jimbo was half fairy. Everything makes sense now. Bing, 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 bing. How's the music? Is it too loud? You just signed up and it didn't give you a PDF. Check your email. Um, you should get an email from me within the next few minutes. I think you should get an email about it. Um, I, I I tried to set it up like that. Uh, let me know at the by the end of this live stream. Let me know if you didn't get an email. You should though. It should it should be sent to you. Yeah, and it'd be multiplayer and a single player one. Yeah. Music is fine. All right, cool. Thank you. The ax I don't want to talk about it, Five Worlds Explorer. It was a terrible accident, and uh, it was very traumatic. I just don't want to talk about it, okay? The tea made me go crazy? No. It didn't. <laughs> Johnny said that her husband said no more pudding so he's making you a smoothie instead be careful with the smoothie though I don't think you can have seeds so tell him to like be really careful about what he puts in that smoothie because seeds could really mess you up I'm pretty sure um how long can we take to test the game um I'd like you I'd like to get uh as many tests in uh before i come out with the second version of the game so basically this version is like basically it's the beta version of the game um and the rules are pretty simple uh and then in october like in the beginning of october i'm gonna come out with a second wave of testing where i include some extra rules that i've made uh that i think will work uh and I'll make any changes to the game 
that's based on the feedback that I've gotten. Uh, and I'm gonna include a new version, an, like another, basically like I have like four different extra rules to add to the game that shouldn't break it in any way, but I need to make sure that the base of the game is solid. How many, um, I need to know like how many cards to make of certain kinds. I need to know like, does the board look good? Cause I wanna redesign how everything looks. And, uh, and basically I just wanna make sure that the game works and is fun at its, at its core before I start putting in uh, new changes and stuff to it. Uh, so how far are we here? Okay, we're getting there. I think maybe like one or two more rounds of increasing should get us big enough. I do want it to be like a little bit smaller than it so that it really fits tight in there, but I don't want to stretch it out too much also. Okay. Oh, thoughts are going to uh, Sunshine's granddaughter. Hopefully she feels better, everybody. Keep her in your thoughts. Uh, she had to be taken to the ER. I hope she feels better soon. But yes, keep us updated, Sunshine. Yeah, it's kind of like a card game, uh, Sagito. Uh, it's kind of, it's like there's cards involved, except they're just like tiny cards. You know what? Hold on. I'll show you what the game kind of looks like. This is the board for the game printed out. So this is what you can print out, right? I'm just gonna fold it so that it's easier to show you on the screen. It's about, it's double this size. And then these are the cards for the game. And basically what you do in the game is you start on one of these and you slowly are trying to work your way to the beach. And then while that's happening, you have to like build lava behind you like that to like, and then try to like stop the lava from flowing. And you like have to continuously build lava and move across the board. And then there's special cards, like there's this card, which is the asteroid, which which you can use like on the corner. It, there's, all the rules are written down, but that's basically what the game looks like and what it looks like when you print it out. There's a, do, there's a bunch of different kinds of cards like this though. Some are, there's like some footprints that help you move and stuff like that. Currently the rules are built for a, um, like it's more competitive, you know, it's two to six players, but um, I'm working on a, a version of the game that's more cooperative instead of competitive and a version of the game that's single player, which uh, so you can play it by yourself if you want to. It's all very um, simple though. It's a very, very simple game. It's not like as, like Stitched is very complicated compared to this game. So if you have played Stitched and you're like, well, that game is a lot. Um, this game is a lot more simple. Uh, games take, I think, about 20 minutes to maybe 40 minutes if you're really if you're really stretching it. Um, so they're pretty quick games too. But I think it's pretty cool. What? Oh, that's an interesting. Oh, did I go away for a second? Oh, got it. Yeah, just to grab the thing. Got it. Um. Oh, I love that idea, leaf sauce. That's a fun idea. Um, but what what's the color used the most and the least in crochet? What is the color used the most and the least in crochet? I probably use the most. I probably use like a a green. I probably use green the most, or maybe purple. I really just because I really like the color purple. But um, I make, you know, I make a lot of goblins and stuff, so I really like the color, like to use the color green. Uh, maybe brown too, I use a lot of brown. And then, what was your other question? Oh, the least. Probably black. I probably use the color black the least, because it's hard to crochet with, uh, and it's hard to use other colors with. So, yeah, those are probably my most and least used colors. Okay, so Leaf, um, I love your idea. I've actually had a, a similar-ish idea. Okay, so you know how I am, right? 
the, like Lava Run is not the only game I've made. I've made Stitched, uh, and then I have like three or four other games that I'm working on simultaneously. One is about Krakens eating uh, eating pirate ships. There's one about um, uh, burbs that they have different hats under them. I'm working on one about f the frogs and stuff. Basically, I really like making games. I, and while I'm doing all this, you know, I'm making all these crochet patterns for all these little miniature crocheted things. And we're kind of starting to create a little bit of a, like a rogues gallery, uh, if you will. Like, like just a bunch of these little tiny creatures and each one I thought what would be a fun thing to do is to kind of like what you're saying, have trading cards, but they are crocheted things. So we make a game. <laughs> this is going to be so, I've never said this out loud. Okay. This has all been just in my head. The idea would be <laughs> kind of like Pokemon cards or, or magic, the gathering, a card game, if you will, that you, you like have a certain amount of like, let's say points in the game that you can use. And you have like a team of, of pieces that you can play and then you have like a game where like let's say when you get the crochet pattern for this for a t-rex it also comes with the stats of if you were to use it in in the game like let's say the game's called like amigurumi showdown or whatever you play your little character and it's got stats where it's like the t-rex has eight so much health and and this is the special attack it has and this is how much it costs to to include in the game and then like your other team your the other person against you plays the stegosaurus which has xyz and then like it's your turn and you fight so it's kind of like pokemon in that way but you have like a little team of characters and you're consistently like, fighting each other i don't know i just think it'd be really cool to play a like a card game basically but you actually use am your amigurumi that you've crocheted as your pieces or your as your game things wouldn't that be cool it'd be really cool and then in addition to that we could do playing cards actual playing cards that you can get um with like pictures of them so that way you can like have the stats and all the information at hand yeah like Yu-Gi-Oh, pokigurumi exactly exactly wouldn't that be cool? That'd be so cool. That would take a lot of thinking though. So maybe eventually, probably, honestly, probably eventually with how my, my noggin works. Um, okay, let's see where the end of this round is. I think we're on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, 10. So we're at 80 stitches around already, which is pretty big. Six, seven. Okay, so we're still at 10. Nine and 10. Let's finish this round and see how it's gonna look. Eight, nine, 10. Do I have a favorite Bonimal? Oh, I can't say that out loud. They'll, go, they'll get upset with me. Um, I actually think I do. I have a current favorite Bonimal that I've made um, that uh, I haven't had a chance to come out with like the tutorial for it yet. But I do have one that I made that I really like. It's basically like a little demon. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, still on track. Nine and ten. Okay, so I'm consistently, by the way, Cooper, if you're following along, I'm basically doing like uh, I'm I'm doing every round where it's like single crochet six increase. Uh repeat eight times. See and like I keep doing that. I'm currently at single crochet eight and then increase, repeat eight times, eighty stitches total. So if you can keep like like, you know, doing the rounds to get to that point. Um, that's what I've currently done. And I think I'm gonna stop at 80. Or at, at this round, basically. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, 
And then I might just cut our cardboard a little bit smaller to make it work. One. Five. Eight. I think this is the end of our round. Let's see. I don't know why, but I just have a feeling. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, I was wrong. When did I start crocheting? Um, I started crocheting in high school, which uh, specifically I think sophomore year of high school. Um, and I graduated in 2010. So I probably started crocheting in like 2008. So that would be, or 2007. So that would be, if I started crocheting in 2007 and it's 2022, I've been crocheting for about 15 years. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay, so this will be the end of that, of the increasing out. I think that's pretty good. It's a little smaller than our, than our uh, piece of cardboard, but that's okay. I'll probably just cut the cardboard a little bit smaller um, as we go. And what we're gonna do is basically, I mean, this is gonna be the bottom of it, but we're basically gonna build it up like, that just doesn't seem big enough though. Because we want it to be about that big. And close into about there. You know what, I'm gonna do one more round of increasing. Because you know what, we're party people and that's just how it's gonna be. Two. Four. Eight, nine, and then 10, 11, okay. Uh, 15 years, yeah, so 15 years. Yeah, John, yeah, I, um, you know, if, if it doesn't say it in the paperwork, you're probably fine. Um, what was the first thing I crocheted? I think the first thing I crocheted was an octopus. Um, uh, I mean, the very first thing I crocheted was probably just like a little square. Uh, but I think the first pattern that I made was a little octopus. And then the first pattern that I personally designed was the next thing that I crocheted, which was a, um, it was a uh, hot air balloon. It was actually a cute little hot air balloon that I made. Ooh, how to add elastic to crochet. That's an interesting question. I think the best way you could probably do it is make sure that you have yarn that is pretty um, elastic itself uh, and then maybe crocheting around an elastic band might help I don't know that's an interesting concept though this I think this is breath of the wild music by the way yeah after this round I will be doing a uh, Oh, by the way, okay, so Cooper, I'm increasing up to 88 stitches now. So I'm doing one more round of increasing to get to the size that I want. And you know what? I'm actually gonna try something at the base of this to make it really a really um, sturdy, like, kind of base. And I'll show you that in a sec. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Crochet only in the front loops only. Um, I actually end up seeing a lot of pa or people's, like, or they'll post crochet, and they'll do that, and I'll be like, ooh, you shouldn't do that. But, you know, if you don't know, you don't know. Well, you were in the tub? You take baths? Man, that's awesome. <laughs> I haven't taken a bath in a long time, but that sounds very relaxing. Uh, but Vife, bit late, uh, is this gonna be a dice bag? It totally could be a dice bag. We're actually making though a bag for dinosaurs to put dinosaurs into because I just have so many of these dinosaurs and I need somewhere to put them. So we're doing a, um, plus it'll be good for Lava Run, my new game. Um, so I'm building a volcano right now, it, but it's gonna be a bag, like a volcano bag. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're still good. Nine, and then 10, 11. Yeah, you can use micro shape patterns for a game, but like reach out to me about it. Uh, and yeah, let me know if you want any help with it too. I think I'm getting pretty good at the whole designing game thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, eleven, yeah. One more. Yeah, one more. Here. Two. Three. Four. There we go. Ten and eleven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I think this is gonna be as big as we want it. I don't, I don't think I want to increase it any more than this. Yeah, you know what? This is gonna be big enough because it is gonna stretch over it too. All right, that's pretty good. You know what? I'm gonna also measure. Let's measure how big this cardboard is to like get an idea for the pattern. Like how big of a cardboard piece do you want to make it? Um, I'll be right back. I just need to grab a, um, a ruler, which is actually right behind the camera. Right over here. Hi, sleepy boy. Jimbo is asleep, which is great. Okay, so specifically this is about six and a half ish di in diameter. So in the pattern, I'll write that. Cut a six and a half inch diameter piece of cardboard or however big your base is, should be good. Okay, so we've increased it up all the way. Um, in this next round, let's see, how many rounds have I done? Let's see. Um, I will explain why you don't wanna only crochet in the front loops uh, in just a second, Tassilarian. But let's see, we've got, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we've done 11 rounds so far. Um, in this next round, we're gonna only crochet in the front loops, actually, uh, because I wanna try to make a, like, a sharp base. So if you've seen my pattern for the, um, for Frankenstein, which I have somewhere, but I don't know where. Ooh. Um, but I do have a pattern for Frankenstein somewhere, but basically the top of Frankenstein's head is kind of like, you know, a square. So basically what we're gonna try to do with this base of this lava is try to kind of mimic that a little bit so that the edge of the, of where the base of this volcano is, is a very sharp angle up. So how we're gonna do that is we're going to, oh, see you later, Autumn, thanks for joining, um, is we're gonna do a round where we're just crocheting in the front loops only. So we're on round 12 here, and round 12, we're going to single crochet one into all the front loops all the way around, and there should be 88 stitches for each round, or for the round. So we're only crocheting in the front loops, okay? So just this fir first loop right here, not into both loops. Now, to answer Tassilarian's question of why you wouldn't normally want to crochet all in the front loops is because see how open that hole is right here? That is gonna happen throughout your entire pattern if you only crochet in the front loops. And Amigurumi already has a tendency to have your um, hole, like your pattern be a little holy. Um, so yeah, it's best to just not just crochet in the front loops because or else your pattern is gonna be a little bit stretched out further than it was gonna be. Um, it's just a little bit more secure if you crochet into both loops uh, for the majority of your pattern rather than just the front loops. Uh, and then simultaneously, if you were to crochet only in the back loops, you'll have a similar issue where it's very open and holy, but you would also have like a long, like a stripe 
going through each round and it'll end up it just will it'll look a little weird basically uh, sajito good question sajito asked uh how do i organize my yarn stash because uh sajito's yarn stash looks like a tumbleweed um so the way i organize my yarn stash is by color uh, I, I like to organize it all by color. I don't do it by weight or um, or the type of yarn. I just do fully by color. And I just try not to get too many different kinds of yarns. Uh, so it's like mostly cottons and wool yarn in there. Uh, some acrylic, but not that much. Um, and I have this like, basically, a, uh, I have a glass armoire that I got from Ikea. I think it was like maybe $100, maybe. Um, and it's pretty useful for, for just like seeing all my yarn, but then not like falling out. And then whenever I need a ball of yarn, I just go in there, I pull out a ball and then, uh, yeah, crochet with it. Uh, and then I have like a bunch of extra yarn in a, uh, in a, basically a chest where it's just extra, like uh, just a bunch of other kinds of yarn, but they're all full balls of yarn. The, what I have in my, uh, glass armoire is it's all like like yarn that I've already used. It doesn't have the wrapper on it anymore. But if it still has a wrapper on it, I keep it in a different place. What kind of yarn did I use for the monomal? Okay, so the monomal, if you don't know, is this fuzzy bag that we're kind of like making another bag for right now, we're kind of using a similar design. Um, the yarn that I used is actually called, um, I think it's called Angel Hair uh, Buttercream, I think. It, I got it from Joanne Fabrics. Uh, there are a few different kinds like this. It's basically um, a blend of uh, alpaca wool and something else. But the alpaca is really what makes it really fuzzy. So that's the yarn that I used. Um, I can grab you a ball of it in a, in a little bit. Um, actually, I think I talk about it in the beginning of the video where I crocheted the monomal. So if you want to check that out, uh, I probably explain it there. Do I have a favorite brand yarn brand? Um, my favorite yarn brand, uh, I don't really, I mean, I have like favorites. Um, I really like to use, for example, I like to use Lily Sugar and Cream cotton yarn uh, for my cottons usually. Um, but my favorite kind of yarn is actually, I think more important, which is I really like to use, as you probably already know, is 100% cotton worsted weight yarn. That's my favorite kind of yarn to use. And the reason is because um, I think it makes my stitches look really good. Uh, it's easy to work with. You can pull out the stitches and it doesn't stretch the yarn out too much. There's a lot of different colors. It's affordable yarn uh, and it is a natural yarn. So it can actually like compost or recycle. Whereas if you're using something like a polyester or an acrylic yarn, uh, it can be kind of hard to, I mean, you might be able to recycle it, but it definitely won't compost. And it's basically like plastic. You're crocheting with plastic. Uh, it also doesn't, doesn't feel as good as if you were not to use that yarn. So that is my favorite kind of yarn to use. Uh, and good brands are Lily Sugar and Cream. They have great cotton yarns uh, in a lot of different colors. Um, Lion brand cotton yarn, uh, Bernat cotton. Bernat has a good cotton yarns that are pretty affordable uh, and pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I think those are my favorites right now, but it does kind of sw uh, sway and shift um, based on the project. What is my most genius pattern that I've ever made? Um, oh, that's an interesting question. Hmm. I think as far, like what I immediately think when you say the, the most genius pattern is the most like well-designed pattern where it's just like very succinct and like put together and it, Basically, anything that is a no-sew pattern for me is very succinct. I really like those patterns a lot because it's just like, boom, you make it once, you don't have to cut, you don't have to sew, it's very easy. Um, so because of that, I really like my, uh, 
I really like the uh, the T-Rex pattern I really like. Um, I also really like the, um, this is the T-Rex pattern. Because it's almost all made without sewing. You do have to sew the tail on, but it's really easy. Um, but I really like how the feet work. And I really like the new Raptor pattern a lot. Like a lot, lot. It is this one. Oops. It's this pattern. And this pattern actually has no sewing. I mean, you do have to attach the teeth, but they're not really sewn on. They're just basically attached. This one's pretty cleverly put together so that you don't actually have to sew anything together. Like the lip is just made in a different way. It's all just made in one piece without sewing anything on. I'll be coming out with this pretty soon, um, but it's a really good, uh, I think it's a really good pattern. I'm really excited about it. I do have a little bit of work to do on it before I release it. I wanna test it out a little bit more, um, but I always basically wanna test out my patterns a little bit more. Oopsies, I did a few extra stitches than I needed to. Okay, so we finished that round where we all where we crocheted all in the front loops and see how it's like kind of going straight up like that That's kind of what we wanted to do except we wanted to go the other way we wanted to go straight the other way and so what we're gonna do now is We are going to do we're gonna work into both loops for this next round. We're gonna do single crochets in uh, every stitch um, but we're going to work into both loops of the next stitch. Let me actually zoom in and show this in case you don't, just to help, help explain things. Okay, so we're gonna work into both loops of the next stitch. So that's gonna be under both of these instead of just the front loop. And we're gonna work into the back unused loop that we didn't use in the last round. And this is gonna really bend it straight up. So it's gonna turn it completely in a different direction. Um, the hard thing is finding where the first front loop is but it's gonna be right following that one right there. But once you find the first one, so now you can see I'm into both loops and the back loop that I didn't use. Here's all those unused back loops simultaneously. We're just gonna do single crochets all the way around and that should bend it straight up, which will create a nice little border for us. And that's pretty good. Yes, you absolutely can do testing um, of which pattern? The Raptor? You totally can if you would like to. Um, I just put the test uh, for the Raptor pattern at clubcrochet.com slash Raptor. Um, I think, Naughty Flowers, I'm pretty sure you have a membership because you've been helping with the, um, the stuff. If you don't have a Club Crochet membership, like I didn't give you a Club Crochet membership, uh, reach out to me. I would absolutely love to give you a Club Crochet membership for your help with translating patterns. Um, uh, just to like basically say thank you. So if, if I haven't already done that, please let me know and I would like to. Okay, next stitch. I'm just gonna take it one stitch at a time here. You see how it's like, you can kind of see how this bump is being formed. It'll really show when we finish it, finish this round, you'll see how it like really just edged it straight in. So it'll be cool. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Oh, Cooper is on it. Yeah, Cooper just posted it in the, um, in the chat. So that's where you can go to find this Raptor pattern uh, and provide feedback. Um, to, ver to provide feedback, just comment on the Raptor pattern itself. Uh, there's a little comment thing on the bottom of it and give me any kind of feedback that you have for it uh, and because I'm definitely looking for feedback before I release this pattern publicly. Eventually the Raptor pattern I think is going to be free maybe but uh, not for a while. I really need to make sure that I have everything all my ducks in a row before I act actively like release it. Yeah, so we're gonna kind of try to make it go up like that and this next round we're gonna decrease it down start start the process of decreasing it down a little bit We're gonna get really fun when we get to the lava around the edge. I've got a really cool idea for how to do that. I don't know if it's gonna work the way I want it to, but I think it might. We'll see.
Koopa is on fire. Hey, here's another plea. If you haven't yet, please like this video. Like the video down below. If this video gets another, if this video gets, what did I say? 350. Yeah, that's it. If this video gets 350 likes, we'll do another giveaway next live stream. Um, because we are doing a giveaway this live stream. If you didn't know already, it's in the it's in the description. We've been talking about it a bunch, so I hope you hope you know what I mean. Ooh, you gotta love, you gotta love. Lawn Lawn Ranch song. <laughs> song makes me a little sleepy though. Not gonna lie. Let's finish once I finish this round I'm gonna I need some tea or else I will die. Not really. I'll just shrivel into a very tiny um, creature. My, my natural form. You guys do not want to see that. Trust me. Will I fall asleep on... Will I fall? What? Hmm? No, I won't. Alright, about halfway done with this round. So tomorrow, I am flying to Texas, to Austin, for a bachelor party that I am like, ah! It's going to be a lot, for sure. So a lot of friends are going gonna be a lot of energy and I am not mentally prepared I'll tell you right now I'm not mentally prepared I haven't even packed yet I need to pack I if, if you can't tell I'm not the most bachelor party kind of dude out there don't really drink I don't really Forty. I don't go to like sports games. We're going to a sports game, football game, and I'm just like so, like oh my gosh. But you know what? He's one of my best buds, and it's a pleasure to be invited. And I'm just gonna go with the flow. So I'm excited in that regard. Kelly! How are you? What is Wombo about? I don't know. What is Wombo about? I don't know what that means. So I'm, I'm basically, I'm bending this round in a little bit to really accentuate the, the bend of it so you guys can kind of see it and also just so I can get an idea of what it's going to look like. See how it's like, it's it's making a flat little, so you can kind of see it more on the outside than on the inside. Boom, 
Oh my god, you guys, you need to see a, a sleepy Jimbo. He's so cute and asleep. It's asleep under a box right now. It's very cute. We are good. Jules and I are great. We're very happy. We like our new spot a lot. How are you? Oh, you said you're good. All right, good. <laughs> All right, nearly done with this round. But yeah, we're good. We've, um, yeah, we've just been getting settled in with our new place because we moved in the beginning of August. It's just finished our first month. Which has been pretty cool. We actually got our security deposit back for our last place. And they gave us the full security deposit back. Plus interest. How cool is that? I was not expecting it, honestly. I've been living in that place for... I was living in my last place for like 10 years. So I was just not expecting a my full security deposit back. Because I figured, you know... We got holes and we made holes and whatever, but they gave it all back to us. And I was like, yes. Okay. There's that round. It is kind of being weird a little bit, but it's not that bad. Okay. Eventually, I think I'm going to just like poke a hole in it and like pull that middle string through it. But you see how it's like kind of fits the, around that. And then we're going to do decreasing in this next round, which will pull it up a little bit. We'll stretch it a little bit out. Okay. So the next round we're going to do is we want to decrease it four times. So I believe it's going to be, if we want to decrease it four times in 88 stitches, we want to do 21 or 20 and then decrease it once and then do that four times. I think that's right. So 20 stitches and then decreasing it once. I'm pretty sure that's what we want to do. Let's try it. So we're going to we're just work into both stitches again. We're going to do 20, one, two, Three, four, six, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Nineteen and twenty, and then we'll do an invisible decrease, specifically an invisible decrease, so you don't have to see the decreases too much. There we go. All right, and that's just going to slowly decrease us down just a little bit, and we'll repeat that uh, four times total. One, two. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Right? So it's gonna go like that and then pull it in a little bit.
One second, I need to fix the air conditioning. Oh, see you later, Tesselarian. Thanks for joining. Oops, I stopped counting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're on it. 10, 11. This is going to be a third one, I think, so. like 20. Come on. Let's count it again. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Aha! Uh -huh. 20. There we go. And then our invisible decrease. One more. Two, four, eight, seven, thirteen. Fifteen. Twenty, and this should be the last one. All right. Yeah, that should be good. See? So we'll do that. It's supposed to go up and around it like this. Probably should have decreased more than that, but that's okay. Just like that, though. How stretched out does that keep the stitches in the bottom? Oh, not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Oh, we got a Jules. We got a Jules Hello. and a Jimbo. You want to say hi? Yes. Hello. Let me see your camera. Hello. Am I on? Is yes. this thing on? Hello. Hello. Have you seen Jimbo yet today? Have I have. Jimbo? Yes, they have seen Jimbo yeah. at least once. And they saw him on this, and they saw him there. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I have my own t-shirt too, a gray one, with a little green ball mm -hmm. of Jimbo. How's everybody's day going? Going good? Yeah, it's going pretty well. What you See? making? We got a volcano going. Oh yeah, volcano. And then this is the base of it. And I'm going to try to keep this, I might end up sewing this on. Sewing it on through the cardboard? Yeah. Yeah, good call. Just like a few stitches, mm -hmm. just to keep it in place. but. I mean, that's holding this place pretty well, actually. Hi, everybody. Aw, I miss you guys, too. We really got to get back on our I know, show. I know. I, I was thinking about that, about how we need to set it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. And like, oh, we should record it before we go. But we can't record it before we go. No, because I'm going away this weekend, and then she's going away to San Francisco, to San Francisco the weekend after. Yep. Or the whole week after. Yep, and then we have three working days, and then we're going to a wedding. Yeah. Out of town. So it's just been a lot, a lot of stuff. A lot Hi, of stuff. buddy. 
Yeah, Jimbo's awake, but barely. Barely awake. He's so sweet. Ooh, a tank top option. Johnny mm -hmm. wants a tank top option. Okay. Okay. See, I th I thought there might be people. We'll out find there a want good tank top. tank top option. There was some not good tank top options on yeah. that site. We'll find a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. wanted to pop in and say hi. Sorry for interrupting. No, you're all I good. It's would, nice. Like, it's a nice break. I like it. You look so cute. And I'm done with meetings. Don't bite me. Thank you. <laughs> I okay. like how he, I like how he apologizes right he away. He does. Oh, he's biting me again. Yeah. Bye, goes, everybody. Sorry, I can't get him to wave because he's too busy eating me. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, back to it. All right. Um, so we just have a little bit more of the stream today. I think we'll do... I mean, it's holding its... Like, it's staying in there, which is pretty good. But I do think we need to decrease it one more time. So this time, we're going to do... Let's see, we're at 80, we should be at 84 stitches around now because we only decreased four times. Is 84 a division of six? I think it is, right? So 84 divided by six. Let's get a calculator out here. 84 divided by six. Yeah, it is, okay. So this time we're gonna do, I think we'll do because I think I want to decrease it down six times this next round instead of four. So that would be 13. 13 times. Yeah, okay. So I think we're going to do 12 single crochets and then an invisible decrease six times, which should be... I think that should be e right. Let's just let's just see if it'll work real quick. Let's just do like the kind of like the math here. So if we did 12 and then a decrease, would it make it all the way to the end and would there be six decreases total? So there's going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and then 12 and then a decrease. So boom boom. There's our first decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Second decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Third decrease. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fourth decrease. I think we're gonna make it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fifth decrease, and the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sixth decrease. Math, math, math. All right, let's math this. We mathed it. Okay. So again, that's 12 single crochets and then one invisible decrease six times. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, and then our invisible decrease. Front loop the front loop and then a single crochet all right let's do this again one two see you later see leaf sauce thanks for joining you may be back great <laughs> three four six seven nine ten 11 and 12 and then decrease hopefully this just doesn't decrease it too much but i really wanted to get on back onto the six count after doing eights does that make sense so i really wanted to get it back to um like a divis uh, a stitch count divisible by six was the goal one two 
four. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And then these. Where did I go to college? I went to college at San Francisco State University. That's what brought me to San Francisco originally. And, and that's where I met Jules. I didn't meet her at San Francisco State, but we did both go to the same school, actually. Um, all right. One, two, I think this is my fourth. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, and then our decrease. All right, this should be the fifth one. Two, three. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I think we got one more round then. Or one more. Let me count just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then our decrease. Yep. Perfect. One. Two, let me finish this round, Anna. Five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then our last decrease. And let's take a look at what we got. All right. Grab our little circle, toss the circle in there. Should be pulled out a little bit like that. It's pretty good though, right? That's not bad. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to sew on just a, like a few stitches around it. And we're gonna need to pull this through the center of it. But I think I wanna get a few more rounds before I start doing that just because it's kinda of gonna be hard to crochet with this cardboard in it. Uh, so I wanna be like a little bit out a few more stitches before I do that but it's a nice sturdy bottom I think it looks pretty good and then we'll just go I mean that decreased us down pretty pretty tight I think I might even decrease a little bit more well maybe I'll do a round of single crochets and then decrease this more so that it's like up to like here because we're going to like there I think it's not gonna be that big of a bag let's see how many dinosaurs could we feasibly fit in there oh you know what we'll be able to fit a pretty decent amount yeah especially when it's all like this big and we can like stuff it full like this much yeah we'll be able to fit like 10 or 12 of these in there that's pretty good Okay, and we're not even halfway done with the ball, so that's good. Um, okay. Okay, Johnny, have a nice nap. Um, I have a chance, check it out, Johnny. I'm working on the skull. I'm currently working on the skull. I do have some feedback already um, with how the pattern's written, and, uh, and I think 
I want to finish the skull before I fully give feedback, but um, I'm thinking that we want to make these holes a little bit bigger. You know, so it's like more like that big. But yeah, I'll 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 keep you updated about it. I am working on it though. Hello, Lillian. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a great day, Lillian. They are so cute. I totally agree. All right, let's see how difficult it is to crochet this with this in there right now. No, that's too tough. I don't want to deal with it. Pop. Uh, okay. Oh, it's already almost five? Jeez, time flies. Okay, well, maybe we'll go to 530. Because I'm not done yet. You know what? Hold on. Let's go back here. I think it's, I think it's high time we start using a little bit of a stitch marker. Just a little one. Yeah, I think that the holes are gonna be different when um, we finish up, when I finish up that uh, crocheting it, Johnny. But I will keep you in the loop. Ha ha. <laughs> Um, Lillian, what are we making? Today we are making a volcano bag to hold a bunch of dinosaurs that I crocheted. Um, it's for a little, I've been making a board game that you can play using your little amigurumi crochet things. Oh, someone asked, uh, is, is, do I only crochet amigurumi? No, I don't only crochet amigurumi. I do crochet other things every now and then, um, but amigurumi is my favorite thing to crochet for really a variety of reasons. First one being that being a uh, being a man, uh, there's not that many things that I can crochet that are wearable. There's not that many designs that are crocheted that are wearable um, that are you know designed for men. Uh, there's some, but there's not that many. So there's not a lot of things that I want to crochet. Also, it's hot here, so I don't really want to make any sweaters or anything like that. Um, maybe a beanie. I used to make a lot of beanies. Um, uh, other thing I don't like to uh, take a long time on a specific project. So really this project is pretty big for me. Uh, the one that we're working on right now. So like, I just usually don't like to work on a project for, for, you know, longer than a couple hours. And usually I like to get that project finished in that time period. So that's why I really like making amigurumi, specifically tiny amigurumi, because I can make it really quick. Um, I just have like a lower attention span. Um, but sometimes it is nice to work on projects that span like a longer period of time. Um, I have made one blanket uh, and that was, I did actually never even finished it full size. It's like half the size of a blanket um, because it's just so, it takes so long and so much yarn. <laughs> But I've made like bow ties and ties, um, a, f a f decent amount of beanies and hats. And um, I used to make a lot of children's hats uh, because it allowed me to be more like clever with my design. But yeah. What are your, mo are your most triggering things when you crochet. For me, it's uneven tension at random places. Oh, interesting. Okay, I would say my most triggering things when I crochet is someone trying to, uh, well, is it, uh, let's see. What are the most triggering things when I crochet? Probably, probably my cat, uh, like trying to steal the ball of yarn that I'm using while I crochet, or, um, me forgetting scissors or forgetting like a specific thing and then like getting all cozy and perfectly ready to crochet and then realizing, oh, I forgot my crochet hook or, oh, I forgot my scissors. That is so annoying. Or when you drop a needle into the couch and you're like, damn it, 
that needle is going to be in this couch forever. I hate when that happens. But those aren't really that triggering, I guess. I don't know. I feel like that's a fair... I think like, I feel like it's fair. Okay. That is our round of all just single crochets. After doing our round of decreasing, we did one round of all single crochets. I think there were 78 stitches, but I didn't count because I'm a dingus. Now I'm going to decrease it down again, maybe? Let's see. So if we want the general shape to be like, you know, like if we want it to go in about like that. We definitely want to decrease here, but the question is do, how sharply do we want to decrease? Do we want to decrease it by six? Or do we want to decrease it by three? And then another round of three after that. I think we're gonna do six. So it's gonna get pulled in a little bit tighter. Or, hmm. I think this is from Banjo Kazooie. I think because we can go like no, but that might that might be hmm. Hold on, I gotta get a, a look at this angle. Yeah, okay. I think we'll do a round of just all decreasing. Um, we'll do uh, Cooper for this next round. We're gonna do eleven single crochets and then an invisible decrease six times around. Um, uh, am I going to make more patterns of burbs? Yes, November will be the month of burbs. Uh, we're gonna do a few new burb patterns. Uh, I think we're gonna try to do the cockatoo, the toucan, the hummingbird, and the um, macaw. I'm going to try to do four of them in that same month. So, But yes, there's, there are going to be more bird patterns in uh, November. And for membership, uh, it's going to be a little earlier than that. So it'll probably be in um, uh, probably in like late September, early October, I'll have the rough drafts done for them. But they're already almost, like most of them are already almost done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then our decrease, yes. Uh, but I do want to work more on tutorials too, so. You know, because I don't really have as many tutorials on the website anymore. Like, I've been doing so many patterns. Uh, so next year, I really want to put more effort into just, like, more stitch tutorials. Here's how to do this stitch or that stitch. Or here's how to, like, you know, things like that. Um, and then I also want to put more effort into uh, collaborations. I want to do a lot more collaborations next year. Echo Cat. Great question. Uh, Echo Cat asks... Um, are you enjoying running your own business? What's the best thing about it? Uh, I do, I very much enjoy running my own business. The best thing about running my own business, I think there's two things that I would say are the best things. The first is that, um, sorry, wait one second. I think this is the stitch I need to decrease on. Yeah, it is. Um, the first is that I get to make my own hours, you know? Like I get to work when I wanna work, which is usually at like midnight to 4 a.m. <laughs> That's, I, I, I work, I usually work like uh, about maybe like 10 hours a day, nine, eh, maybe not that much. I don't know, but I get to do it when I want to, which is nice. Um, I also really enjoy uh, just the freedom, like the creative freedom of being able to design whatever I want to design. Um, 
there have been a lot of challenges to running my own business, things that I didn't expect at all, like, just like, uh, a lot of, like, um, logistic things, like taxes and, and, like, um, inventory and keeping track of stuff and making sure I have, always have the product ready and trying to sell it to different yarn stores and stuff like that. Like, there's just so much that you don't think about when you start a business. Um, but another great thing about starting my own business has been um, being able to hire my friends. So I, we have, uh, we're about to have our second full-time employee um, and both of our, so it's been me, my friend, Nicole, she's basically like my business partner. Um, she helps us with all, any kind of crochet kits. If you email the website, she usually gets it before I get it. Um, so we both kind of respond to this together. Basically, just like I needed help and she was the help. And then um, uh, my other friend, Jimmy, who is the website designer, um, he is finally going to go on full time very soon. So that's going to be pretty freaking exciting. Um, he was my college roommate, actually, my first college roommate and uh, really my only college roommate from uh, that I like am actual friends with <laughs> the rest of them were not that way but um yeah and yes we are working we're actually working on a club crochet branded yarn uh that is that is in the works uh it's just really really hard to get companies to um to work with us uh because we're not as big as other companies you know so that has been a very difficult process but we're working on it <laughs> yeah, Naughty Flowers. I th we were. We were separated at birth. Lachlan! Hello! Welcome! Sending love from Australia. From Australia! Good day, mate. How you been? Hope you're having a great day. One, two, three, four. Thanks for joining the live stream. Nine, 10, 11, and then our decrease. Boom. Okay, let's see how that worked. Uh, this live started about three hours, or two hours ago. It started at 3 p.m. my time, and we are in California. Okay, so here's what we got. Okay, so that goes in like that. We got a nice flat bottom, so it'll sit up right. We've decreased it down a few rounds. Now we're gonna do, now we just need to like go up and slowly start decreasing it now. We need to slow it down a little bit. So I think we'll do two rounds of single crochets after this, but can I start crocheting it with the... No, not yet. I think we need one more round of crochet before we start. Yeah. I think it looks pretty good though. You know, it's, it's starting to come together for sure. And especially like, once we have it like, once we get it like that tall about, maybe like that tall, and we add on the, it's real, I think we're gonna get something really, really cute out of this in the long run. Oh, great, Sajito. Thank you so much for that feedback. Yeah, I, I will start uh, doing the live streams a little later. I think we're gonna keep doing these Thursdays at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I think is a really good time for a lot of people. So, um, it, and it works really well for me because yeah, it just works really well. So I think we'll continue doing this around this time. I know my Aussie accent needs some improvement. I can do a pretty okay New Zealand accent, I think but uh, I can't do an Australian. I can do pretty good New Zealand though, I think. Let's, I usually get into the accent by counting to 10. Um, hold on, let me, uh, so Cooper, I'm doing, I'm definitely doing one round of single crochets. I might do two, okay, after that round of decreasing. 
Um, but usually I count to ten, so let's see how I count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. And this right here is going to be ten stitches. And I could just keep going around and just keep doing single crochets into each stitch all the way until I get to the end of the round. How's that? Was that a good was that a good Kiwi accent? Feels it feels a little off, but you know what? I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, the face for the volcano is gonna be really derpy. Super derpy. Oh boy, 2 a.m. in France. Wow, wow, wee wow. Well. Hey, that is so cool though. Bonjour, Linari. Merci beaucoup for. I don't know how to say to, for coming to the live stream. For. Mm, I don't know how to say. I don't know how to say that. Je ne sais pas. <laughs> hey, Echo Cat gives me a passing grade from someone that's in New Zealand. I'll take that. Texas. Hello from Texas, Zilla. I'm going to be in your state next or tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm going to Austin. So I'll see you there. Let's do more shots. Where else is everybody from? We got we got someone from France. We got someone from Australia. Someone from New Zealand. Someone from Texas. I knew Cooper's in Canada. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining. Uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah, heck yeah, man. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, please do. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate it, Lachlan. I'll see you soon. Anna is from Iowa. We got Sajito is from the Philippines. We got two Philippines. We got Ohio, New York. Another Texas. Wow, a lot of Texas. Colorado. See you later, Carly. Carly, thanks for joining. Toronto. That is awesome. Sanka Nakatira Weirdo. Yep. I wonder what that means. I'm guessing it is whatever native language they speak in the Philippines. Philip, Phil, Phil. I don't know. I don't know what the language is called. Yeah. Well, I know a little bit of French. No, I mean most of the languages of the fifteen thousand languages that I know, uh, Abby, are from. Planets that you've never seen before, like and uh, I know some, uh, and I, I'm pretty fluent in, you know. So, like those languages, I don't think you probably know, but I know, like, and I know a lot of dialects from. So yeah, those are some languages that I know, but they're just they're just from planets that you've probably never heard of. Um, I'm very. Uh, I'm very much of a hipster of an alien, if you can't tell by the glasses. <laughs> D'être ce mon stream. Ah, merci beaucoup, Lionel. Why are we in Christmas music right now? Let's change it. 
Oh, let's go to outer space, baby. So now I'm doing another round of single crochets. Well, maybe we should check this before I... Yeah, I'm fine with that. Two rounds of single crochets, and then I'll decrease it down again. And then we'll do two rounds, we'll decrease it. We'll get down to about maybe like... 24 stitches around. Tag long. Oh, that's what it's called? Tag along? Wow. Never heard... I've never known that was the name of... The language they speak in the Philippines. That's very interesting. Did I get a haircut? I did get a haircut. Thanks for checking, sunshine. Still no word from the ER, huh? Well, I hope I hope we hear something soon. Keep us updated. Um, but yes, I did get a haircut. I went to a wedding a couple weeks ago, and so I got I got a nice haircut. Plus, it's hot. It's so hot here. Yeah, I heard Texas has got some weird weather right now. Um, I guess it's going to be raining when we get there, which is kind of crazy. Because here it's like super hot. It's like 100 and something degrees outside, which is crazy. How long till this live stream ends? We are going to be finishing up our live stream in about... At 5.30, so... 30 more minutes, a little less than 30 minutes. And then we'll also be announcing the winner of the giveaway. If you didn't know, we're doing a giveaway. Uh, if you want to sign up for the giveaway, there's a link in the form, or there's a form in the description of this video that you can use uh, to sign up for the giveaway. And we'll choose someone at random to win $20 to the Club Crochet Store. So it's kind of a nice little, you know, just a nice little giveaway. Tag ah long, tag ah long, tag ah long. Like that? I think I said that right, Hannah. I think so, so therefore I am. Yeah, someone said to bring an umbrella. I was like, an umbrella? Okay. <laughs> I'll bring an umbrella. Uh, Anna, do I crochet much for myself or is it mostly most of it for the channel? I crochet a lot for myself. I crochet at least every single day. Um, I'll show you the thing that I've been working on this week, actually, for crocheting for myself. Um, I think you'll like it. One sec. Let me finish up this round, and then I'll show you. It's almost done. Uh, there's a few more. I want to, like, make a little book and stuff for them, but you'll see in a sec what I'm talking about. But the good thing about this being my business is that I get to, you know, like even when I do crochet for myself, it is also still kind of crocheting it for the business. Um, okay, so this is what I'm currently working on for myself. Uh, I have this little driftwood that I found in San Francisco. And so I made this little uh, mushroom man for it and I gave him little glasses and he's gonna have a little book. And you can see how I have these little notches that I've carved in this. So what I'm gonna do, he's got these strings that go on it, so he's on a swing. He's gonna be on a swing with a little book. I'm gonna hide it outside my house. So yeah, that's the most recent thing I've made um, for myself. Uh, I mean, I have a few things that I have made uh, in the meantime, but you've seen some of them. Like last week I showed you Nurgle, it's this like little demon that I made. Yeah, he's a little mushroom librarian, exactly. All right, let's see. Can I start crocheting with this in it now? What do we say? What do we think?
I think I'm decreasing a little too quickly. Because we want to get at least this big, right? Well, maybe I'm actually just perfectly. So it'll go, it'll keep going at this direction, right? So it'll be like. Yeah, we'll keep this route going. I think we are currently. Oh, uh, we did two rounds of single crochets, Cooper. Just two. Um, we'll probably decrease again and then do. Maybe we should do three rounds, though. So it'll be. Because, like, our options are we can either make it go, like, sharp in and then up a little bit so it's more like a kind of like a you know it's like a here tell you what okay so our options are we can crochet it so like this is the bottom of it and we've gone out like this far right so our options are we can either come in fast like quicker and then go slower so that it's more like this or we can go the other way so like like that so it's more like a um kind of like a uh what's it called like a like a beaker for a science experiment or we can go out a little bit more like this and make it decrease and slower so it's got more rounded outside i think this way is going to be more what we're looking for which means that I want to do another round of single crochets and start decreasing it slower rather than decreasing it quicker. You know? So let's do, um, we're going to do another round of single crochets with that in mind. So I'm going to do three rounds of single crochets instead of two. Volcan, Volcan, that's how you say volcano. Volcan. Oh. oh, I'm a whole new man. Wow, that was crazy. Let's see if I can get another one. Ready? Show you Nurgle? Okay, one sec. This is Nurgle. Um, I think Johnny named it last week. I've been, I'm testing out like just some fun other patterns basically. He's just a little demon. I have him under my fireplace because it's under hell. But yeah, that is Nurgle. I really like the horns. That's my favorite part of Nurgle. Here you go, Nurgle. You can sit right there while we make our, while we make your little home. I feel like Nurgle would live in this volcano. You know. Okay, they're sending her home. That's great. That's good news, it sounds like, Sunshine. has an idea for Halloween. They say, you see those pumpkin patterns that involve lots of sewing to get in shape? So why don't you take that risk of failing and make a pumpkin without any sewing? Ooh, I'm actually, ah, uh, that? I'm working on something that. I'm working on something. Basically, what I'm working on for the Club Crochet Pro Kit uh, for October, uh, I'm gonna make a pumpkin, but it's gonna be a reversible pumpkin that uh, is a, on the other side is a ghost. So you can turn it from a ghost to a pumpkin. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. But yes, I, I agree. I think a no sew pumpkin pattern would also be pretty cool. I wonder how I'd do that. I mean, I don't think that'd be that tough. 
That seems pretty not too crazy. I'll keep it in mind. I'll keep it in mind. I think I've got a few ideas for how to make it work. Whoa, very ethereal. We're getting real ethereal up in here. Oh, we'll definitely come up with a name for this volcano eventually. I think we got time for maybe like two or three more rounds of crochet and then uh, we'll pick it back up uh, next live stream, which will be next Thursday at 3 p.m. So let you know. I'll probably get a picture of this after it to show our progress. Yeah, um, had a question about crochet etiquette. What are your thoughts on selling final products from other people's patterns? So it depends on the person. Uh, everybody has different rules for their patterns. Um, uh, and so you should always ask the designer if it's okay for you to sell things based on their patterns. That being said, for club crochet patterns, you are allowed to. So if you, any of the patterns on our website, you can crochet and sell. Um, and uh, yeah, it's fine, you totally can. So if you want to use any clip crochet patterns to sell final products, you totally can, and I highly encourage it. That's how I started my business. So um, I really think it's pretty cool to do, and you totally should do that. I really want to create a place on the website for you to actually sell crocheted things, or at least like advertise it. Not like pay to advertise it, but like post things for sale that you made using a clip crochet pattern. Um, but I haven't figured it out just yet. Okay, so uh, by the way, Cooper, um, so we did three rounds of just single crochets um, after our last round of decreasing. Now we're gonna do another round of decreasing. We're doing one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 single crochets and then an invisible decrease is what we're going for. 10 single crochets and then an invisible decrease. One, two, three, four, six, eight, nine, 10, and then our invisible decrease right here. And that's gonna, should bring us down to, um, and then, oh, and then repeat that six times total. And that should bring us down to uh, 66 stitches, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then invisible degrees. Yep, we're good. <laughs> okay, Lachlan, I'll wait for you. We're only gonna be on for another 15 minutes though, just heads up. How did I start making my own patterns and what was your first pattern? Um, the I started making my own patterns pretty much like after my first project. Um, once I figured out how single crochets worked, uh, I just started to test it out um, and I didn't learn much crocheting after that, uh, like from tutorials. I just kind of like made it up. I was like, okay, well, what happens if I pull two loops through one and then do a single crochet? Or what happens if I do like uh, work only in this loop or if I work into that loop down there? So I just kept experimenting. Um, my first pattern that I created was for a, um, uh, what's it called? A, uh, a hot air balloon, but I never wrote it down. Like it was, it was just like my custom made thing. And then I made like a lot of owls and stuff. I didn't really write down my patterns to sell them for like a few years until I was done, uh, like ready to go. Um, and I think my first pattern was for um, a, my beanie. Uh, which I actually have on the on our website right now. It's from my classic beanie. Um, that was 
That was one of the first things I designed that was fully my design. I didn't use it from anything else. I learned how to do that ribbing and stuff, and I thought it was so cool. And then um, there was a little bat logo, and I think that was my first video tutorial that I ever came out with, was how to crochet a Batman logo. Do I plan on dressing up for Halloween this year? Ooh, I actually haven't thought much about it, but yeah, totally. Um, I definitely should. Uh, let me think that through, but yeah, the answer is yes, I would like to dress up for Halloween. Let's see, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Ten. Yeah, if you guys have any ideas, uh, I'm always looking for ideas for what to dress up for as. One time Jules and I went as, uh, I think last year, maybe or two years ago, we went as, um, I was a mime and she was a hippie and we were peace and quiet. I thought that was pretty clever. Uh, and then <laughs> a few years ago we did, um, we did, uh, the uh we all dressed me and jules and our our my old roommate garrett all dressed in um a, we took blue sheets and we cut high eye holes out of them so we were blue ghosts and we were the boo man group which was pretty fun we just like went around and we like drummed on things like the blue man group but ghosts anyhow i thought that was so clever <laughs> three four five six seven Eight, nine, uh oh. No, no, we're good. Just doesn't look right, but we are good. Ten, and then our invisible decrease. Let's try like that. All right. So we're going about that high up. So now I'm going to do. Let's see, if we just did 66 and we want to go down to about like this big, about half the size of it, we're going to need at least four more rounds of go decreasing. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do, I'm going to pull my stitch marker up. After this round of decreasing, okay, so we're going to do two rounds of, um, of single crochets. That's what I'm going to do. I'm pulling my stitch marker up here too. Uh, so you got that, Cooper. After our last round of decreasing, now we're gonna do two rounds of just single crochets around. And then after that, I think we will probably call it. So we'll do these last two rounds and then um, I'll be back next Thursday to keep working on this. Storm changed her name. Well, I'm glad you did that. Uh, how many projects are there in your working stash that have you haven't done yet? Minus, yeah, I think probably 30. I think I have about 30 projects that are like halfway done. Do I have a favorite pattern that I've ever made? Hmm. I don't know if I have a fa- um, I go through different like waves of favorite patterns. Like, I think my favorite pattern, probably maybe the goblin, or the orc, or the ogre. I really, 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 really like those patterns a lot. Um, I just think they're so cute and cool. Um, yeah, maybe those ones. Music feels like it's loud. Is it loud? This music's so like. I feel like I'm in a tech dance club or something. Oh, the octopus is a really, really cool pattern. I, I do like that. And the squid. Yeah, that, those patterns are really cool. I think after these next two rounds of sync, I think we can put that, um, this in here permanently too. But we'll try it. I probably also could have done some like texture designing as I was going through this, but we didn't, so whatever. Go 
but we didn't do that. We didn't do that thing that I thought would be cool. And now it's too late. I mean, we can always add texture to it later. I think I might run out of... Well, actually, no. We might make it through this entire pattern without running out of brown yarn, which would be kind of nice. Because I think we're about... Maybe not halfway there yet, but almost halfway. Do I think I'll finish the volcano on the next live stream? Mm, probably not. Maybe. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Where are you posting them? Lachlan? Need a little bit more brown yarn there. There we go. Okay. All right, so there's my first round of single crochets. Um, we'll do one more round of this, and then uh, we'll see how the base goes in, and I might just like sew it in kind of a little bit right now. I don't think we'll be able to like, hmm. yeah, I don't think we'll be able to like actively sew in the base yet. I think we'll need to do that when we have some extra yarn, maybe, I don't know. That might be the first thing that we do next live stream. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, we'll figure it out. What video games are you planning on streaming? I'm probably gonna start by live streaming like something simple. I, I mean, I might just start with like Super Smash Brothers because I really like playing it and I'm pretty good at it. Um, my idea actually, uh, Hannah, is to live stream uh, to live stream uh, a game like rounds of Super Smash Brothers, and do like, like, I don't know. See how many. Like, let's say, let's say I did like twenty rounds, twenty games of Super Smash Brothers in a live stream, and however many times I lose, I add those characters that I lost to, to like a, like a random poll, poll like a, like a, you know, what's it called? A wheel. And then I spin the wheel and I crochet one of those, one of the characters that I lost to. I thought that might be kind of fun. Uh, something like that. Like I do, I I play 20 games on the Louis Loops live stream, and then and I do that on Tuesday, and then on Thursday I come to the Club Crochet channel and I crochet one of those characters that I lost to uh, on the Club Crochet live stream. So kind of like cross promotion of the channels, and it just might be like a fun way to incorporate crochet into my gaming. I don't know. I'm still like noodling out around with the idea. I need to, um, I really need to get it going though. Like it's just been so much going on that I just haven't had the time to like put some effort into the live streaming setup. Um, but the idea I think is gonna be Tuesday gaming live stream and then Thursday crochet live streams and then doing patterns on the other days. Um, but yeah, I'm still figuring out the time, time thing. Yeah, my, I, I definitely am very, very good at Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> I know that confidently. I, that is the, probably the game I'm best at. But only with Yoshi. I only ever play Yoshi. Okay. All right, I think this is going to be it for our crochet today. Let's put this in here. Let's actually... Here's what we're gonna do. I finally got some needles. I finally got some like actual metal needles. I lost all my metal needles in the move for some, like I don't know where they went. So what I'm gonna do is I'm threading the center of this onto our needle and I'm gonna go slightly off center. Like maybe right, like this would be center, right? So we're gonna go slightly off that. So let's go like right here. And that's just because it's slightly off center in the middle here. So we'll go like right there. That. 
and we'll pull it through, tuck it in. Wait a sec, hold on. Just want to put a hole where that was. Okay. Get that into place. Like that. And then we'll go back down through the center with it. So can I crochet with this? Yeah, okay. This should be fine. So back through the center come out through the very center of our piece like that. And I'm going to keep this loop just a little bit open because we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So over here, maybe like right here, come back up like that. And this is just going to be to attach it. And then I'm going to go through the little loop that I made with our center and then back through it once I get this tight in. Stitch marker, get out of here. Just pull that nice and tight, and then back through this one. Like that, and pull that nice and tight. And then we'll go through it one more time, like right here. Like that. And that should create just a little tiny knot, just like that. Uh, and I'm just gonna go through this through our cardboard again and just like kind of hide it somewhere on the outside like this. And that should hold the cardboard down pretty well. I do want to sew the edges down a little bit better next time uh, in the next live stream, but for right now this is going to this should be fine. Let's do I'm just going to I'm just going to hide this end real quick. We'll just go in and out somewhere on the inside. Like that. There we go. Cut it. And that should be good. All right, so that should keep it in there and keep it relatively flat. And we'll keep working on it next live stream. Not bad though, right? We might go, we might end up doing more single crochets because it does feel like it's going like Maybe a little too sharp in, but I don't know. But we can already fit, I think, a pretty good amount of dinosaurs in here. Yeah, we'll be able to fit a bunch of dinos in there. Look at that. That's not even like half the, because once it's up all the way, once it gets up to about like right here, so then we'll call it, I mean, about like right there, you know? We'll go in a little bit more. We'll just keep, actually, you know, we'll probably keep this system going. We'll probably just keep going up like this. Okay, cool. Well, let's pick a winner of the giveaway. All right. Giveaway. Good thing it's full screen. All right, so our giveaway. I'm going to turn off responses and export the list. And we're gonna choose someone at random. There are only 56 people that signed up for the giveaway. So you have a pretty good chance. Um, we're gonna just choose someone at random. Random number generator. All right. Okay, so we're gonna choose one at random here for the giveaway. Um, and before I even do that, I do wanna say, everybody, 
thank you so much for joining. I really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the feedback and just hanging out on a Thursday and crocheting. Uh, it's just really cool. So just, yeah, thank you so much for joining and thanks for crocheting with me. Um, I'll be live again next Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, continuing our volcano. But for our giveaway, the winner is, and drum roll. That's how they drum in uh, where I'm from. Uh, the winner is Maya. Maya Sobaszek. Maya Sobaszek. Um, I think I said it right. I hope you're in the stream. Uh, congratulations, Maya. You win. Uh, it was totally at random. It, you were the 10th person to sign up, so you might be... Oh, you are there! <laughs> congratulations, Maya. I see you in the chat. Congratulations. I will be sending you an email um, probably later tonight. Uh, and yeah, congrats. And thank you all so much for your feedback. And thank you for hanging out. And just... Yeah. Yeah crocheting with me um yeah i'll see you guys next thursday and uh oh that's right actually no you hang up first oh my god stop <laughs> you hang up first hello <laughs> hey everybody welcome to the live stream i'm feeling marginally better well i'm feeling a lot better actually on friday i was not feeling good um, for people unaware. Uh, this was supposed to happen last week, but uh, I got COVID and I still kind of do. Also, I broke my glasses. Yeah, so I'm having like a pretty rough re week. I also uh, slept really weird last night on my neck, so I can't turn my neck very much either. So we're gonna do, <laughs> yeah, I'm basically like broken apart into a million different little pieces. But we're gonna do the best that we can today. Um, I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you guys so much for uh, the well wishes and whatnot. Uh, I do appreciate it. Did I get new glasses? I, get, I did get new glasses, but they're not here yet. Um, uh, when I broke, so, okay. So let me give you the story, all right? So I went to a bachelor party, la not last weekend, but the weekend before last. And uh, I got, it was so expensive. I broke my glasses and I got COVID. And I'm the only one that got really screwed over during this, uh, during this bachelor party. All the rest, everybody else did great, which is great. But I was also like, oh no. So the wedding is on Friday that I'm supposed to go to and I'm still testing positive. Hopefully I don't test, uh, uh, positive soon because I feel fine. I felt fine since like Saturday, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, Friday was a little rough, but I'm feeling a lot better now, except for the neck. The neck is really bugging me. Um, but that's okay. We'll we'll be fine as long as I don't look left. I can look right, but I can't look left. So, um. <laughs> Uh, first off, before we even get going, uh, I want to do a quick shout out to uh, Johnny. Thank you so much for the tip. I really appreciate it. Uh, also, in this whole live stream, if you see me doing this, uh, sorry. But also, my my neck hurts really bad, so I'm going to do what I got to do. Um, uh, today, we're going to be... Oh, wait. Let's switch the... Hold on. Pew. Pew. Okay. So today we're going to be continuing our volcano crochet along. We'll be going till about mm, 3, 3.30, so a couple hours. Oh, no audio? Can no one hear me? No, 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 you can hear me. Vanessa can't hear me, but I think that she is alone in that. Let me know if that's true. Um, uh, by the way, hello to formerly known as Takoyaki and Femke and everybody else in the chat. Darkstorm, hello. Welcome. Sandal Soup. Um, let me know how I sound. Uh, Vanessa is having a hard time hearing us for some reason. Um, okay. 
So today we're going to be continuing to crochet. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Cooper. Hold on, I'll get to that too. Um, so today we're going to be continuing to crochet our volcano. I don't remember exactly where we left off. Um, Cooper has been keeping track of our pattern. The plan being that we are going to be, uh, we're making a volcano bag uh, to house all of our uh, dinosaurs. But you can see they're kind of in there already. What we've done so far is, boop, boop, boop. let's take our guys out of here. We've made, uh, we've basically made the base of our uh, volcano. Let's get these guys, let's put these guys over here. So uh, we've made the base of, of our volcano. It's pretty simple. It's just like a big, large, flat base with a, a cardboard inside. And then I actually attached the cardboard to it using a little string there. I was going to sew on the side of the cardboard to it, but I don't know if we really need to do that anymore. I don't know. We might, we might end up doing it at the end, um, but we want to add eyes to it, a mouth, uh, and we still need to crochet the rest of the volcano part. And then we also need to do the lava around the outside. So we actually have a lot to do. Um, I think, I don't think we'll be able to finish it in this live stream, but we'll try. Um, if we can't, we can't, that's okay. Um, uh, but, uh, before we get going, uh, let's talk about what you need if you want to crochet along with me. Uh, right now, I'm going to be putting this pattern onto the website uh, ASAP. Uh, once this pattern is done, uh, we'll put it on the website. And I'm going to kind of go through... Uh, if you watched the last live stream, I'm kind of like doing a tutorial, kind of, sort of, not really. Um, I'm explaining the stitches as we go, but I'm not going into too much detail as I go. Um, but we'll see. Uh, but before we get going, uh, yeah, the materials you need. I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% wool today. I'm actually using a uh, worsted weight wool today uh, because I want it to be somewhat flexible uh, and it just was the perfect color for me uh, too. So we're going to be using a brown for the main part of the volcano. We're going to be using this uh, red for the lava. I don't know how well that's coming off on camera, but it looks really good in, in person. Uh, and then we'll use some of this white yarn for the um, for the eyes. And we'll need some safety eyes for the eyes, of course, too. A little bit of black yarn for the mouth, stuff like that. We'll be using a size I9, 5.5 millimeter for the main yarn. And that's because I want it to be a little bit open, the stitches to be a little bit like bigger, you know? So I'm using a slightly larger crochet hook than I'm normally using. But I also have my normal crochet hook, my size G four millimeter, and that's going to be because uh, be because this white yarn uh, is slightly smaller uh, than the the brown. So and I want it to be uh, tighter stitches. So I'm going to use a slightly smaller hook for that. I need a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and the pattern. I'll be putting the pattern onto the website at uh, after the live stream. I'll probably just have it at clubcrochet.com/volcano. I, I assume it'll probably be there. Um, but if you are curious, there should be a link in the description uh, once the pattern is live. Uh, as far as the um, the uh, like the what I'm using for the pattern, I'm using the bag pattern that's currently on the website. Um, you can find it, I think, by just going to clubcrochet.com/bag or slash bell bag. I'm not 100% sure, um, but if you go to the website and you search bag. That's what I'm using as like the um, the base of this design, kind of. Not really, but kind of. Um, I did, I have already altered it quite a lot and I think there's gonna be a lot of alterations continuing from that. But that is what I used as the base for the last video. And I'll probably still sort of be following that a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, every now and then my neck is like, ah! Uh! <laughs> um, <laughs> if you'd like to support this channel, there are a few different ways you can do so. The first, easiest, cheapest, freest way is with uh, by liking and subscribing down below. So like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Um, hit the bell icon so you don't miss other videos. You know, all that fun stuff. Um, and da, 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 da. yeah, that's like a free, free easy way. Uh, if this video, I think we're at, I think 
I think we go back down, right? Because last time I said if we get 300 likes, we'll do a giveaway, but we didn't get 300 likes. So we go down. If this video gets 250 likes, uh, we'll do a giveaway next live stream, which next live stream we'll be making, I think we'll be making a brontosaurus, I think. Or did we already make a brontosaurus this month or this year? Let me know. If you Do you remember us making a brontosaurus? I can't remember. Let me know. Uh, but I think we'll be making a Brontosaurus next uh, for our uh, Club Crochet Pro membership. If you want to support monetarily, um, you can support... The best way to support monetarily is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns, access to a whole library of tutorials and patterns, um, including all of our little dinosaurs. There's this one. This fella is brand new, the Plesiosaur. I just put it onto the website um, yesterday or two days ago, I think. So it's brand spanking new. Um, there's also an Ankylosaurus. There's a bunch of them. I think there's over 200 different patterns and I add new ones every single month. You can also get monthly kits mailed to your door with all the materials that you need to get whatever we're making next month. Next month's kit is going to be, well, you're gonna be able to choose between uh, making zombie and a Frankenstein or a little pumpkin. And I am currently working on a face for this pumpkin as well. Um, but I actually just finished this uh, two days ago just to like try out the base pattern. Um, this is a, and actually an, a really, the base of this pattern was like a really old pattern of mine, but I've kind of spruced it up a little bit so you can make it without any sewing together. Um, so it's actually made without any sewing, except for the leaf. The leaf is sewn on. But other than that, there it's a no-sew pattern. Um, even this and uh, the, the stem and the, the vine are all made in one piece. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I like it a lot. It's going to be very, this is going to be the beginner, well, yeah, it is a beginner kit. Um, but there's also going to be the more advanced kit where you can choose between either making the pumpkin or you can make a um, uh, uh, a zombie and a Frankenstein. So that's going to be coming ASAP. Uh, sign up before the end of the month if you're interested in that. Uh, if you want to learn more, you can just go to clubcrochet.com for that. We're also going to be coming out with other patterns. Uh, me and Johnny, who is actually in the chat and was the first person to tip. Thank you again, Johnny. Uh, are going to be doing a collaboration pattern, I think. Hopefully, I can finish in time. I'm like obviously really behind schedule, but we're working on a little on a on a big skull together. So um, using her pattern, it is her pattern, but I'm helping her out a little bit with it. Um, other ways you can support: there's merch. You can purchase merch and kits in the store uh there's things like bottle eyes and you can tip if you're interested um by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip you can tip the channel and if you tip for more than what was it 15 i think we said 15 right if you tip for more than 15 dollars we're gonna put out something on the whoop, on our on our little wall of stitches here we're gonna try to fill this whole uh uh cabinet up with little amigurumi uh, and this is actually my office so this is like in my office and it'll always be here which is really cool and cooper thank you so much cooper for your tip cooper tipped for 30 dollars uh hope you're doing better i am i'm doing marginally better um the neck is really the hard thing today but you know that's that's not covid related so that's great and cooper you know what i'm gonna put out for you Something way cool because I woke up today. Hold on. I woke up today and I found out some really cool news. And you just gotta find it. Hold on. Man, I should have got this out early. They're making. Hold on. Did anybody else see the Nintendo announcement thing? Or is that just, am I just the nerd that watches the Nintendo stuff? Like, the time, the day it comes out. Because <laughs> I was all about that today. I woke up this morning, I was like, hold on. Before I get out of bed, I gotta watch all the Nintendo news. Um, they announced a bunch of games. And one game in particular that they announced, I have been waiting for for a long, long time, and I'm super excited. Hold on, so we're gonna put something out for Cooper, because I know Cooper's also a fan of these. And you get to name this, Cooper. They announced a brand new Pikmin. Pikmin 4, coming out next year. 
Super excited about that. Um, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Cooper. So Cooper, if you would like to name, I don't know, I don't think we've ever given this red Pikmin a name. This is the first Pikmin that I made. Um, this is a rough draft pattern because I am a lazy bones that has not finished up uh, the pattern yet. But this obviously, now that the new Pikmin's been announced especially, um, I'm gonna put more work into these patterns uh, to make all the different kinds of Pikmin. Because uh, I have already have red, yellow, and blue Pikmin. Uh, but and and I made a purple and a white one. Um, but I still need to make a black and a pink one. But anyhow, Cooper, this is out for you. If you would like to name our little Pikmin friend, you go for it. Also, oh, it's so perfect next to sunshine. Let's see. Can we put it like? I'll have him like leaning with sunshine like that. Oh my God, he even stands there perfectly. So, can you get a good view of that? I think. Oh man, we need a better, I really need to get that camera situation figured out. How do I do that? Maybe if I hang it from the ceiling, I can get like a camera that's right in there for you guys. That'd be really cool. Okay, well that's out for you, Cooper. If you got a name for it, let me know. I will uh, put a little name tag next to it too. Ooh, I looked left really fast and that was a bad move. All right, let's go back to the hands. Also, quit, oh, Tom. Oh, Tom. Yes, I think it is. I think it is. Tom supports and says my condolences on COVID. But oh, first off, thank you so much, Tina. Tina Jack Gurgle. <laughs> what a great name. <laughs> thank you for your support, Tina. Um, and Tom supports for another 15. So let's get our Yeti friend out here. If I can find him. Oh, here he is. Of course I can find him. He's always ready to rock and roll. Tom, thank you. Um, I don't, so Yancey, this is Yancey the Yeti, and Yancey does have a name, but, uh, you know what? We can give it a middle name if you'd like, Tom. I'm thinking we just name him Tom. Yancey Tom the Yeti. The last name, the Yeti. It's one word. We'll go ahead and put, we'll go ahead and put, uh, Yancey Tom the Yeti right here. And I'll get the name tags soon. Uh, and... And Cooper is contemplating our red Pikmin's name. Um, perfect. That's great. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate it. It has been uh, a pretty hard couple of weeks, so it means a lot. Thank you. All right. Let's get crocheting because we've got a lot of work to do today. Uh, and if you have any questions as we're going, please let me know. Ooh. Okay, wait. Let's have a little bit of coffee first, too. I just started having coffee again too. I, I have been coffee, coffee free for a while, which has been pretty nice. Okay. Ooh, let's get this out of the way. I think we're gonna start. And now, now Cooper, I don't remember where we left off, but um, I was thinking maybe what you could do is, uh, I know you've been jotting down the pattern as we're going. I was hoping maybe you could put it into a Google document so I could uh, keep track of it while we're going. Um, and we, you could maybe just share that Google Doc with me. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and quick thank you again to Cooper. Cooper, you are incredible, um, invaluable. Thank you so much for all your help on these uh, live streams. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, okay, so last time, let's see, I'm going to count back. We did two D, we did a decrease and then two rounds of single crochets. So we were kind of like, I think we're trying to, if I remember correctly, I think we're trying to like slow, like bring it down to like this big, probably. To about like this big, this far up. So we still have about half of the height left to go and about half of the width to just decrease it by. So I think we should do, let's see, do we want to decrease it ever? Uh, yeah, okay, we'll do, a, we'll do a round of decreasing. So we did, last time we did two rounds of single crochets after a round of decreasing. I don't remember how many stitches we are in, um, oh, there we go, Cooper's on it. Cooper says we're on round 23 with 66 stitches left. 
Um, cool. So we have 66 stitches. We need to decrease it down six more, I think. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look for where I decreased in the last time and find a good, find out where those are and decrease it again there. So it looks like we got one right here. Okay, so let's count it there. I think we did, uh, it's been like two weeks now. So, oh, let's count it. Let's see, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Maybe we should do a round of just single crochets first. Seven, eight. Ah, of course, nine. It would be ten. Nine single crochets and then a decrease. Let's see. Do we want to do that though or not? Hmm. Let's turn. Hmm. Do we want to decrease it further now? And this is always the contemplation that I have when I'm doing patterns. Like, when do I decrease? Do I decrease now or do I decrease later? Um, eh, yeah, okay, fine. Let's decrease it down to 60. We're going to do it. So that's going to be nine single crochets and then an invisible decrease. And we're going to repeat that ten time, or six times total to go down from 66 stitches down to 60 stitches for around uh, 24, I believe. Cool. Oh, this is Aliyah. Hello, Aliyah. Low key, low key Aliyah. Johnny is making a teddy bear for their grandma. That is a okay, Johnny. I'll. I'll I'll say, I'll talk to the chat while you're not there. <laughs> What's everybody else making? Anybody else crocheting today? Yeah, my neck is killing me though. I can look like kind of to the right. I took, I just took some pain meds for it, but we'll see how that works. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, Alia. All right, hello, Alia. Sorry, I mispronounced your name. Oh, dude, Corsi. Corsi says, I've been crocheting for six months and thanks for all the tutorials. Learn to identify the patterns and replicate them by just looking at them for a moment. That is a great way to to learn too. That like if you if you're that far along, like that is uh, a very very cool talent to have. Fruity the Frog's making twenty apple keychains. That's a lot of apple keychains. Oh, Angel! Okay, so Angel uh, was the winner of Butter Cup, uh, but now known as Butter Scotch. Uh, th they have renamed it to Butterscotch, and they have the full right to do so. Um, oh, you're gonna start animating them. That's so cool. Darkstorm's making a baby rattle. Oh, that's cool. What a cool idea. I've never thought of doing that. That's a that's a fun idea. You know, I always think I'm not a I'm not a dad yet, but one day, hopefully, I will be. And uh, I bet you it really changes my designs. Once I, once I have a kid, I bet you I'm going to be like, I'm going to make all the baby stuff in the world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a decrease. I'm actually pretty excited for uh, that stage of my life eventually. I, I kind of think I'm closer than I have uh, ever been. <laughs> being 30 and all. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, and then our decrease. Noise. 
I'm slightly afraid that we're decreasing it too quickly, but we'll just do a couple more rounds of single crochets after this and and hope that it is not a problem. I mean, you know, worst case scenario, we just do more single crochets. No kids yet, Belle, no kids yet. Yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely going to spoil my children. I'm sure I will. Um, <laughs> if my parents don't get to them first. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Eight. Nine. But yeah, it's been a, you know, a slow little recovery here from, from that. Isn't Jimbo my kid? My Jimbo is my kid. Yeah, that's a good point. Jimbo does get a lot of toys. Jimbo is asleep on the couch right now. Very, it is a perfect timing. I was like, oh my god, he's asleep. Go, 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 live stream. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. Nine. There we go. All right, so that's gonna be the end of that round. And yeah, we'll go ahead and mark that end of that round. All right, so next, I think we're just gonna do a couple rounds of single crochets. Now I'm gonna do a couple more rounds of single crochets and then we might like switch it up so it's not just so boring just continuously crocheting the same thing. Um, we'll, do, we'll, we'll start making the eyes maybe after a couple rounds. Um, how is Jules doing? I know it's I know who you are, Aliyah. Aliyah. Um, how is Jules doing? Jules is doing okay. She's actually in San Francisco right now. She went to San Francisco for work. Um, uh, right before I got home from my trip, and so when I found out that I had COVID, I told her stay up there. Um, she's staying with her parents, so. I said, stay up there until I test negative, so that way I don't accidentally give you COVID. So hopefully we can get through all this without her ever getting COVID. That'll be pretty cool, honestly. That would be pretty awesome. I agree. Yes, Johnny, you don't need kids to love to crochet toys. Toys are cool in general. <laughs> Yeah, I've been doing I've been doing just fine crocheting without kids, so who needs them? Yes, oh my gosh. I I I hope my kid wants to crochet. That would be pretty dope. I would be very into that. But, you know, I'll probably get pretty I'll somehow get unlucky and my kid will be really into sports and I'll be like, what? Why? What did I do wrong? <laughs> yeah, I just don't want, I just don't want Jules getting sick, but I do feel really bad. She really, you know, she misses, she misses home. She misses the kitties, but uh, I really just don't want her to get sick. That'd be really nice if she never got COVID. Pretty nice. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, my kid will prefer knitting. No, no child of mine's gonna wanna knit. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> That would be funny though. Were they like quilting? I'm like, what? Quilting? What did I do wrong? Sorry I kept changing the time of this live stream, by the way. I mean, at first the change was because of COVID, you know, like I needed to change it uh, to, to push it back. And then I was gonna do it today starting at three but I have Dungeons and Dragons today, and I, I have, look at my freaking, okay, so look at my nerdy 
classes talking about how I <laughs> um I actually have to play Dungeons and Dragons later and so I couldn't I had to move the live stream slightly earlier so that I could meet my Dungeons and Dragons group. No, but it's true. It's true I did. Oh my god, can I tell you about my character? Have I told you about my character for this game? I don't think I have. It's been a long time since I played D&D. &D. Um, I used to play it when I was in uh, uh, when I was in high school and just just starting college uh, a lot. Um, I used to play in um, in LA with some friends and but I hadn't played in a long time and finally Jules had been playing in a group online for a long time and they're they're cool very very cool group and they needed a, a new player and I was like oh can I play can I play and so Jules and I designed uh, a character two characters together um, I might have already told you all about this I know I do look like Harry Potter right now except I need a Hermione to fix my glasses um, so my character is uh, well Jules's character is named um, uh, Kaimana and she is a water genasi she's basically like a like a water person but is human not she's not made of water but she, kind of like her hair looks like it's flowing in water all the time and stuff. Anyhow, uh, she has a little teddy bear. It's not a teddy bear. It's a little stuffed uh, bunny rabbit that uh, when she was a kid, it was like her favorite toy. And then she was given powers by a god. But so that her so that she does her job right, the god took her teddy or her stuffed bunny rabbit and gave it sentient life uh, to watch over her. And that's me. My character's name is Bun Bun. And he talks like this. Hey, I'm Bun Bun. <laughs> and he is, uh, he's the best. I love him so much. <laughs> he is super cool. Uh, he's a warlock. Um, and he's just this like little tiny bunny. Here, I actually have him like, I've started crocheting him actually. This is what he, this is, this is his body. Kind of see how he's, how he's looking, how big. And this is supposed to be life size. So he's supposed to be really tiny. Um, and I don't know if you've ever played Dungeons and Dragons before, uh, but if you have played Dungeons and Dragons, uh, I have a move called uh, Mage Hand which is like it's called an, a cantrip in Dungeons and Dragons which means that you can like use it whenever you want basically and what it does is you create like basically a floating hand that you can look like whatever you want it to um that can like hold on to things and stuff like that but because I am so tiny I can actually use my my mage hand as a um as a mount I can turn it into like, I turn it into like a little airplane and I fly around and stuff like that. It's great. It was, uh, it's, <laughs> it's super fun. It's like, it's super funny. I turn it into little cars and I'm like just driving around. D&D, D&D is Dungeons and Dragons. It's basically a, um, a like a fantasy role-playing game where you play with a bunch of other people and you kind of like tell a story together it's really cool alaya you got to check it out it's really really cool um okay i did my two rounds of single crochets do we want to keep it with two rounds or not if we want it to be about that tall I mean that seems like a reasonable height right and we want it to be about that big we probably have about four more rounds of decreasing I would say four more rounds of decreasing and we want it to be about double this height so how far have we gone we've gone one two three four Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So let's say like 
we want to do at least 13 more rounds. Okay, if we want to do 13 more rounds with four decreases split between them, how often do we want to decrease? We want to decrease about every three rounds, right? So we would do decrease and then two single two rounds of single crochets, decrease, two rounds of single crochets, decrease, two rounds, decrease, two rounds. Okay, so yeah, every two rounds, right? I think that's right. So I think we can decrease. I guess so. Because right now we're, we're at about this kind of, about like a, let's see, what's our angle looking like? Looks like, yeah, it looks like a good angle. Um, all right, we'll do one more round of decreasing and two, sing, two rounds of single crochets, and then we'll continue from there. So by the way, let's see, I don't know what round we're on. I think we did round, that was round 20. I think Cooper said it was around 23 was where we started today. So we did 24, 25, 26. Okay, so we're gonna do this next round, we're gonna do another round of decreasing. So we want um, to do eight single crochets and then decrease. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, whoopsies. Seven, eight, and then a round of decreasing. There we go. Okay, and then we'll repeat that six times total. Um, I think, the, oh man, I looked left. I looked left like a goof. So I'm on a, um, I'm on these special medication for, for COVID and it tastes so gross. Today was the last of my medication. So I'm super excited not to have to take it anymore, but I did take it like right before the live stream and oh my gosh, it is so nasty. It tastes like metal. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, and then decrease. Just sent over the Google Doc. Awesome, thank you. You know what, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna open it on my phone so that I can look at it while, while I'm going just to like see where I've been and stuff like that. It is. Oh wait. Oh, do you did you email it? Probably emailed it. There it is. More water, five me. Awesome. Oh man, you're even doing. You even changed up the styling. Good job, Cooper. Cooper's incredible. Yeah, yeah, this makes a lot of sense to me. It looks, oh, God. <laughs> Amazing. M-A-Zing. Is it liquid? Oh, the medicine? No, it, they're pills. They're pills, but they just make your mouth taste like metal, like consistently. It's super gross. Johnny's having a having a difficult time right now typing. You're not supposed to be typing. You're supposed to be crocheting. I thought you were making something. You're like, oh, I'm gonna have a hard time talking in the chat. And then you're just like, wait, actually, I want to talk to the chat. <laughs> One, two. 
four, six, eight, and then a decrease. How did I come up with the name Club Crochet? That's a good question. Um, I came up with the name Club Crochet. I, so I started Club Crochet as uh, on my other channel, Louis Loops. Uh, it was like a, um, it, my other channel, Louis Loops, is like, more of like me as an artist so i don't just i'm trying to like make it into like oh i don't just do crochet but it was mostly crochet and i moved on so i while i was doing that uh i had a patreon uh on louis loops and with that patreon you could support for like a certain amount of money and you get patterns very very similar to how club crochet works kind of but then i was like i called it uh, club crochet I think because it was just like you know an alliteration a good name and I wanted it to be part of a club where people could actually like crochet their own patterns and all this other stuff and then I was like you know what let's see if that website's available and I looked up clubcrochet.com and I was like oh my gosh no one owns clubcrochet.com buy it now and so then I bought it and yeah one thing led to another and there it is I um I buy a lot of URLs. <laughs> I own a lot of different websites. I just, whenever I come up with like a fun idea for a website, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna buy that website. So I own things like, I own thegoblinoids.com, I own amigurumi101.com, I own uh, pocketpatterns.com, geekystickers.com. I just own all these different websites that I'm just like, ooh, I want that website, ooh, I want that website. I don't know what I'm ever going to do with them. I just, but you know, some of them I actually do things with like the goblinoids.com redirects to, um, my, you know, my goblinoids ebook. So it's kind of cool. All right. So there's my round of decreasing. Oop, I'm going to pull up the stitch marker here and then just do a round of single crochets. And we're going to just do two rounds of single crochets, and then we're going to move on to making the eyes. Because uh, we need, you know, we need some variety in here. We need to change things up. I don't think we're going to sew on the eyes right away, but, you know, we just need to, uh, we need to change things up. Have I been playing Splatoon 3? Not yet. I want to buy it physical. Um, I want to buy the physical game, uh, and I haven't been able to like leave my house because I have COVID, because uh, I'm testing positive. So I just don't want to go anywhere. You know, I don't want to accidentally give COVID to anybody. So I've just been staying at home, and I didn't really want to order it online. I just want to go to Target and then buy it physical and then play it. So once I'm, um, this weekend I'm going to that wedding, hopefully, as long as I'm testing negative. And uh, after the wedding, I am totally gonna get it. Uh, I really wanna get it because I think Jules will really like it too. So I really wanna get it uh, very, very badly. I'm so excited. I love Splatoon 2. That game was so great. I was really into it for a long time. And then I got obsessed with Super Smash Brothers. And I, I kinda need something else other than Super Smash Brothers because I'm like, I just can't, I can't keep up. I mean, like, I'm really, really good at it, but it's like taking over my life, you know? So I need to take a break. So I'm looking for a new competitive game. So Splatoon should be perfect for that. I'm also really excited because they just announced a bunch of different games for the, the Switch today. And oh, the new Zelda is coming out in May. It's too far away. But before then, they got a new, um, what's that game called? It's called, like, The Two of Us or something. You play as, like, these two dolls, and it's, like, a co-op game. I'm really excited about that, to play with Jules. 
Anybody else? Anybody been playing Splatoon 3 out there? Takayaki, you're heading out already? Okay, well, thanks so much for joining. See you soon. I think next live stream will be next Thursday at 3 p.m. I think we're going to stick to that schedule um, as, as I can. So look look for it about then. It Takes Two, that's what it's named. Thank you, Johnny. So good. Yeah, I really want to I really want to get the new Splatoon. I like it. The Amaze feed has it and it says it's so fun. What is Splatoon 3? Splatoon 3, uh, so Splatoon is a game on um, the Switch. It is uh, it is a game where you play as like these, they call them squid kids or squid, just squids? I don't know, but they're, they're basically little kids that can turn into squids and shoot, uh, they shoot ink out of little guns and then they can like swim in their ink. And so the game basically is like a, a shooter game where you, instead of trying to like kill everybody, uh, you are trying to cover the map as much as you can with your color, your team's color of ink. And then whoever has the most ink on the board uh, at the end of the game wins. It looks really, it's it's super duper fun. Uh, and then there's also other modes of it and uh, it's really cool, you should check it out. It, it is a very unique game uh, and yeah, I'm excited to play the third one. I don't think there's that much different between the third one and the second one as far as like, I mean there's a few different things, but it's more like just, you know, more people will play it again. Uh, there's a few different things that are that are, have changed of course there's going to be like a there's a single player mode uh and like different kinds of games for it so yeah should be cool i'm really excited i really liked salmon run on the game which was a mode on the game where you would you would run around and collect salmon eggs with like a, a little team of characters so it wasn't it wasn't like one team versus another team it was like your team against like uh, just trying to collect as many salmon eggs as you could. That one was really, I liked that mode a lot. And so I think they brought that back, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, I'm excited about the game. I think it's gonna be cool. All right, I have finished up round, uh, another two rounds of single crochets. Looking pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Let's, uh, let's play around. Let's make some, ouch. <laughs> my, my head. Um, okay. We're going to do white yarn now. Let's make some eyeballs. Now I think I'm just going to use some smaller, uh, a smaller crochet hook here for this. We're going to be making some eyes. Um, this part is not going to be completely necessary. If you don't want to add eyes to your, um, if you don't want to add eyes to your, to your, uh, volcano, you don't have to, obviously, but I do. We're looking to make it look kind of like, um, where did I put that actually? Ooh. I don't know where I put the uh, our design that we're we're trying to make it look like. Hmm. Well, you can kind of see it in the corner there. I, I swear I saw it earlier though. Oh well. It's somewhere. God, all I want to do is crack my neck, but I just can't. Like, oh, it hurts too bad. Can't do it. Oh, well. okay. So we're going to make some eyes. The eyes are going to be really not too complicated. Um, What we're going to do is we're just going to start with a magic loop. 
I'm going to go ahead and zoom a little bit here. And we're going to be using a slightly smaller crochet hook, like I said, to just not... Um... Well, let's, let's zoom out just a little bit more than that. Yeah. We'll go like, darken it just a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we're going to be using a slightly smaller crochet hook. Um, like I said, this isn't really necessary. It's just going to make it so that our stitches are a little bit smaller uh, so that there's less holes in the stitches, which I think will look really nice for the eyes because it'll just be a little tighter. So what we're going to start with, with is a magic loop, which we already did for um, this guy here. And if you want a tutorial for magic loop, I do have one uh, on the website. Uh, I think you can just go to clubcrochet.com slash magic loop. And we're going to start by just doing six single crochets into the magic loop. And we're going to keep increasing it bigger and bigger uh, until we like the size. And then we're just going to do single crochets so to give it uh, some, uh, like some depth. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just going to do six single crochets into the magic loop. And then into each stitch around, should I do a stitch marker? Probably. Let's get some yarn of a different color. Okay, I'm going to use a different color here to as our stitch marker. If you want to, if this is for the future people that are watching and want to crochet this with me. Um, okay, so we did six single crochets into the magic loop. Next, I'm going to do an increase into every stitch all the way around. And we're going to start in this first one here. And then as I go around, I'm also going to work around this tail end for just a few stitches to keep it locked into place so that we don't have to worry about it coming undone at all. We're just going to put an increase in each stitch around. So two single crochets into all the stitches. And that's going to bring us up from six stitches to 12 stitches for the eyes. So one, two, we'll do one more increase here. One, two, and then after that second increase, I'm just going to let this float. Uh, and we'll just ignore it. Oop. There we go. How are we doing? Hello, future peoples. Yeah. <laughs> And I think we're going to end up using a slightly larger eyeball for the center of this eye eventually too, but we'll see how that works. Okay, so that increased it up. We're going to pull our stitch marker up. We're going to increase it again. We're going to go from uh, 12. The, you should have 12 stitches by the end of that round. We're going to go up to 18 stitches now. And for 18, we're going to do a single crochet into the first one and then an increase into the next and repeat that um, all the way till we get to the end. And that's going to bring us up to 18 stitches. Hello, chirp a little in the chat. How are you doing? The Coraline book is 20 years old, apparently. Whoa, that's crazy. I love Coraline. That is super cool. Um, yeah, Neil Gaiman. Big fan of Neil Gaiman. If you haven't yet, check out the Sandman show on Netflix. It's very cool. Is there a reason? Okay, now I don't know if everybody's is like this, but for some reason, huh? Whoa, that's super weird. I'm having, I got this weird glitch on my, on my iPad right now for the chat, where the chat, certain certain replies are white, and then other replies are not. Super weird. All right, so we're almost done with this round. Now we have, 
There we go. So that's round three. We've got up to 18 stitches now. It's pretty good. Pull it a little tighter. Pull our stitch marker. Pull our stitch marker down. And uh, we're going to keep increasing it up. I think we want it to be just a little bit bigger. Yeah, let's do one more. Let's do one more round of increases. So for this next round, we're going to do two single crochets. One, two, and then our increase, three, and four in the same stitch. And then we're going to do that uh, six times around, going all the way around, which will increase us up to 24 stitches around. Uh, and I think this might be big enough for our eye, um, but if you want to make it bigger, you can just do another round where it's three single crochets and then an increase, and you keep increasing it that way. Um... Uh, da, da, da. when is the raptor pattern going to be on the website ASAP? I wanted to get it done this week, but, uh, you know, with COVID and everything, I, I got pushed back a little bit. So, um, probably within a week or eh, probably within a week, it'll be on the website. Yeah. So, so raptor patterns coming out soon. I hope, um, other question. Oh, Loki, Aaliyah. Uh, thank you for teaching this. You're journaling your way through crochet. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, the last of our new dinosaurs, the raptor, should be done ASAP. Um, I'm sorry it's taken me so long. I'm also in the middle of redoing, not really redoing, but like, Kind of redoing the Triceratops and the T-Rex and the Brontosaurus pattern and the Stegosaurus pattern. Um, so I'm re-recording them. I'm uh, redoing the PDFs uh, to include some new instructions and stuff like that. Okay, so this looks like, I think, big enough. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to do a round of just single crochets all the way around after that. So... Just let's try just one round of just single crochets. It, we might end up doing two, maybe even three rounds of single crochets, but let's start with just one. And yes, like Cooper said, the uh, the rafter pattern is currently in the rough drafts on the website. So if you have a membership, you actually do have access to um, uh, to the. A rough draft version of the raptor pattern and it's pretty close to what the rea uh, the final pattern is going to be um, there's a few different things I'm changing but it's not nothing really drastic who will I do a potessor I don't know what that is let's look that up what is that dinosaur PT A tessor. You're talking about a pterodactyl? Hmm. I don't know what the difference between a tessor, tess, teras, pterosaur. Isn't that the same as a, it's just like a really big pterodactyl? Because we did a pterodactyl, that was our last, that was a uh, last month's pattern. We did a pterodactyl and an ankylosaur. Or a pteranondon. What's a pteranondon? Oh, it's another pterodactyl. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm probably not going to do another pterodactyl. Uh, or like similar pterodactyl. I think if I'm gonna do a new dinosaur after, um, it'll be probably a um, like a I, I'm thinking a, a build dinosaur. Like the like um, I don't know what they're called though, but you know like a like Ducky from Land Before Time. Okay, so I think that's probably pretty good. Do we like how far out that is? Do we want it to be? 
Do we want it to have more depth? I say yeah. I think we want it to be one more... Just a little bit more depth. Because right now... Yeah. Let's do one more round of single crochets. Yeah, the ter Well, I don't have a pteranodon, but I do have a pterodactyl. Here's the pterodactyl for you, Angel. And I think you could make it, I mean, if you wanted to make it gigantinormous, you totally could, um, by, by making it either with blanket yarn or doubling up the yarn and using a larger crochet hook. Um, but yeah, there's, this is what the pterodactyl looks like. Okay, so we're doing one more round of single crochets to see how that looks. And then I think the eyes, that's going to be the pattern for the eyes. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and put an eyeball in there. Ooh, okay, leaf sauce. Good question, leaf sauce. Let me finish this eye, and then I will, um, I'd be happy to answer that. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Leaf Sauce has a question about back pain and remedies. Uh, I, I had really bad back pain uh, early last or late last year, early this year. So I do have some remedies. It's mostly yoga related, though. Okay. All right. So I think that's probably going to be enough. To have a really nice buggy looking, not like buggy, but you know, I want it to be very cartoony. Out. That's pretty good. Big eye. Big eye. All right, so I think that's going to be it for the eyes. To finish up the eye, I'm just going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. And then cut the yarn. You want a pretty long end. Maybe about like that long. Like that. And we'll just pull it all the way through. Okay, and then we'll pull the stitch marker out. And then let's add an eyeball into it. Um, now, we can try an 8 millimeter eye. I have a strong feeling that we're going to want bigger than 8 millimeters, though. So let's start with an 8 millimeter and see how that looks. I have a feeling this is just going to be too small, though. Yeah, he looks, he looks scared. He looks like he's like, it'll, <laughs> if I did this eye, it'd look like he was like, oopsies, I accidentally exploded. My bad. No, we want bigger. We want a bigger eye. Let's try, um, we'll go with a 10 millimeter, which I think is this big. Let's compare it to the 8. Okay, if this was 8. I believe that, yeah, that should be 10. Yeah, see, it's a little bit bigger. 10 might not even be big enough, though. Yeah, 10 is still pretty small. Let's do bigger than 10. Okay. Bigger than 10. Let's try, I think this is going to be 12 millimeter. Let's try a 12 millimeter eye. It's going to be this one. Ooh, that might even be bigger than 12. I don't know how big that is. Maybe 14. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty good. I like that eye. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do whatever this size is. Let's get a ruler and measure it. I think I got a ruler right here. Always got to remember to put it back in the right same spot. Same spot. Okay, so this is going to be size. Looks like that's a whole. Okay, so that's. Maybe 12. If this was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. Yeah, I think this is about 12. Okay, so about 12 millimeter eyes should work. 
So we're gonna do that. And I think, uh, yeah, I think that's a good size for the eyes. Like that. And then we're also gonna try to do eyebrows, I think, for it. He still looks very surprised, which I think the eyebrows will fix a lot. But we'll do the eyebrows uh, later on in the video. So let's go ahead and keep working on the, uh, let's keep working, let's do another few rounds of Volcano, and then we'll do the second of the eyes. Cool, 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 cool. We're rocking and rolling, guys. We still got an hour left of the live stream. And a uh, quick, this is another quick uh, shout out. If you like this video, prove it. <laughs> like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Hopefully, by the way, by the next live stream, we should be doing a new uh, contest for Club Crochet, a new, a new Club Crochet um, challenge which is gonna be uh, ghosts and ghouls, I think is what we're gonna do. So the idea, I now don't hold me to this because I might change my mind, but I think what the challenge is gonna be is uh, everybody crochets a ghost or a ghoul and, um, and then posts a picture on the Discord channel and then we vote on our favorite ghost or ghoul and you, you're welcome to use patterns from club crochet library or make your own pattern or whatever you want to do um but whatever it is it should uh probably be dressed up for halloween or something like that i think that would be fun did i mm, i did not do a decrease over here let's go back okay so this round we're doing a decrease by the way Sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier. We want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets, and then an invisible decrease repeated six times total to go down to 42 stitches around. So that is what this round is. Five, six, seven and then decrease it down. But yeah, I will let you know um, more about that challenge uh, next live stream. Okay. Five, six. Can we use, uh, Sunshine says, could we use a dressed up gnome for that challenge? I mean, perhaps, as long as it meets the criteria of looking at least like a ghost. Maybe he's, maybe your gnome is dressed as a ghost. I don't know. I don't know. But the, the gist of the challenge is going to be, we're going to choose our top four and then vote on it as a community of what is our favorite. Four, five. Oh, wait, this is not going to be 42 stitches around. This is going to be bigger. It's going to be 48, I think. Is it going to be on Discord? Yeah, I think we might do Discord and Instagram. I'm not sure yet. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm not 100% sure how we're going to do it just yet. But Discord's been doing their own, uh, like unofficial club crochet challenge last month uh for for sunflowers which was way cool uh someone actually made uh sunshine the the um the sunflower dude All right, see you later, Divine Rose Knight. Thanks for joining. Two. Six. Seven. And then our decrease. There we go. 
we go. All right. Next, we want to do two rounds of just uh, single crochets. At least two rounds. We might do more. We might start stretching it up a little bit higher now that we're closer to the top. Because we do want it to be big enough where we can at least fit our, like that, that thick is the thick, thick as we want it to be. Big enough for our hand to fit in there so we can grab out um, dinosaurs and stuff. And it's currently definitely not tall enough. So we need it to be a little taller. We'll see. Let's see how this round looks after doing two rounds of single crochets of it. We're speed running it too, which is nice. Can you see the blue puppet again? Bluey? Sure. Um, where is Bluey? Yes, he can. If I can find him. Oh, here he is. This is Bluey. Hello. I don't know what Bluey talks like. I think he kind of talks like this. Cause he's kind of got like eyes that are like tired, man. You know? Yeah, you know. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. What's really cool, he is actually 100% crocheted. Except for the mouth. The mouth is made out of felt, but it is all crochet. You know, here, if you look at the very edge of it, you can kind of see where, how it's crocheted. It's all crochet on the inside too. I basically, what I did with it is I used this really fuzzy blue yarn and then I held together it with this dark blue uh, cotton yarn at the same time and I crocheted it all together. Uh, and then, so what I did was I built like the uh, internal puppet part, um, which is like, <laughs> bluey scares you. That's funny. You can't really see, can't really see it on the inside, but well, maybe you can actually. Maybe if I do it over here. Full screen. This is the first puppet I ever made. You can kind of see oh, right there, maybe. No, you can't really see in there. But it is. It's got. It's got like a felt um, inside it. Like a, like a strong felt that I cut and I glued together to be the shape of the puppet. It's actually too strong. Um, it, it's kind of like, it can, it can get kind of exhausting to open and close the mouth over and over and over again because it's just like, uh, uh, uh. there's like a, like, I don't know, three or four pounds of like pushback. So it's, it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of hard to do, but it's cool. It's really cool. So I think I, I, I can't remember exactly how I made it. I think I made it and then I made the internal puppet part first. And then after that, I, uh, I crocheted the body around that puppet part and then I glued it to it. And then I, uh, Maybe made the mouth. I can't remember actually how I made it. It's, it's been so long. I mean, I made that in probably 2015, 2014. So quite a while. FIFO TV, hello. How are you doing? Is Bluey older than Jack? Yes, definitely. Way older. A couple years at least. At least like three, four years older. And Bluey is spelled B-L-O-U-I-E. Bluey, like Louie, but with a B. And normally he has a beanie on. Just like me. Yeah, I, I usually, I used to wear a lot more beanies than I do now. Because it's kind of hot down here, but... 
Oh, uh, Laura asks, do you think a tutorial for your dragon pattern will be posted on YouTube at some point? My brother asked for one for his D&D campaign. No. The answer is probably not on YouTube. Uh, there is a YouTube video for it. There's a video tutorial for that dragon. Uh, but um, I have to make some patterns available for purchase or with a membership. But if you want to get it, it is all you need is a Club Crochet membership, and you can get a free trial um, by just going to clubcrochet.com and then you can access the video tutorial for it. There's a full length video tutorial for it. Uh, or you could purchase it and it would be a really cool way to support the channel. And it's only a couple bucks. I think it's only three bucks or three or four bucks. So it's not really that expensive. And, and honestly, it's a really nice way to support this channel. If you really like what's going on on this channel, I, I hope, I'd hope that you'd help support at least a little bit. Hey Cat, how are you? Uh, me and Cat and uh, and uh, someone else. An is it Angel? No, some not the a different Angel. I think uh, we play po uh, Pikmin Go together. Actually, thanks, Laura. Yeah, you can easily. I think you can go to just clubcrochet.com/dragon, and it should take you there. Oh, Angel. Oh my gosh, Angel. You are behind times, dude. Angel asks if we can make a alien or a spaceship. Heck yeah, we already have made an alien and a spaceship. We made an alien that rides in a spaceship. And you can take the spaceship in and out. I think just go to clubcrochet.com slash spaceship probably. Or alien. Um, I'd show you, but I can't. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Yeah, there's actually two spaceships. Here's the here's the bigger spaceship, and here's a little tiny version of the spaceship. And the spaceship actually goes inside out like this. And then there's this alien with one eye. Kind of looks like the brain slug from uh, from uh, from Futurama, and it and it goes right in there, and it rides. It can ride in the spaceship. Yeah, and this is actually made with this is glow in the dark yarn too. So if I turn the lights off, um, I don't think you'll be able to see it on screen, but I can try. Uh, you can kind oh you can't you can't see it, but th it's glow in the dark yarn. You can see it not on the camera, but it, it's been sitting in a box for a long time, so it doesn't have the sunlight yet. <laughs> um, okay, so this round, I think we're going to do three rounds of single crochets instead of two now, because I think I want it to be just a little bit taller, because I want it to get about that big. So yeah, we're going to change it up to three rounds of single crochets here, um, Cooper. So we are currently at, I think we're still at 48 stitches or something. And we're going to do, um, instead of doing two rounds of single crochets, we're doing three rounds now. I'm doing an additional round of single crochets. I do have a pattern to make those spaceships. Uh, it's on the, on, in the library. Yeah. I'm telling you, we got so many patterns there. I've been doing this for, uh, we're actually going to be celebrating I think our six year five or six year anniversary on um I think six years actually six year anniversary in November so that's kind of cool our burb day what yarn do I use for my plushies good question um you predicted that thank you Cooper um what yarn do we use for our plushies uh, I switch it up a lot um, I usually like to use 100% cotton yarn. Uh, good brands are Lily Sugar and Cream yarn I really like. Um, there's some good Lion Brand yarns. There's Bernat Cotton. That's a good cotton yarn. Um, that's what I usually use, like using for my regular plushies. Uh, the reason is because they, it makes really clean looking stitches. Uh, there's a lot of colors available. It's pretty cheap. 
and uh, a lot better for the environment than acrylic yarn and it just like looks a lot better than acrylic yarn i'm not a big fan of using acrylic yarn if i can avoid it um and then i also like using 100 percent wool for the same kind of reasons i think it looks really good uh, and that's if i need it to be like a softer squishier yarn like this what i'm using right now i think is wool ease by um lion brand maybe i think i'm not i'm not sure but i think it's lion brand wool ease so yeah Oh, congratulations, Kat. Your your uh, nephew was just born this morning. Oh my god, that's awesome. Alright. There's our three rounds of single crochets. Yeah, it's starting to get up there for sure. That's looking really good. That's looking really, really good. Okay. And let's put an eye just to like, see? Ooh, that eye might be even just a little big, but. What do you think? Do we think this eye is too big or do we like the size of these eyes? If I do another one, here's a, here's a better look from the side. I mean, it's gonna have an eyebrow that will probably go like that. Imagine my thumb is the eyebrow. You know? Let me see, where is the image? They're really nice. Oh, here it is. The eyes are a lot bigger than the picture I, I did was. Because this is what we're working off of. Cat likes the eyes though. I mean, it's almost like the same size as the drawing, which is kind of cool. Hey Casey, thanks for joining still. I really appreciate it. The eye more to the side. Yeah, it'll be like this. Here, let's go ahead and just stuff it with all these little ends just to get an idea of what it looks like without the ends on it. And uh, here, we'll pin it. Oh, we got a little Animal Crossing. So it'll be like that. Kind of. It'll, oh, I'm kind of starting to think that's a, too big. No, Casey likes the eye. Okay. Big old, big old volcano eyes. And then like the mouth be like here over to like maybe right here. And then the other eye will be on the almost the opposite size of, side of the head. Like over here. What do you think? Why don't we, how about this? Zoe thinks it's too big. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a second eye, same size eye. Actually, you know what? We're gonna make a second eye smaller and uh, compare and contrast. Cause Sunshine agrees that it's too big. So let's make another eye and we'll make it smaller. We're gonna use the same size eyeball though. And Jimbo wants to say hi soon. Okay, so this time for the eye, we're gonna only make it uh, uh, 18. I think what I did last time was 24. So this time we're gonna make it um, we're gonna make it uh, slightly smaller. Oh, you're right. You're totally right. Uh, Yeah, and, and if we need to, we'll just frog some of the eye, some of the rounds of the eyes. So let's, we're going to make it smaller, but pretty much the same pattern. It's just, we're going to stop when it gets to uh, 18 stitches instead of going to 24. 
and I'm not going to use a stitch marker. Oopsies. Okay, so I've increased up to 12. Okay, so I think this is as big as we're gonna go. One, two, three. And we'll also try to make it so the eye is a little wonky and see how that looks. Like how uh, someone, someone said to make it more wonky. And I think that's uh, an accurate, because that's what we have on the drawing is we had a wonky eye. They were both looking outwards. Two, three. Yeah, so pretty significantly smaller. And now I'm just gonna do, now that I have it the right size, I've had 18 stitches around, I'm just gonna do a round of just single crochets. Gotta love Yoshi. Yes, uh, Five Worlds Explorer. Yeah, definitely. If I don't finish it this live stream, uh, I definitely want to finish it next live stream. Yeah, I'd really rather this not be a three-parter. I mean a four-parter. But uh, I'm okay with a three-parter. And I think we'll just do one round of single crochets around. So you can see how much smaller this eye is. It might be kind of funny to have two different weird eyes. But... Yeah, I kind of think this might be better. Okay, wait, let's let's put this in here. We'll try it. Uh, we'll try it slightly off to the side, like right over here. You know, and it'll be like looking outwards and up, like that, or like this. So, I'm gonna do a slip stitch here, and we're gonna see how this looks. this worst case we make a an eye that we can't use but that's all right okay so the first question I have actually we should ask maybe we should ask the chat maybe we should ask the chat okay so we got the slightly Okay, the yarn's being weird, but pretend that yarn isn't there. I'll hold on to it. So there's the two different size eyes. Eyes? <laughs> yeah, sure. So here's the two different size eyes. I think smaller is better. Yeah, we're gonna make them smaller, and I and I like it on the out. I like it looking out a little bit. So we're gonna frog this one. Okay, yeah, I'll make a poll. I'll make a poll. I'll make a poll. But I'm pretty sure I like the small ones. There you go. Poll is poll has been asked. I definitely think we're gonna go with the wonky out, right? But maybe we have different size. Maybe we have t uh, a different size eyeball itself. Like, I mean, uh, iris. So let's maybe, um, you know, I'm just going to make another eye instead of just frogging that one. Because it was really quick. It was not like it took that long. So 
So let's just do one more eye here. And then we'll look at different sizes of the uh, the iris too, because we might want to do bigger irises or smaller ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll make it real quick. I gotta fly. I don't know where it went. Yeah, there's nothing, definitely nothing wrong with liking the bigger eye. You are welcome to like whatever you like. Now we could do really tiny eyes. No, no, <laughs> absolutely not. We are not doing these little eyes. I think we're going to be able to do at least one more round of decreasing on the volcano before we call it today. We got we have another eh, about 30 minutes. We'll do a round of just single crochets. Quick and easy eyeballs. Okay. Almost there. Okay. All right. Slip stitch here. Okay, another eye. Okay, so we made another small one. Hopefully that's what you guys are voting on. And let's look at different size um, iris. So, I think this is a 10 millimeter. And yeah, we'll, we'll go out a little bit with it. Okay. Do we like, Oh, I think I like the small one actually. I don't know. Can't really tell very much. Okay, wait, let's look at. So the poll was. Okay, so people voted on the small eye. Okay, we kind of assumed that was going to happen. Let's look at different size eyeballs now. So we have, I believe, eight millimeter. Let's measure this. Or 10 millimeter, rather. Maybe eight. Yeah, it's only eight. Okay, so eight millimeter or 12 millimeter. I'm inclined to do eight millimeter actually now that we've got the smaller eye and off to the side. But you guys get to vote. We're gonna, we're gonna do another vote. What size iris? Eight millimeter, 12 millimeter. Okay, now you guys are voting on that. Again, here's a good look at it. 
up to the side, boom. We're definitely gonna go off to the side like that. We got eight millimeter, we got 12 millimeter. I'm inclined to do the eight, but it is good with the 12. Honestly, I'd be happy with either. While you guys are voting on that, let's do another round of decreasing for the volcano itself. So we're on another round of decreasing. So that means we're going to do, I think we're going to do six single crochets and then an invisible decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then yes. And then invisible decrease. And then we'll repeat that six times total. Uh, and that should bring us down. Now we should have 42 stitches around. Three, five, six. Now what I'd really like to do is get to the, uh, the brim of the volcano before the end of the live stream. That'd be nice. Three, four, five, six, and then invisible decrease. One, Decrease. Ooh, it's a close call between the iris. If it's this close, I'm gonna make the final decision. Six, and then invisible decrease. We can't forget that we also definitely want it to have like the holes in it, you know, so that we can tighten it closed fully. So right now it looks like that. We're going about right there. So we're actually running out of space. Maybe we don't want to decrease it down much more. I mean, we'll do one more decrease, but after that, I think we'll do the holes because we want it to be able to, you know, tighten. Um, okay, so we're gonna do now. We're gonna oops, wrong crochet hook. Now we're gonna do uh, three rounds of single crochets. Jimbo, Jimbo wants to say hi, and I will allow him to say hi before the end of the live stream. Don't let me forget. <laughs> can you hear him? I don't think you can, but maybe. Oh, how do I feel about the Zelda announcement? I'm so excited. Are you kidding me? I'm so excited. May? I wish it was sooner. Very cool. It looks so cool. But I do have to admit, I was really, really excited to hear that they announced Pikmin 4. I was like, oh, I, I'm, uh, it was very cool. I've been waiting for Pikmin 4 for a long time, so I'm, I'm very, very excited for that. You can hear him? <laughs> That's funny. 
He'll come say hi soon. Let's see, do we want to decrease it much more? Let's go ahead, let's see how many dinosaurs we can fill this with. Ready? One, two, three. We'll go with just all small dinosaurs. Four, pterodactyl. Five. Oops. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12. We got 12. And I still got a little bit more room. And I like that it makes it all bumpy. It's pretty good. Stands up straight. And then the eyes would be... Oh, by the way, let's choose the iris now. Oh, it was such a close, such a close vote. I might still do small then because it was such a close vote and I think my vote goes towards small, but we'll see. So we're gonna go like that. But I don't know. I like this. Well, the big looks good too, though, actually. It really does. And then the little mouth. Yeah, exactly. See, Casey? It's exactly like a real volcano filled with dinosaurs. Everybody goes, ooh, where did all the dinosaurs go? They just went into volcanoes. That's science. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what science is. Okay, let's switch this. So we're going like that, huh? Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. All right. We'll keep crocheting it while it's got the dinos in it. Let's see how that works. We need, um, we did a round. Okay, so now we need two more rounds of single crochets. I, I don't, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then a, one more round of decreasing and then the holes and then single crochet rounds and then we'll do lava over it. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Okay, so we're gonna do two more rounds of single crochets here. Both, you want one big, one small? That's kind of funny. That might be kind of silly. I mean, if it's a, a pretty good amount of dinosaurs in here. Like, that's a lot. That's a pretty good amount. Two big handfuls of dinos. Okay. A couple more rounds here, and then I'm going to call it for today. We're gonna get to uh, the next decrease. Well, we might do the, we might do the holes. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. 
I'm excited to see how we do the volcano lava stuff. I have an idea of how it will work, but not, you know, I'm never sure if it's going to work until it does. Hey, Autumn, welcome to the stream. Okay, one more round of single crochets. And then we'll do our next round of decreasing. So we did three rounds of single crochets in a row after our last decrease. And then I might also end up doing the, um, the strap, like the, well, we'll talk about that later. Will there be a pattern for this when you're done? Yes, there will. I think we're going to put it on cl at clubcrochet.com slash volcano after the pattern is finished. But there definitely will be a pattern for this after we're done. Man, I want new glasses so bad. I feel so like these ones just keep falling off my face. Oh yeah, I didn't even tell you how I broke them. How I broke these glasses, I literally was just cleaning my glasses. I was just cleaning them like, like I'm, I'm gonna be very gentle with it. But I was just cleaning them like this and then they snapped in half. And I was like, what the heck? And then I was just blind for the rest of the trip. One. Okay, now I'm doing my, uh, now I'm doing a round of decreasing. So I'm gonna do five single crochets. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five single crochets and then an invisible decrease. And this is gonna be our, yeah, that's big enough for a dinosaur to fit in. That's the, that's the important thing. Super, yep, superhuman strength. Uh, and then we're gonna repeat that five, uh, six times around. So five single crochets and then a decrease six times. One, two, three, four, five, and then invisible decrease. Two, three, four, five, invisible decrease. Three, invisible decrease. Three, four, five. Okay, one more round. Yes, glasses are expensive. I, I just, I bought two pairs. I haven't bought a pair of glasses since I think like 2017, maybe. So it's been a long time. So I bought two. I was like, you know what? It'd be nice to have a spare just in case mine break again but I don't know if they're going to be here in time for the wedding. So here's hoping. Um, okay. That's pretty good for volcano size. So next we're going to do, I mean, we're still going to get it about that high, but we need to do our round of, uh, of holes for the, for the, um, the straps. So we're going to do for this last few rounds is we're going to do five single crochets. One, two, 
three, four, five. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chain one. I'm gonna skip a stitch and then do, you know, and do it again. So five single crochets, chain one, skip a stitch and all the way around. Boop, see? So it's gonna create this little hole. See that little hole right there? It's a very tiny hole, but it'll be just big enough so that you can fit the, the strap through it. Five single crochets and then a chain one, skip a stitch. One, two, three, four, five, chain one, skip a stitch. One, three, four, five, chain one, skip a stitch. One, three, four, five, chain one, skip one, two, four, five, chain one, skip a stitch, three, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna chain one and we're gonna skip that last stitch. Okay, the, when does the live stream end? In just a few minutes, actually. We're almost to the end. I just want to do a couple more rounds. Okay, for these, uh, for this next round, we're just going to do a single crochet into every stitch. When you get to the chain space right here, you're going to ch crochet into the chain space itself, not the chain. So we're going to skip a stitch right there for our last stitch. And now we're just going to do a single crochet in every stitch around. And I'll show you when I get to this first chain. Okay, so here's the first chain right here. We're not going to work into the chain. We're going to work into the, to the hole like that. Okay. So that it keeps the hole there. See what I mean? Put my finger through it. And we're just going to do that all the way around. Four, five, and then in straight into the hole like that. To the hole. Just about done though for today. And this is going to be great because when we get to the next live stream, we can start working on our uh, lava, which should be pretty fun. I've got a, I got a cool idea for how it's going to work. I think you're going to like it. Okay, just about at the end of this round. And then, uh, should we do one more round of single crochets? Maybe, let's try, let's see what this looks like. Boom, all right, and that'll be the end of that round. It's pretty good. Nice big volcano, here's our eyes. I, I might just like sew the eye in, not on, but in to the body. But we'll look at it from this side. You know what, let's just do that actually. So. So we're not sewing this on just yet. We will sew it on probably in the start of next live stream, but we'll just sew it in just to, just to see what it looks like, you know? Ooh, that was a long, that was a loud ding. John Cozart just texted me. <laughs> That's cool. All right, we're going to pull it tighter. Pull the string right there. Pull that nice and tight. Okay, that's what one eye will look like. And we'll do the other one on the other side. Just 
So the other one will go like over here somewhere. Like that. Right there. Hmm. Yeah, right here is fine. Let's see how that looks. like this. Let's see how that looks. Alright. So it's kind of like that. And then we'll do the mouth on it. And next live stream we'll add, uh, we'll do the, the lava. I think it looks pretty great though. Pretty good, right? Okay, well, let's go get Jimbo to say bye. Oopsies. There we go. We'll put it right here for right now. I'll get a picture of that in a sec. Let's get Jimbo. We're gonna change it. Wait. Ah, hold on, hold on. Say hi. <laughs> Say thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, hi, Phoebe. Phoebe's here. You want to see Phoebe? Come here, Phoebe. This is Phoebe. Say hi, Phoebe. Say hi. Phoebe doesn't talk as much. Phoebe's very cute, very sweet. And also doesn't like being held as much. But she's just a little baby. Hold on, Jimbo. I'm giving Phoebe some attention. Jimbo doesn't like it when Phoebe gets all the attention. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, <laughs> yeah, what a surprise. I know, right? Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back next Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Can you say that? Repeat it for them. Yeah? Say it again. You hear that? 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time next Thursday. We're going to be finishing up our volcano. Here's what it looks like so far. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Quick shout out to all the people that have um, that have supported today. Thank you so much to everybody that helps support this channel uh, and everybody who's liked the video. If you haven't yet, please like this video down below. Um, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll be back next Thursday. Hi, buddy. This is what I have to deal with all the time. <laughs> All the time. There's nothing that helps it. He just meows all the time. Yeah, huh? He's like, no, I don't. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for all your patience as well. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll see you guys next Thursday. And uh, yeah, if this video gets 250 likes, we'll also be doing a live or a giveaway. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we gotta go. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks for watching guys. Bye There we go, I pressed the wrong button by accident. Hello everybody. Welcome to the live stream today Well, we'll get to what we're doing today, but I just want to say hi. How are you? It's been like a week and a half. I went to a wedding. It was really cool um and, uh, yeah, I'm back in the groove now, which is really great. Uh, and, yeah. Alright, well, let's get 
Rockin' and Rollin' High Leaf Sauce, High Dark Storm. You recognize this music. It's Nintendo music. It's always Nintendo music, baby. Your boy loves Nintendo. All right, let's see what we're making today. Oh, we got a Jules. No. Oh, secretly. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We don't got a Jules. I'm just grabbing Jimbo for you. Just grabbing Jimbo. Wait, here. Yeah, quick, we'll quick say cameo. quick hello. Here, wait, hold on. There. Hi, quick cameo. Quick cameo. From the mascot of Code Crochet. Yes. Have you shown them yet? The sticker? The drawings? Mm, yes, I have, but we got we got Jimbo merch coming soon-ish. Jimbo merch. You can wear him all day, every day if you want. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to steal him now. very soon. This Friday. <laughs> hopefully. Bye, have fun! Okay, bye. Thank you. Okay, now for reals. For reals! Here's what we're doing today. Today, we're going to be finishing, hopefully, hopefully, unless it goes like freaking forever, which I don't think it will, but if it does, we will have to move it on to another part four. But hopefully we're gonna finish our volcano today. Um, we got pretty freaking far last time. All we have really left to do is sew on the eyes, sew the mouth on, and then make the lava flow that's gonna go like all around it. Uh, and then we also kinda have to make the Y, like the string so that we can close it tight. But I have a feeling I'm gonna get that started today and then just do it off camera because it's just gonna be a lot of just the same thing over and over. But we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, look, hopefully we can finish this. But before we get crocheting, um, he hello to everybody in the chat. Uh, if you would like to support this channel, there's a few ways you can do so. The first free, cheap, easy way to do it is like this video, like the video down below, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and uh, yeah, you should just be doing that. Please, oh my god, please. Wait, seriously, please, can you? Thanks. Okay, if you want <laughs> if you want to support monetarily, uh, the best way to support is with the Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns, they get access to the full library of tutorials. We have a whole bunch, including soon this volcano pattern, we're working on it currently, but it will be in the library soon. Uh, members also get kits mailed to the door with all the materials they need to make whatever we're making that next month. Next month's kit is going to be for a crocheted pumpkin, which is super cute, and a no-sew pattern. Well, technically you kind of have to sew on the leaf, but other than the leaf, it is a no-sew pattern. So the vine, the stem, the pumpkin itself, they're all made in one piece. I'm making it as beginner friendly as possible, uh, and I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be customizable and very fun, 100% wool. Sign up for a Club Crochet Pro membership if you haven't already. I highly suggest it, especially for this next month. This is gonna be a nice pattern to have all fall long. So that'll be pretty cool. Sign up now, please. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. We also have kits and merch and all that fun stuff in the store. Uh, we got a bunch of pins and stickers. We're going to be adding a bunch of new merch ASAP, uh, specifically, like uh, we were talking about earlier, the Jimbo merch. That should be coming soon. We're getting pins, stickers, and t-shirts for them made. Um, I realized that my my t-shirt uh, stuff on the, on the shop was actually uh, not working right, so... We're fixing that this weekend as well. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, the be the other way you can support. Oh, Cooper, you know what? Your timing is impeccable, my dude. You can support by tipping. If you'd like to, you can support by tipping. Uh, if you tip more than $15, you will get a crocheted thing to add to the shelf. We're gonna be filling the shelf up with crocheted stuff, of hopefully eventually. Uh, Cooper, if you have a request, uh, let me know. First off, I forgot what we named this Pikmin, and I didn't write it down. I have the other, all the other ones written down, but I need a name for this Pikmin, and I can't remember if you named him. Um, but also, we got I, got... I got a few options for you. I think we should go with... You know what? I'm gonna go with this. We're gonna put this guy up here. This big old hobgoblin. This is the first hobgoblin I ever made, actually. Uh, and he does not have a name. But, Cooper, you get to name him. So go ahead, give him a name. I'll, I have a little note cards now. Uh, and this is my actual office, so it's kind of like you get a little crochet thing in my office, which is kind of fun. Uh, okay, 
Cooper with the legendary donation. That's the legendary donation dance. I won't be doing it again. Unless someone donates legendarily. Check out all these stickers. These are all the stickers that you can get in the shop. There's a big stitch sticker, professional hooker one. There's the that one. There's this guy. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Okay, let's get crocheting. Cook, 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 cook. Crocheting. All right, because we got some work to do, guys. All right. So the first thing we want to do is sew on the eyes and stuff. So let's start with that. We're gonna sew on these eyes. Um, that's, that's, you know, starting off pretty simple. Oh, I forgot to lock these eyes in too. That's good. That's good to know. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go do that real quick. There we go. That's good. That's nice. I like that. That's nice. Leonidas for the Pipman and Grani for the Hobgoblin. Wow, those are great names. Yeah, let's write those down before we forget. Boom. We got... Leonidas. Let's see, it folds down like this. We should fold it before we write it. That would be smart. Okay, Leo. I want, don't want to spell it wrong. I'm notoriously really bad at spelling. Cooper. And then the other one is. Grani, what a name. I love Grani. That's a good name for a hobgoblin. Grani. Boom. We're gonna add these. That's Grani. No, that's not cute. That's Leonidas. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. Thank you again, Cooper. You're the best. All right, let's go. Let's show these eyeballs in one. So the first thing we need to do is see where we want the eyes. I think like right there is pretty good. I think this other one on the left is a little low, so we're gonna aim a little higher. Or should we add the mouth? With, no, let's add the mouth afterwards. We'll add the mouth afterwards, and we're not gonna make it pointing the eyes pointing in. We're gonna make the eyes pointing out because I think that's a little bit cuter. A little bit cuter. Hello, Rebecca. Hey, chirp a little. Samantha, how you doing? We got a potty. Not a potty. A party. <laughs> we got a potty. All right. So the tough thing here is going to be making sure that both eyes are sewn on in similar locations. This eye is going to be like that, and then we'll go. We'll go up. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty good. Okay. And then we'll just start going across. I think that's nice. But the first eye that we sew on is gonna be a little easier than the second one. We just need to kind of remember how many stitches over we sew it on and stuff like that so that they are oh, sewn on the same way. And like we said, like I said before, uh, we are uh, going to be putting this pattern on the website once it's done. Cooper's actually writing it down for us. What a star. Your star. Your Johnson's kid. This is not sponsored by Johnson & Johnson. Although, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and sponsor it by Johnson Johnson. Johnson, if you're out there, Johnson, let me know. We're always looking for sponsorships. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we need to also add eyebrows, but we can maybe add eyebrows after we make the bulk of our main, our main bit, I think. I think that's probably a good idea. This music is wild and crazy. How long have I been crocheting for? I have been crocheting for a long, long time. Uh, I think I'm at like 15 or 16 years now, maybe. Um, let me count my stitches real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10, and then this one. So that's one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're gonna need to get a few extra stitches in here. Maybe we'll go out one first. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oops. There we go. This is getting a little low. Sun's getting real low here, big guy. Anybody been watching the new uh, She-Hulk show on Disney Plus? I think it's pretty good. I, I like it. I like her a lot. She's she's very down to earth. I like that. Okay, I think that's a good start for the eyes. Now I should stuff it before we go too far. I think I got a whole bag of stuff in here. Yes, I do. Leaf sauce, you're doing swell. I'm glad. How am I? I'm doing all right as well. I don't look a day over 20? Well, I'll, I accept that. I, I am not a day over 20. I'm a lot of days over 20. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am. I know, I don't look it. But you know what? The other day, I was getting a haircut. And the I was looking at like the hair that was on me, and I was like, oh my god, there are so many gray hairs in here. I'm going gray, guys. I'm going gray, but you know what? I'm gonna look really good for a little bit. <laughs> Once I start going gray, because I'll get on the sides like Mr. Fantastic, and I'll look super cute. One, two, three, four, five. One. Two, down here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One. Two should be here. Three will be here. Four, and then five is the one we're coming out. Okay. Okay. Sure. Why not? Why not? We're figuring it out. We're wild and crazy. As they say. As they say. I was meaning to start a uh, live stream gaming this week on my Louis Loops channel, but I didn't because I'm a lazy bones. And that's just, you know, sometimes that happens. No, but really, I was trying to do get it set up on Tuesday, but I just don't have all the equipment that I wanted. And I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. how am I going to do this right? I just want it to look pretty when we do it. That's pretty good for a sewn on eye, I think. That is pretty good, especially if we add an eyebrow over it. I like it. Samantha, you're new to live stream. Well, I am so glad that you're here. How am I feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm a little bit sleepy, but I had a coffee, so it should be kicking in soon. Maybe I'll have another one after the live stream or during the live stream if Jules is crazy and wants to make me one, but she's working. So I don't think so. Uh, we just had a call with our wedding planner earlier today. Uh, we are engaged and uh, we're trying to start to plan that stuff. Scissors. They're behind me. The whole time? The whole time. Let's see, what else did I do this week? I This week I also uh, started to design the box art for the new dinosaur crochet kits. Um, I'm re, we're, we're, we're actually getting club crochet yarn and fancy kits made for the dinosaur kits. I'm really excited. The box art, the box art, you guys. Super good box art. I'm super proud of it. So yeah, I was working on that this week a lot and working on the new club crochet challenge. Hey, there's a new club crochet challenge out. I don't know if you knew that, but if you go to clubcrochet.com challenge, you can learn all about it. We're crocheting ghosts 
and uh, you can submit a ghost that you've crocheted. It's just a picture of a ghost that you crocheted. And we are going to choose our four favorites. And then the audience is going to vote on those four favorites for the which one they like the most. And that one is going to win a gift card to the Club Crochet store. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. We, I'm really excited to see what you guys make. Last year we did a ghost one as well, and it went really well. So we got some really cool stuff that people made. So I'm excited to see uh, what you guys make this year. Okay, we want to make sure this is lined up. Looks like... Hmm. Because if we start it here and we go up like that... Will that be far enough away from the other eye? I I don't think so. I think we need it a little bit further away. So we're gonna start it over, start over here instead. This is gonna be the tricky part. This is gonna be the tricky part. Hello, Brenda, how are you? How are you, how are you doing? Takoyaki, you're here. I know it's probably either really early or really late there, where you're at. So thanks for joining. Planning a wedding is hard, but worth it. I'm so excited. I, yeah, I don't really have money plans just yet, so it's excited to figure out what our plans are gonna be. It's just also really expensive, and I'm like, oh, where do I got money? So we're trying to figure out that part too. <laughs> How do you have a fun wedding that's also not expensive? Newsflash, you don't. No, hopefully you do, we'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out how. There we go. All right, do we like what's going on here before I go too much further? I think that's a pretty good distance away. Very goofy looking, which is exactly what we want out of our volcanoes. Every volcano I've ever seen has got big googly eyes, right? That's just a fact. That's just a geography. Take a geography class for once and you'll learn all about how every volcano secretly has goofy little eyeballs and uh, is filled with uh, di crochet dinosaurs. That's just a volcano fact. I'm a volcanist, I think I would know. I think we can go up like this. Let me make sure, let's see. We wanna line up with the bottom row. Oh good, oh good. This is as far down as we wanna go with these, uh, these eye. This eye. The eyes are gonna be far enough away from each other too where we don't really have to worry too much about the look. Or like, you know, making sure it's exactly the same because they're just a little bit far, far away from each other. And we're trying to make it goofy anyhow, so it's kind of okay. All right, how many scissors we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew. One, two, I think we go up around row. Yes, so one, two, three, four, six, seven. Uh, okay, I think we're on track. I think we can go up one. I think so, therefore, I'm a yam. Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to crochet a bunch of stuff for the wedding. Um, probably flowers for jewels. Ooh, that would be a fun live stream. Crocheting like flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, boop. One, well, let's do this first. I think it's a good spot to start. So one, two, Three, four, five, six. One. Do do 
We did not see Echo Cats. Oh my god, Echo Cat, thank you! Man, I need to fix the noise thing. Echo Cat, thank you so much for your support. I just realized this light is off. There we go. Are we a little bit lit up? Okay, great. Echo Cat, thank you so much for your support. They say, thank you for your live streams, amazing patterns. You're such an inspiration. Oh. Echo Cat, you're so sweet. Um, all right, Echo Cat, we got something special for you. I prepared, just for you. I, I was like, Echo Cat's gonna support. Um, this is our antlered, what did we call it on the website? Furry antlered hippogon? I think that's what it's called on the website. Uh, but you are welcome to name it if you would like to, Echo Cat. Here, wait, let's show you on the, let's do it this way. This is what we're, this is what we're doing. This is actually a pattern on the website. This was one of our early patterns on the website. It's a little creature with these cute little antlers, little hands. Oh, I love him. And I like the little eye. He looks a little crazy. Very fuzzy yarn. I actually used, um, I think it's like, a, uh, um, what is that fuzzy yarn called? Uh, well, I can't remember what it's called. But Echo Cat, you get to name it if you would like to name it. If you don't wanna name him or her or them or V, uh, we will put it up to a vote for the, everybody. I think that seems like a fun idea. But you're welcome to name it, of course, if you'd like to. Oh, we're gonna put it, by the way, It'll be right here. We're actually, we're gonna get, we're gonna move this. Ah, oh, we lost the fellow. That's all right. We're gonna put him right there, right next to Granny. And what's gonna be fun is we'll start to get littler ones in the front, so it'll be like a real audience here. Put that right there. By the way, this is a mushroom swing dude that I'm working on. I'm, I need a little book for him, but isn't he cute? He's so cute. Okay, back to Echo Cat, let me know. Chuckles, Chuckles, what a great name. Chuckles. Chuckles, bye. Echo Cat. Oh, thank you so much. And Johnny coming in hot with a $4. I'm so sorry. I'm working. I haven't put any more effort into this and I'm so sorry. I really need to put work into it. Um, me and Johnny are working on a collaboration pattern. Really it's Johnny's pattern, but I'm helping her out with it. And I've just been, I need to get, I need to get on it. And I'm sorry about that. Uh, but thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Let's do, Let's go ahead and put, let's get a little Halloweeny up in here. You know, we're getting close to that time. So let's go ahead and get started by putting out, I'm gonna put out just a little bat in the background here for you. How's that? Let's put it even, that. Little bat. Little bat from Johnny watching over us, making sure that we are uh, being sufficiently crazy. All right, we have two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Not including that one, I think. I think this should be right. I think we need also more, a little bit more stuffing in that eye. I know the mushroom dude is super cute, right? I wanna, in November, I wanna do like a mushroom tutorial thing. Actually, I'd love to show you guys some of the little mushrooms I've been crocheting. Jules got me this really cute bag that has little mushrooms on it. I love it. It's so cute. Do, 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 do. All right, we almost got one of our eyes finally sewn on. We really need to speed up, because I have no, literally, no idea how long it's gonna take us to do the volcano, the lava part, because I've never made lava before. 
So it's going to be a first for us. And we're going to try to explain it. We're going to try to make it into a pattern. So we need to get to there. But we're almost there. We just need to add a mouth now. I have an idea of how it'll work. Hopefully, our idea will work. Um, if you remember how we made the sunflower back in our uh, Ukraine uh, live stream, you might remember that. We're going to do a similar system there. Okay, so we got our goofy eyes on. We need a mouth. I'm just going to use black yarn. I'm going to use cotton yarn for that. And we're going to try to make him look like fat and silly. And we probably should add a tongue as well. So, but let's start by just doing the mouth. I think what we'll do is we're going to go... I just want a little fat face. So we're going to go out here. Let's try like that. Let's keep this out there. We'll go down a couple rounds. One, two, maybe like right there. No. Let's go right there. Come up. Go around this side. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to come all the way across. We're going to do the other side. that Ding. That was too high up. Let's go like this. One lower. And then we'll go one, two. Up to there. Come on there. Shubby volcano being so cute. And looking like a doofus, that's the way we like it. All right, oopsies, I dropped the needle on the inside. All right, how does that look as far as like a goofy face goes? Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, that is, yeah, that's that's what we're doing. Look at that. <laughs> he looks like such a goof. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's double knot it on the inside. We're gonna try not to double knot it too tight because if we pull it too tight, it will like pull in the mouth and we don't want that. We don't want that. How long is this live stream gonna be? I honestly, I have no idea because I'd really like to finish this in this live stream. So it could be two hours, could be four hours. I honestly have no idea. We're gonna find out though. I'd love not to do one for like a zillion hours. A zillion hours is too many hours. That's just my opinion. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm really proud of that. <laughs> that looks so good. All right. How did I learn to crochet? I actually learned, uh, I think I watched a video about how to do uh, a chain stitch and a single crochet. And then I kind of just figured it out on my own after that. Uh, and just tested a bunch of stuff out. I ended up making up a bunch of stitches that were already stitches, some stitches that weren't already stitches. Uh, and then uh, I started doing tutorials after that because I couldn't explain how to make my stitches because I didn't learn the right words for them all. And yeah, one thing led to another and there we go. I think we're gonna do one more round of crochet in this brown. So, um, I don't remember what round we were on. Cooper actually did send me the pattern. Let me see if I can pull that up and I can see where we left off. Um, can't remember where he sent it though. Oh yeah, he emailed it to me. I remember now. Coop. There it is. Okay. So I think we left off around round. Around each chain. Okay, yeah, so we're on round 41. And for this next round, we're just gonna do a single crochet into each stitch around. This is just gonna give us a little bit more height above where the cords will go and where the lava will go. I just think we need one more round. And then we can start to uh, add the lava after this round. Oh, I really hope the system that I, like, am gonna try to make works. We'll see, we'll see. 
We are going to be testing out things now. What hook am I using? I'm using a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm using, I believe it's worsted weight yarn. However, it is pushing it. It is almost not worsted weight yarn. Um, it, it, it is like pretty thick, 100% uh, wool yarn. I really like using natural fibers. So I like using cottons and wools. Um, but I wanted this one to have a very specific feel, a little bit like uh, more less structured, I guess is the good is a good way to say it. Um, and cotton yarn makes it really structured. So I wanted to have more of a loose feel so that I can stuff it filled with dinosaurs. Uh, so I used a wool for that uh, in colors brown and uh, red, kind of like a kind of like a blood orange red. I think it's called spicy red or something spiced red or something like that. I don't know. Hello, Abhia, Ab Abia. I think I said it right. Just popping in to say hello. Well, thank you so much for joining. Make sure to pop in and give it a like too. Peas? That'd be cool. That'd be sweet. All right, so we're on our last round here. Boop. We're going to get our orange yarn. I think this is a good orange. I hope it comes through on the camera right. It, this looks slightly more red than it really is. It's, it's a little bit more brown than it is on the camera. This is a slightly more, actually this is pretty accurate on the camera. So we're gonna use this. And here's how we're gonna change colors. We're gonna place it in between the yarn. And we're going to pull through with our brown yarn. Then we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch with our brown, change over to our red and do a chain like that, pull it tight. And then we are going to start in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And we're going to do a slip stitch into it. All right, now Cooper, this one, this round is gonna be complicated. I know, I know, and I apologize ahead of time. We're gonna figure it out. Because I am gonna be making it up as I go. So if I don't read the chat as much, it's pronounced abhiya. Ab abhiha. Got it. Um, I have not tried mosaic crochet before, but I'd really like to. Uh, good night, Laura. Okay, so here it goes. So we slip stitch into the same stitch that we just, uh, to change colors into it. Now we're mostly gonna be doing slip stitches around this, except every now and then I'm gonna start doing a long chain and that we're, that's what we're gonna work into to create the lava as we go around. So we're gonna do, let's do, we started that one slip stitch, we're gonna do, let's do two more slip stitches. One and two. And then, ooh, there we go. Uh, and then we're going to do a chain let's do a chain of one two three four five six yeah we'll start small chain six and then we're going to skip the first chain and we're going to slip stitch into all the rest of these chains all the way back down to the base so we go one it should be five, I think, because we changed six. Two, three, four, and five. Let's see, how does that look? That's pretty good. I'm wondering now, though. Now. Hmm. because it's gonna be tucked down like that. Well, let's find out. Uh, and then we're going to slip stitch into the same stitch that we started with that slip stitch. So we're gonna slip stitch into that same one. So we chain, we slip stitch three. We're gonna slip stitch into that same stitch that we last did right here. All right, like that. Boop. Like that. Okay, that's gonna create this little thing and you see how it's gonna go down like this? We're gonna cover it in more stitches when we go back around to make it a little bit bigger, make it more like gooey, gooey looking. All right, 
Now we're gonna do, let's do like four slip stitches at least. One, two, three, four. Let's look at that. That's pretty good. I'm starting to think I should have done a round, that last round in, in orange, but we didn't, so. Maybe we should go back and do that. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I'm so sorry. I just think this is gonna look better. See that brown, see how the brown and orange there? I think it looked better if this was orange. So we're gonna go back. I'm really sorry. We're doing, we're going back an entire round though. We're gonna do that last round that we did actually in orange. So we're gonna pull it out. Okay, let's try this again. Basically what, we, what we're doing is we're going back to the start of round 40 and then we're gonna do our next round all in orange, just single crochets. And this is gonna be, I think, a little bit cleaner of a lava change, which will be nice. And we're just straight up changing colors and then doing just single crochets all the way around. Should be pretty easy. Just a nice simple, and this will be a good way that we can hide this brown yarn too, which would be kind of nice. All right, let's try this again. Just single crochets all the way around. Zoe agrees, and I appreciate that about you, Zoe. I appreciate that. It's always my ride or die. <laughs> Jupiter is starting on puff flowers. That's cute. I want to do more uh, more patterns on the website for scarves and uh, hats and stuff soon. Me and me and Nicole, my business partner, were talking yesterday about plans for next year. And I was explaining like some ideas that I really want to get done. Things like I really want to do a pod person tutorial that teaches you how to make any kind of pod people. I wanted to do that this year, but I just couldn't do it. I want to do a puppet tutorial so you can learn how to make uh, like Jack Gurgle and more puppets like that. And then I also want to start getting into doing more um, like hats and scarves and stuff like that. And then what's the other one? Oh yeah, tutorials. We want to do a lot more tutorials next year. I have a list of like 50 tutorials that I have work, started working on the scripts for. So I would like to start that. Okay, so we did a round of just uh, single crochets again with this uh, orange color. So I think that'll look a little bit better for our change of color. Now we're not gonna do that chain, or we're not gonna, yeah, we're not gonna do like the slip stitch chain one to change colors anymore. Now we can just move on to the next round and do what we did last round. So we're gonna do three slip stitches. One, two, I'm wondering if we should change direction, but no, it's okay. Three slip stitches, and then we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six and then do that what we did before we're gonna skip that first chain right there we're gonna slip stitch down all the way down to the base one two I called these something three in the sunflower pattern like base chains or petal chains or something Four. and then we're gonna slip stitch into the same stitch that you started before we did the chains Right there. Okay. All right. Oh, that's yeah. See, look, that's a lot, lot more, a lot more crisp. I like that. Okay. Now we're gonna do our four slip stitches. We might do more, but let's start with four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's good. That's a good start, I think. And then we'll do. We'll do another row of chains. Let's do a long one here, you know, like a big long lava flow that's like all the way down to here. So we're gonna chain, let's chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's try 10 and let's see how that long that'll go. 
Ten's pretty good because it's gonna be covered in more stitches too, so it's gonna be like, oh, even thicker and go down just slightly further. We did 10. Let's do 11. That way we have 10 sl slip stitches. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We want 11 chains. We're gonna do the same thing that we did with this one. We're gonna skip the first chain and just slip stitch all the way down. One, two, three, four. This is gonna be so fun. Five, I'm so excited to see what this looks like finished. Six, there should be 10 slip stitches down. Seven, eight, nine, and down to the bottom, 10. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the same stitch that we started that slip stitch on right here. We're gonna take a look at what we got so far. See, we got one long, this one's gonna go down like that. I, I mean, we could have even gone, honestly, we could have even gone longer. We'll do, I'll do like one really long one down the back, maybe like down here. Um, but we want to do probably a couple small ones right here so it doesn't get in the way of the face. Unless we want to make the lava look like it's its hair, but I don't think we're going to do that. Susan, how do you make your own pattern? We're doing it right now. You just kind of do. <laughs> um, I did draw it first, which helps, but... With this pattern, uh, this one's a little bit different than the normal amigurumi I make, so. I'm gonna do, uh, let's do six slip stitches to get to the next one. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just kinda like giving it a little bit more space in between like the lava ooze, the goo, the lava ooze. Uh, so that like we just have it a little bit more sporadic so it's not too like consistently the same in fact I think I'm gonna do even more between this next one and this so like we have one lava coming here and one maybe going right here you know and we'll make this one shorter than this lava longer than this one so let's do eight chains let's go with that and see how that looks one two three four five six seven eight chains okay skip the first and slip stitch all the way down for those eight one two three um that being said susan i am going to do uh that's one of the tutorials that i was talking about where i was like i'm gonna do a bunch of tutorials next year uh one of the tutorials i want to do next year is going to be how to design Amy Groomy. It's gonna be a series that we're gonna go with. Uh, seven, it should be slip, seven, seven slip stitches down. And then we're going to slip stitch into the same one that we started with there, like that. This one's gonna go right over where a, uh, where a string is. So when we sew these on, I think I'm just gonna show the tip of the lava bit onto the body. So that way there's room under each of these lavas so that we can make a string that goes under each one. That's the plan at least. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's do eight slip stitches between this one and the next one. So eight more slip stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bye, Johnny. Have a good one. Uh, hey, I hope you're feeling better about your wisdom teeth too. I hope that's going really well. But good night. How long have I been on YouTube? Oh boy, a long time. I think the Club Crochet channel has been around for like six years, but before that I was on Louis Loops and that was like at least 10, 12 years ago maybe. Anna. Wow, Anna. You know what, Anna? Anna says, you should make a pumpkin pattern. Guess what? We are. Pumpkins coming soon. If you'd like to sign up for a Club Crochet Pro membership, it comes with, uh, you get a kit mailed to your door. It's only $15 for your first kit. 
and you get a kit with all the materials you need to make our little pumpkin here and we're using 100% wool yarn for this and I'm really excited about it. It also comes with eyes and uh, thread so you can add a little face on it if you want to. Uh, I'm really excited about it, especially because you get to customize it. I made a nether pumpkin and the stem is like super long and the vine is like really long too because I wanted to see like, ooh, how can I customize it? I made it in white. I added a face to it, but it looks kind of weird. It's in the other room. But yes, pumpkin pattern coming soon. It's gonna be a very, very beginner friendly pattern designed specifically for beginners in mind. Except for the leaf. The leaf can be a little complicated, but it's kind of fun, you know? Okay. All right, so we get to the next uh, part where we want to add another lava flow thing. So we're going to do, let's do like a short one. Let's just do five chains and see how that looks. One, two, three, four, five. And I think that'll be like nice, just a little one like that to go to kind of like, you know, spread out the, spread the love. And we're just going to slip stitch it back down. Should be only four slip stitches. One, two, three, four. We're gonna slip stitch into the same stitch that you just, that you started with right here. And then we're gonna slip stitch to our next lava bit. Oh, that's a nice little one, that's cute. Uh, let's do, let's see, we did a lot of chains in between this one. Let's do only a few just to like right here. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four. Let's do five slip stitches to get to the next lava chain. One, two, three, four. I think it's a five, right? Yeah, let's do five. And then let's do a long one, like to, to you know, make it different than this one. Let's do it down to like, let's see, how long was this one? That one's pretty long. We want a really, really long one in the back here. So we'll do a somewhat long one, a short one, and then a really long one right at the end. So we're gonna do, let's start with a, uh, let's do 11. No, let's do, yeah, let's do 11 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then we'll slip stitch all the way down back down to the base. <laughs> the Amaze Feed, uh, we are making this into a, a written pattern after this video. Uh, Cooper's working on it actually while we, while we say it out loud. Okay, so now after doing that 11 chains, I'm just gonna slip stitch all the way down to the base. Back down to the base. But yeah, I'm going to make it into a PDF. There should be 10 slip stitches to get back down to the base. Then we're going to slip stitch into the same stitch that we started with, just like how we did on the other ones, and take a look at how long that one is. So that one's going to be pretty long, which will be nice. All right, now we want to do a few. Let's see. One, two, three. Let's do four slip stitches, and then we'll do a little one right above this hole. And then we'll do... A little bit more and then we're gonna do a really long one in the back. So we got one, two, three, four slip stitches. And then we're just gonna do a short chain, lava chain. So we're gonna do five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna slip stitch all the way back down to the base. One. Two, three, go down to here. Four, that's pretty good. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the same stitch and then we need one more of these. This one's, ooh, this one might be actually too small. Well, maybe we'll be okay, but it's like right above the hole. So we gotta be careful when we make our strap that goes around it. All right, so we want to do three, four, let's do five chains. So it'll be right at the end. Five, I mean, five slip stitches between this one. So one, two, 
three, four, five slip stitches, and then we're gonna do a long chain. Let's do like, I wanna get it like down to here. So like 15 chains maybe? Let's try 15. Let's see how that looks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Take us pretty far down. Honestly, let's do, let's do 16. We're gonna do 16 chains. Okay, 16 chains, and then we're just gonna slip stitch all the way down this long group of chains, all the way down to the base. There should be 15 slip stitches to get to the end. One, two, three, four, five. Oh man, I really hope this ends up working the way I think it's gonna. Six, seven, Fifteen there, and then we're going to slip stitch into the same stitch that we started with right there. And then we want to do one more slip stitch into this last one to get to the end of the round. Okay, now here's my idea. Okay, guys, here's what I think we're gonna is going to work. Now the question is, do I turn around or do I keep going around in a circle? But I think, hmm. Okay, let me let me explain my dilemma here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is into each of these slip stitches on the edge there, we're gonna do a single crochet, which is gonna like bring it down, you know? Now the question, yeah, okay, so in each of these slip stitches, we're gonna do a single crochet on the, on the border, right? And then when we get to these chain stitches here, we're gonna do like, half double crochets and double crochets to make like a big like goo that goes around it. We actually might do like half double crochets into that first, into the first and last slip stitch that are between these lava chains. So that way it's like a little bit fatter. So it goes like this, you know, so the lava like is kind of more open. But the question is, do we turn around or do we keep going in the same way? If we keep going the same way, the the backs of the single crochets are gonna show, which might make it go, just might make it look a little bit weird or might make it look nice because it'll look like different stitches than the body of the volcano. If we turn around, it might be cleaner stitches, but the stitches might like curl up why don't we keep going in the same direction? So we don't have to turn. You know, keep it the same with the rest of the body. Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep going in the same direction. Okay, so here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna start by doing a... All right, Cooper. This one's, this one's gonna be equally as tricky as the last one. So heads up. We're gonna do one, two single crochets. We're gonna start by doing a single crochet and we're working into the same stitch that you slip stitched into in the last round. So right here. Now, do we wanna go into the base like that? No, no, no. We wanna go into the slip stitch itself. So we're gonna go, see how there's, there's the slip stitch right there? We're gonna go right into that one like that and do a single crochet. One, and then we're gonna go into the next slip stitch and do another single crochet. Oh, like that. Okay, so two single crochets. Then when we get to this next one, we're gonna do a half double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over, go into that next one right here. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. There we go through and pull through all three. Okay, so a half double crochet. 
Now we're going to get to this chain, this long bit of chains. And we're going to do... Let's just start by doing half double crochets all the way to the end. In the last chain, we're going to do three half double crochets and then work our way back down. Now this one has one, two, three, four, five. I think it has six chains in this first one. So we're going to start by doing half double crochet in the first one right here. And we're working into the same stitches that you worked your slip stitches into. So we're going to go like that. We're going to go one. Two. This is a fun song. Like that. Three. That was a different spot. So like right here. Four. <laughs> what a weird song. You see how it's going to go like down like that? And then we're going to go around it. Just gotta hide this little piece of yarn too. But we'll hide that in a little bit. Okay, now we're at the end of this chain and we're gonna do three half double crochets into the very end. So we got one. This is gonna turn us around naturally. Two and three. Maybe we want to do four, actually. What do you think? Three or four? Let's do four. That way it'll look more like slimy at the very end. So four half, four half double crochets in the very end, which turns you around. And then we're going to do half double crochets into the same space that you did half double crochets away up. We're going to do in the same stitch going down. Let's try that. So we're going to start like right. That was the last one. We want to start right here. So see where that half double crochet is going we want to find right there so like that one actually did i miss one? one two three four one oh, i think we're good two Three. Do one this last one. And four. I think that'll be good. And let's look at what that's gonna look like on the base. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty nice. See, so we'll have this like little weird slime thing going. I do maybe I should have turned, but oh well, we didn't. I think that's pretty good. And then we're going to do a half double crochet into the next slip stitch on the base where the lava connects. So it's going to be in this next slip stitch right here, right there. Do a half double crochet. Okay, so that's going to be the basic gist for all of these. We're going to do this basic thing for all of these little lava squares. Um, <laughs> the bat wants to jump in the volcano. Now he's in there. All right. Now, after doing that first half double crochet into our uh, edge stuff, we want to do two single crochets into these edge, uh, edge slip stitches right here. We'll do one. And this one right here. Ooh, there we go. Two. And then we want to do a half double crochet into the next one because we're getting started on another uh, base chain. I mean like lava chain. I don't know what we got going to call it, but half double crochet into that one. And then now we're at another one of these long bits. So we're going to just do half double crochets all the way up and then four in the end. So we're just going to work our way up it. Go one. I'm going to try to keep my count here because I'm not sure how many we have. We'll figure it out. Yikes. There we go. Two. Three. Four. See you, Takayaki.
Thank you for liking. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. There should be nine, I think. Nine up to the end. And then in this last one, we're gonna do four. One, two, three, one more, four, gets us turned around, place it down to see how that looks, yes, 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 see, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this, and then we're gonna like, just attach this, the ends of these on, back onto the, onto the body of our piece. So that way, there's still room in between it so we can fit our little string, our string cheese. Okay, so now we gotta work our half double crochets back down. Let's try that. So we're just gonna go into the same places that we did our half double crochets up. So there's one, one right here, three, might be nice to like, switch up doing half double crochets and double crochets to make it more like like wibbly wobbly but who knows one two three four five six seven eight and then this would be a nine. All right. That goes back down. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so next we're gonna do a half double, we're back to our bases, like the base of our pieces again. So we're gonna do a half double crochet in our first, which is gonna be right here. And then just like that. that and then we're gonna do single crochets one two three four single crochets to get to the next base one two three okay there's four single crochets let me pull this out a little bit and let's look at what we got so far Okay, we got these two annoying strings that, you know what, I'm just gonna hide them now so I don't have to ever look at them again because I don't wanna see them. I don't wanna know they're there. Ew, get out of here. Start with this one. Hide it in there. Boom. And then this one. Ick. Get out of here, string. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna look good, because look, it'll be like, a little slime, a little slime. Then we got our volcano part. Oh, that looks cool. I like it. I like what's happening. It was a good move going back and changing colors there. That would have been weird looking without it. Music seems loud. It is loud. There we go. Okay. Yes, it's been a long time since the last Club Crochet Challenge. It's crazy. Time got away from us for sure. All right. Now we're at the next base. We're going to do a half double crochet in the first one, uh, one right here to get us set up. If I can, get in there. There we go. Boom. And then we're just gonna half double crochet up. We're gonna do the same thing that we've been doing on all these ones. So we're just gonna half double crochet our way up it. One. I don't know how many. I don't know how many. Two. Long longs. Thank you. I think it does look great as well. 
a good it's a good volcano so far. Except I can't get into this freaking stretch. There we go. Three. Four. Almost there. I wanted to go into a very specific spot here, and that's just my own like That's just my own thing. I don't need it to. I just want it to. Okay, now we're at the end, and I'm gonna do four slip stitches into the end of it. One, two. I'm very curious to see how Cooper writes this down. Three. Because I don't know how I'd explain it without a video. And then we're just gonna half double crochet back down. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, five. Looks like we got six. Cool. All right, now we're back down to the base. We're going to do a half double crochet into the next one right here. Like that. Take a look at our lava. This guy's looking cute. I like it. All right, now we're gonna do single crochets between this and the next lava bit. Just single crochets into the slip stitches that we did last round. Two. Three, I'm so glad this is working out the way I want it to. Four. <laughs> five okay looks like we got six single crochets there and then a half double crochet into the base now let's just go like right into the base let's see how that works one that's not bad and then we're just gonna do half double crochets all the way up if I can get a good stitch there we go oopsies Try this again. One. This crochet hook is slippery. There we go. Two. Three, and then four in the end. One, two, three, and four. All right. I'm really, really digging this. It is looking good to me. Bye, Naughty Flowers. Enjoy your dinner. I hope it's great. I hope it's as great as you are. All right, now we're just gonna have to double crochet back down. I think we actually will get this guy finished today. I believe in us. Two. Three. And then a half double crochet right in the, we'll just do it right in the base. See how that looks. Yes, 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 yes. Some kind of, hmm. eh, that's all right. Especially once we have it like sewn like this, and that's gonna look nice because it'll have like this really nice overflow. All right, one half double crochet. Oh, oh we did that on the base. Now we're just gonna do single crochets till the next one. One. Two. Hold on. Three. And then a half double crochet in the base. 
Okay, now I'm going to do half double crochets all the way up. This is our somewhat long one. One. Huh? Ah. Huh? Ah. Never get this stitch right. There we go. Two. Three. Echo Cat, don't forget about your tea. Well, now it's nice and cold tea. Yum. I actually really like cold tea. It's like boba. I love boba. Four. Yeah. Lots, lots of half double crochets up this one. Once we get to that really long one too, it's gonna be interesting. Almost there. It's, it's more difficult going up it than it is coming back down, for sure. Four into the end. One. Two. Three. Four. And then just half double crochets down, right? Oh, this guy's so cute. Oh my God, this is so cute. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, half double crochets back down. One. Two. Three. Five. Almost there. Anybody else been watching uh, the new Lord of the Rings show? I have been addicted to it. I love it. It's so good. And the um, uh, the House of the Dragon is, is also a really good show. All right, now I'm doing half double crochet to connect. I'm doing single crochets in the, there's only one slip stitch really between this one and the next, just the one. And then half double crochet in the next. Okay, now we're gonna do half double crochets up. Oops. Where am I from? I am from California. I lived in San Francisco for a long time, but I actually just moved last month to Southern California, Ventura County specifically. So I'm now in Ventura County with the goal to move to Ventura, the city, soon. Hopefully. We gotta, we gotta figure that part out, still. Two. Three. And then four in the end. Ooh, Naru Naruto. I've always wanted to watch Naruto. But it holds up, Leaf Sauce? You like it? You just started watching it for the first time? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Samantha, you're from Colorado. I actually really wanted to move to Colorado for a while. But I was too scared to leave my family and friends. All right, and we're just doing the same thing, half double crochet there, and then we're gonna do single crochets in the slip stitches up to the next volcano lava. One, two, we're almost done with the volcano, with the lava. Three, and then half double. Let's take a look real quick before we do our last one. I like this little lava a lot. I like the little ones. I mean, the big ones are important, you know, to get it like an idea of what it looked like, but I do like the little ones. He looks like he's got like fun hair, which is kind of cool. Do we have moderators? We do. Uh, uh, um, Cooper is our main moderator here. 
And we have a couple other ones, but they haven't shown up for, for a little bit. That's okay. Cooper keeps it on lock. Casey, how are you? How's my day been so far? My day's been A-okay. A-okay. I played a little bit of Super Smash Brothers earlier. Just a little bit. I need to get it. I needed to get it out of my system, you know? <laughs> uh, and I just bought the new Splatoon. Super excited about that. Which is a new Nintendo game. Hey -o. All right, this is the last one. We're doing the same thing, slip stitching or half double crocheting up. Ooh. We got frogs singing singing to us. Oh, this one is really long. <laughs> Couple more. Alright, this is the end of it, and then we'll just do four into the end and turn around. One. Two, three, four. Okay. Wow. Nice. Look at how deep that goes. Crazy. It's going to be interesting figuring out how to attach this to the body, but I think we can figure it out. One, two. Oh, I love this song. I'm so excited about the new Zelda being announced. I want it out already though. Comes out I think in May? So excited about that. Okay, almost down to the base. Quick question, favorite character for Super Smash Brothers? Uh, Leaf Saw says they love Ice Climbers or Yoshi. I am a Yoshi main through and through. That's my main character, uh, pretty much, that's all I play. I've been trying to play Bowser, but I just I'm I'm so good with Yoshi, I can't I just can't get to that level with anybody else. It's crazy. It's crazy. I was on a streamer's uh, live stream yesterday. He beat the butt out of me, but you know what? That's okay. All right, last bit, let's just do, I'm just gonna do a slip stitch to finish this up. We're gonna cut the yarn. And we're gonna use a second strand of yarn for sewing this onto the body, but do this. I just cut, slip stitched, cut, and then we're just going to uh, hide this last end in, and then we'll sew on the just the tips of all this volcano, all this lava rather with a second strand of yarn. And then we can add the tongue and we can get started on the on the strap. I don't think it'll take us that long to make it. Maybe, who knows? Okay, I'm just gonna hide it into a couple stitches in the back here, like that. And then we'll hide it a little bit better. Highly suggest using like wool or something kind of stretchy for this pattern, by the way. Pretty good. Cut it real close so it doesn't come through. And let's get rid of all these stitch markers as well. Cool. We still have the bat in here. <laughs> ah. Wow, you're gonna try to 100% that? Good luck. Good luck, Cooper. 
Samantha, you're going to be able to find this pattern at clubcrochet.com slash volcano. It's not going to be there yet because we haven't finished it, but it will be up there soon. All right, so now we're going to take this, um, an extra strand of this uh, orange yarn, and we're going to sew on just the tips of all the volcano edges. So let's start like, let's start like right here. Okay. So I'm just gonna find where this goes, how, like where it can connect closest. We're just gonna go up through where the tip of that is. And then we'll go in through the next stitch and in through the next stitch on the body. Let's see how that looks. Because if we just do that end, because that's what I, I'm thinking we literally just do the tip of it because it'll look like it's floating, you know? Maybe that's a bad idea. Yeah, you know what? Let's do, actually, let's just do the tip all the uh, too much yarn. Okay, here's what I'm going to start with. We're going to start at the top, under, under where the hole is, right there, and then we'll work our way down it. How's that? And we'll keep just a little bit left over so we can double knot it when we get to the end. But I am just kind of haphazardly sewing this on. I'm not going to do it too detailed because you know what? We don't need it that detailed. We just need it to be attached. We don't need to go crazy with it. that pretty nice go up through the base here that, and then I'm just gonna work my way back up it and just like two stitches just so that we have the end of this yarn closer to the tip I mean, closer to the top so that when we work our way around, there's not like a whole bunch of like strands on the inside. And I think that's pretty good. We'll switch over. I'll just do, let's do one way up here. Just so that, again, so that this end of the yarn doesn't get any too far away from it. So we don't have too many loops on the inside. That's pretty good. Look, I think we have just enough room in the back of it to get a to get our strand of yarn through it. So hopefully, hopefully. Okay. Down this way. What's my favorite crocheted project? Oh boy, what a question. Uh, I think my favorite crochet that I've ever made, I think that would be, oh wait, this one, actually we can't do that. We can't do that. Let's undo that. I think my favorite crochet project that I've ever made, does Stitch count? Because Stitched, I think, is my favorite crochet project. That's my tabletop game that I made. But it's kind of like a different it's kind of like a different answer to your question so I don't know if that really counts or not but that is my favorite it's really cool uh, I really like all the burbs I can't choose a favorite when it comes to the burbs though although it might be long pigeon so so the answer maybe might be long pigeon I don't know Let's fill this guy up with dinosaurs so that so that we have some like space here or so I mean so we have some like cushion 
you know, so it holds its shape just a little bit. So we're just gonna fill it with some dinosaurs, which is what it's gonna be filled with eventually anyhow. Just a few. So it has more of a shape. I guess we could have done stuffing, but it's more fun to do, to do dinosaurs. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. See, now he's got a more of a lumpy, nice, nice lumpy shape to him. It's looking great. Oh, he's looking so good. Super proud of this. So far, so good. Just like that. There we go. You can kind of see what's happening on the inside there. See, so we do have some, like, long strands, but as long as you keep it, like, Kind of, kind of close to the end. We don't have like super duper long, long loops stuck on the inside. There we go. We're gonna go all the way over to this one. Ah, we got a bit of a tangle going on. I think we fixed it though. Wait, 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 I did it again. I went basically where the hole is. Got to undo this last one. Let's try this again. We want to go low, under where the hole is. Start there. Like that maybe. How did I come up with my channel name, Club Crochet? Well, I think I was just really, I just think it was like a perfect name. I like, I wanted it to be a club. It's an alliteration. I really like alliterations. And uh, it was available online. The website clubcrochet.com was available and I was like, I want that now. Um, I think I was actually kind of talking about this a bit in the last live stream about how I just I really like purchasing um, uh, I really like purchasing websites I have like an, a strange addiction to purchasing websites I don't know why but I have I own a lot of different weird websites it's just fun every time I come up with an idea and I get a good name for it I'm like is that website available? If it is, I buy it. Hey, that's looking pretty good so far. We only got three of the lavas done, but like, that is looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I don't love these little strands on the inside, but you know, there's only so much we can do. And we're making it look really good on the outside. Whoa, Sunshine, you have a, you have a dino that's one inch, an inch high? Oh my God, that's very tiny. What's the tiniest thing everybody's crocheted? I'll start. I made a little tiny goblin once, super tiny. He's like, I don't even know where he is, honestly, but he's literally that big. He's this big, he's so tiny. I made him with embroidery yarn. He's very cute. There's the hole, so we gotta watch the hole. 
if you're gonna go. Under that, right, that's the hole, yeah. Under it, there. Yeah, I don't know if we'll end up making the strap or not. I feel like the strap might like, might make trouble for us. But we don't really need it also, you know? Yeah, I mean, the little ones, they're really not that. It's just like, it hurts your eyes a little bit to do. It's not, it doesn't take that long, I don't think. At least the the little tiny uh, goblin didn't take like that long for me to crochet. It was more just like, like, you know, staring at it like, ugh. Hurt your, hurt your brain a little bit. Some people, I know, uh, I know a few artists, uh, crochet artists that crochet a lot of miniatures and they actually have like a magnifying glass for that, which I'm sure helps a whole lot. I'm actually just going to go like this to save us some, save us some time. That's pretty good. This one ended up being a little bit crooked, but you know what? That's fine. It's lava. You know, it's allowed to do whatever it wants. It's lava. Can't stop it. Oh, it looks... Guys, look at this dude. He looks so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's like I've been crocheting for a really long time. Or something. Kind of like that. There's the hole, right? Wait. There's the hole. So we need to go under it right there. Oh, we need to change the, I think we need to change the music. What's the biggest, hey Emma, how are you? Um, what is the biggest thing I've crocheted? Uh, we're close to it. Uh, I did make a, hold on, I gotta change the music. No, we don't want holidays. Let's go to sunny days. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, the biggest thing I've crocheted is probably a uh, bluey which I showed last live stream. Here. I think this is the largest thing that I've crocheted. Yeah. Hello. I have made a blanket. I have made a blanket. I have made a blanket once, but I don't know. I think this is the largest thing that I've crocheted that I'm proud of. I think. I think. Okay, we're almost at the end actually of the volcano or of the lava, sewing the lava on at least. And then we can work on we need to add a tongue. And Maybe work on the strap. It's gonna go on the inside. I honestly don't know if we really need a strap or not, but 
you know, we'll probably do it. We're almost there, though. You know, I keep just spinning it around as I sew it. Okay. Heyo, Frozen Fantasy, quick suggestion. Started tufting, and you think I might... Oh, you know what? Someone actually told me about that. They made me a, like a tufted, uh, uh, what's it called? I think tufting is what I'm thinking it is. They made a, uh, a four-leaf clover for me. I think that's what you're talking about, but I'm not totally sure. To be honest, is that what it is? What are you making with your tufting? That's how people make like lace stuff, right? Will I be releasing more Bonoa patterns? Heck yes, of course I will be. Uh, pretty soon, actually. Once I'm done with, I need to make this. Uh, I need to finish up a nether dinosaur pattern. And I need to make a um, the pumpkin. But then I'm going to be working on Bonomals. I I've, No, I've, I've been like... Ugh. I've been totally slacking on the bottom of ones. There's just like other patterns that need to be made for the kits and stuff, like quicker. So I do have plans though to make more bonimals, to make more, uh, and to make more burbs actually. More burbs are coming. Actually, probably burbs are kind of be coming out before more bonimals because it's our burb day in November. So I'm gonna be working on some new burb patterns there. It's our sixth. I think Club Crochet's sixth burp day. And by burp day, I mean birthday. It's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Okay, I think this is our last one. Church of Perch! <laughs> Alright. Nearly done. I just need to get close to where this other end is so I can double knot it and hide these ends in. I think this is good, close enough. Double knot these two ends. One, two. All right, let's hide this end in. I'll hide both the ends actually. But we'll start with this one. I'm not a huge fan of all the strands on the inside, but you know, we did our best. And they're pretty well secured, I think, so I don't think we'll have too many issues, but I know they're there. 
that's the problem. So I'm just hiding in these two last little ends. Like this. Let's cut them close. One. Two. Buckle my shoe. All right, our volcano is like kind of done, but well, let's give it a good look. Look at that. Wow. Much volcano. Very wow. Almost filled entirely with dinosaurs. I think we need more dinosaurs though. More dinosaurs. All right. He's a fat, now he's turning into a fat volcano. Chubby volcano. My baby. My kitty. All right, I think that, I mean, I can do more at the very top, but that's pretty filled with, with dinosaurs. You wanna see how many we've got in there? We, need, we do need to give him a tongue still, I think. But here's, here's how many vo uh, dinosaurs we've got in here, ready? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, a lot of raptors, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, that's so many dinosaurs. Eleven, <laughs> twelve, thirteen. 14, 14, 14 dinosaurs. Beautiful, what a beaut. What a handsome, what a handsome volcano. Good boy. All right, let's add a, let's give him a tongue. We need a pink yarn. Pink yarn. Uh, and we need a smaller crochet hook too. Um, just like how we did the eyes. We used a smaller crochet hook for the eyes. One second. Sorry, I left my tiny crochet hook in the other room. All right, so let's add just a little tiny tongue. Just a little one. Two. Three. Derpiest volcano that ever did live. I actually think we're just gonna do a simple half double crochet tongue. Let's see how that looks. One and two. Yes, very tiny. Perfect. So for that tongue, all I did was I chained uh, four. I skipped two chains, and then I half double crocheted, starting into the third chain from the hook, I half double crocheted two. So I just made a little tiny tongue that we're gonna sew on just under the mouth. Oh, and the eyebrows, yes, thank you for reminding me. And the eyebrows, we need to make that too. Let's see how this tongue looks. Oops. There we go. Okay. Tongue? Cute. Cute. Me. Alright, let's see what let's see if we can do some fun eyebrow work. <laughs> I love how the ends of the lava are kind of going up. It looks like he's got little hair. Like like they're just like little 
Oh my god, it's so cool. That looks so good! Okay. I don't know if eyebrows are gonna add much to it, but we can totally try. And I think I'll just basically do what I did with these long chains for eyebrows. Um, I actually might use this smaller yarn, or smaller crochet hook, to see how that works. Let's try that. What's gonna go in the bag? All oh, these dinosaurs! Boop, boop. It's our dino bag. Oh, Emma. Emma just said, have I ever tried making a Pikmin? Have I ever made a Pikmin? Of course. Let me show you some. I got a bunch of them. Well, not that many, but I have some. I have one in almost every color. Here's a purple one. Oh. You got, I love Pikmin. They're one of my favorite games. Here's a white one. Ah. The white one has a hard time sitting up because I wanted him to sit, but his flower always messes him up. In the background, we have a red one, right? His name is Leonidas. There's a red one. There's a to there's actually a pattern on the website for them too. Very cute. And then I've got a yellow and blue one, but uh, I honestly am not sure where they're at right now. Probably off on a mission. Two, four, five, six, seven. I think we'll do, let's do, I'm gonna do eight, eight chains. So I chained eight with our red yarn. We're gonna skip two of the chains and I'm just gonna half double crochet all the way across. One, actually let's do, yeah, we'll do a half double crochet all the way across these chains. Two, three, four, Five. Do we like it? Yeah. Let's just do one more in the last one here. Six. So I did eight chains, skipped two, half double crocheted all the way across. We're going to look at this. Do we like this for the eyebrow or do we want it to be bigger, I wonder? I think this is actually good, just enough. You know, just like that. Just, just over the eye, small eyebrow. I think that's just enough. Okay, so the last thing I'll just, I'm gonna slip stitch into the same chain that we did our half double crochet in, like that, to give it more of a rounded look. And we can cut it. Pull it through. And we can sew this onto, onto the head with a little caterpillar. Like that. And we'll do, let's make another one real quick too. Uh, the... <laughs> the, uh, the pattern for the purple one, I'll, I, I haven't finished yet, but the pattern for all the other ones is on the website. It's at, um, uh, the rough drafts pattern, but it should be up pretty soon on the website. I just haven't had a chance to record the video tutorial for it yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Skip two, half double crochet across. One, two, Oopsies, I messed one of those up. Let's try that again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, one more. Six, and then a slip stitch into that same one. Cut the yarn, and we'll sew these onto the face. Right? Yeah, I like this. Yeah, I like them. Okay.
see. Is this too far over? Yeah. I think I want it to be more like... Well... Actually, that's pretty good. Right? Like that? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I need to change the song. I just realized we'll get in trouble for this song. There we go. Okay, coming together. All right, and yeah, I'm just sewing this right over the eye, really simple. I'm not really thinking too much about it, to be honest. Not stressing about it. And then we'll just double knot these two ends on the inside. This song is fun. Like that. That's fun, Zoe. Yes, I have used that, done that in the past. You can use a uh, nail polish to uh, make your safety eyes look like different colors. You can also use whiteout to make them white, I found. Uh, and whiteout's actually even easier to use because it dries fast. But you can only really use white for whiteout, obviously, because there's not like glittery whiteout. But it is a fun little trick you can do. Okay, and then this one over here, we'll, we'll start right on the outside. That. Yeah. Go up and sew this eyebrow on. Thank you again, whoever reminded me about the eyebrow. That would have been a bummer to forget. We are nearly done though. That's pretty good. Kind of wish it was down a little bit more, but that's okay. Two. 
Can I show you how to do a belly button ring? What? What do you mean? I don't know what that means, Philip. Do you want you want a crocheted belly button ring? That looks pretty good. Okay. Last bit that we want to get going here is a strap. So, what we're gonna do first is cut a long string of our orange yarn. This way we can tell how long we really want the string to go. Uh, and we want it to come out. Um, Probably have the ends come out on the back, right? The part that you pull tight, probably on the back. So we'll start by going right here. And then the other end comes out right here. Then I have to go under that. the other hole. I'm having a hard time finding, okay, there's one, there's one, this one, and this one. Okay, so this, and go under. I mean, I guess we could just do a chain, like a long chain, but yeah, actually we might be able, we might just do that to make it quick and easy. And this end comes out right there. A belly button ring for the orcs and goblins? Okay. Um, yeah, I can show you that. One sec. I mean, I think it's pretty much just an embroidery kind of situation, but I can look into it. One sec. I'll show you. I actually, you know what? I don't have a belly button ring on any of them. I don't think. No way. That one? Really? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. We're just looking at how this is going to look before we actually start making it. Okay. She needs to come out right somewhere I think like right here but honestly I can't tell really let's go right here and just see how that looks 
Okay, so the idea is to have two stra to, to have a long string in it, and they both come out on this side, so that we can have like two strings that we can pull and have it close the top like that. So that, that we don't have to worry about the dinosaurs falling out. And, and it'll give us something to hold on to. That's the idea. Let's fill this guy back up with dinos really quick. So that he's dance. Okay. Alright, so that's how long the string's gonna have to be. Probably about like that long. You know? Like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a chain and then slip stitch into all the chains back down to make it really, uh, to make it a thicker one. I was gonna do a strap like I did on the, um, the bottom, you know, let me just show you. Let me show you. Okay, so I was gonna do one like this. I was gonna do, because this is our bonimal, our monomal rather, that holds all of the bonimals. Like that. And what we were gonna do is we were gonna make straps just like this one. And on the ends, they have it has little hands, so that he can grab onto the bonimals. Show you. So like, here's a little dragon bonimal. On the bottom. This one. There you go. So he can hold onto the bonimals, right? And then he can put it into his mouth. Get in there. But this takes a while to do, and. I mean, it does look really good, but I just don't know if we want to put all that time into this. Like, look at that. It looks pretty good, but it just, these take so long to make, and it's very tedious. And I don't know if we really care about having little hands, because our dinosaurs aren't, aren't, uh, magnetic. So what I think we can do instead to save a lot of time and to make the strap slightly smaller, because this is significantly, like it's smaller than the monomal. Look at that, it's like way smaller. So I don't think we need as thick of straps. Cause I think the, this thick of straps would maybe be kind of weird on it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I just being lazy? Um, I, hey Nicole, Nicole's in the chat. Nicole's my business partner. Hi Nicole. Uh, what colors are in your kitchen? Orange. A lot of orange. Oranges and browns and teal and some dark blue. Yeah. Why don't we do a chain? Oh, whoopsies. My bad. There we go. Why don't we do a chain for the for this and then I'll do an I chord off screen. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna undo all this all right, I'm gonna take it out, and this is how long we wanna make it. It's actually pretty short. Maybe we could do an I-cord then. Five, ten. Let's see, let's see, how long will this I-cord take us? I think how you do an I-cord is you go like, I gotta remember, but I think what you do is you do, actually, let's leave a long change. Cause it's not that long of a string. Let's see, let's see how it'll work. I think what you do is you do three chains. One, two, three. And then you pull through one and two like that. And then you, this one's, this part's really hard. You, you take these loops, the last two loops off the yarn or off the hook, you hold on to them and then you yarn over with the end and you pull it through the first one and you go into the next one. Yarn over and you pull it through that one. And you go through this last one, and you yarn over and pull through that one. I'm pretty sure that's how it's done. 
and then you just do it again. Take it out, pull through, next one, pull through, last one. Am I doing this right? I can't remember. Third one. And then it just makes this like really long string. Actually, I think we could do this. We could do this. Right? Yeah, we could do this. And I can talk to the chat while we're doing it. How are you guys doing? Three. Flip it up. Two and three. Yeah, it won't take us that long. It's not that long of a string, so we're gonna make it work. I'm putting an extra effort just for you, Mr. Volcano Bag. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love this strap, Mr. Volcano Bag. Hopefully it's not too thick though. Might be really thick and hard to get through those holes, but we'll make it work. One, two. Who? We're playing a dangerous game there with that last one. Three. Hannah! No, I haven't been playing through the tune yet. I just bought it. Literally, it should be here. Actually, it might be here, like now. I just bought it last night. I wanted to get it from Target, like just to buy it in store, but they didn't have any, so I had to order it online. But it should be here soon. I wanted to get a physical copy of it because uh, I'm out of space on my Switch. And I didn't want to like, you know, I don't know. Okay, is this what, is this, we're liking this? It's gonna be hard to get it through those straps, but you know what? It, it might look really good. I think the hard part is gonna get be getting it behind the lava. I don't think we need magnets on it, honestly, Nicole, because the strap itself will hold it closed when we pull it tight. But we were gonna put little hands on the ends of these straps. Maybe. Maybe. I don't, I kind of don't think we need them, but we might. You know how I am. Sometimes I just go, I just get a little extra. How far are we? I think we're about a tenth of the way there. I should make a xenomorph pattern, but small. Xenomorphs. Oopsies. Man, these straps are kind of hard to do. Oh, whoops. We'll get it through all that. Fix that little loop that I messed up. You gotta just be like really delicate so you don't accidentally pull the loops through. Oh, this one's really close. There we go. Fixed it. One. Two. They're kind of, you know what, These, this strap is kind of fun to do. It's very relaxing. Three. One. Uh-oh. Two. Hold on. Don't you 
Don't you do that. There we go. Three. Okay, we're about, eh, about a quarter of the way there. Hey, this is going pretty well. This volcano will be strapping. Cooper hates I chords. I get that. I get it. It's kind of fun to do, but they are a little bit like, ugh. We could have just done a chain stitch. What I like about I-Cords is they're really stretchy, though. Two. But they're just... I feel very fragile making them. There we go. Three. More yarn! Uh-oh. There we go. What's a loose loose set? What is that? Is that like a machine that makes I chords for you? Also, I heard knitting them is pretty fun, too. But I don't knit, so I don't know. I think we're about... Yeah, we're not doing bad. We're not doing too bad. Hello, Adon's World. How are you? Hope you're having a great day. We're crocheting an I-cord very delicately. What are you doing? What are you making? There we go. Boom. These little strands are bugging me, but whatever. They're little, little loops that I missed. It's nice when it goes like really well. A two prong fork like tool to make I chords. Oh my God, I'm gonna totally check that out. A loose set. Oh, that was a good one. That was a really good one. Once you get in the zone. One. Two. Three, boom. I don't even know. I don't know why I keep checking it to see how far we're gotten because I mean, actually, we're. You know what? It goes quicker than I feel like it does. Feels like we're making like barely any progress each time we make one of these, but you know what? We're actually making pretty good progress. Two, three. Oh. Duh. Yikes. That one almost got away from us. There we go. Three. So anybody been watching House of the Dragon, the new Game of Thrones show? It's a little comp... Uh, confusing, but it's pretty good, I think. It's a little like, oh, it's very Game of Thronesy, you know. Three. 
pull it tight. About halfway. Hello, Lachlan. How are you? You made it. All the way from Australia. This one's this one's gonna be dangerous. Two, uh oh, I can barely see where the loop is. There it is. Yikes on bikes. That's pretty good. Three, there we go. I saved it. <laughs> and Egypt, you are an Egypt fanatic, planning to study Egyptology. You love a mummy. That's awesome. I studied um, uh, anthropology in college, so I did a lot of archaeology, which of course led to a lot of Egyptology which I think is very cool. You know what's cool to think about? When the Great Pyramids were was built, uh, there were woolly mammoths still. Isn't that crazy to think about? Crazy. Crazy. You know what's also crazy to think about? When we are closer to uh, when a T-Rex was on the planet than a T-Rex was to when a Stegosaurus was on the planet. That's how far apart Stegosaurus and T-Rex were from each other. That's crazy. That's super crazy. Super crazy. Wow, this is getting hypnotic. Two, three. Okay, how far are we? Looks pretty good. Gosh, I hope this isn't gonna be too thick for the, <laughs> for what we made, but we'll find out. Okay, we've got, yeah, we got a little bit more. No, uh, yeah, no, T-Rex and Stegosaurus weren't at the same time. Those are different, from different times. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like, like the Jurassic versus the Jurassic or whatever, but they weren't on the planet at the same time. Very interesting. Very, vortly interesting. I love this game. Super Mario Sunshine. Love it. I should have made another one. I know facts. I know facts. Can you show us the bunny in from D and D? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's not done. I'm still working on it, but this is what it is so far. I haven't had a chance to work on it for the past couple of days, but here he is so far. He's pretty cute. He's got. I put wires in the ears, and I'm gonna put wires in the hands so that he can have different. Like his ears can like be different size, and I'm gonna do buttons for eyes and then eyebrows, black eyebrows. And then he's got his little hands. And then we're going to do little legs. I'm going to put wires in the arms and the legs, too, so I can make them poseable. He's very cute. His name is, um... 
His name is Bun Bun, but he goes by BB. I like to work on it during D&D games. So it actually might be done by uh, next uh, next week, next live stream. Next live stream, by the way, next Thursday, same time, same place, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But next Thursday, we're going to be making, uh, I think we're going to make some dinosaurs to finish up September. And then we're going to get into our October stuff. We got a lot. We got a lot to make in October, guys. A lot of ghosts and zombies and all that fun fun jazz. I'm very excited. Pumpkins, of course. Maybe some bats. Maybe some... I don't know. Witches? There's always so much fun stuff to make in October. One of my favorite times to crochet, personally. What's your favorite time to crochet? Do you have a favorite season to crochet it? Okay. Let's see where we're at. Ooh. We're getting there. Look at that. Almost. It's like... Like a third left. But we'll be done soon. I don't think we're going to do hands on this. Maybe I'll do hands separate at a different time, but I don't think it needs hands because uh, of the magnet thing. And there's a lot. There's already a lot going on with this guy. His eyebrows, his mouth, and the tongue, and everything. I'm kind of afraid that if we add little hands to it, people are going to be like, what are those? You know? You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Oh, I'm so excited to show, to share this on like Instagram and stuff though. We've spent a long time making this volcano. This might be one of the biggest projects that we've made on the live stream. What do you guys think? I guess the monomal is pretty long too, but I don't know. This one just seems like it took a little longer. Stop looking. Stop looking, Lou. I keep, like, trying to... Am I there yet? After, like, doing two rounds of it. No, you're not. You got work to do still. Two. Three. One. Yikes. Yikes on bikes on that loop, too. Three. Two. Three. I'm excited to play uh, Splatoon Story Mode, too. Because I haven't played, I didn't play the last Splatoon story mode, and everybody said it was so good. And I was like, oh, really? I never played it. So I'm excited to try this new one. Oh, boy, this, this loop, definitely. Playing a dangerous game. There we go. Fixed it. Saved it. I feel like every time I'm doing one of these, I'm, like, barely... Making it through without messing it up.
Oh, I messed a loop up there. Oh well. Oh, did you? Did you love the, the demon Instagram reel? That one was pretty funny. Oh, hey, Latchlin, you should post it to the Club Crochet Reddit subreddit. Yeah, what Zoe said. We have a Club Crochet subreddit. It's just r slash Club Crochet. You should share your stuff there. And then obviously we have the Discord and the Facebook group too. I personally use Reddit a lot. A little too much sometimes. Just sometimes though. Okay, how are we looking here? Oh, so close. Guys, so close, look at that. Only like, I don't know, 20 more maybe? Count them. This will be one. One. Two. Three. Dang, we're on a roll. Four. Oh, shoot. This one's getting out of hand. Oh, boy. Whoo, whoo, that one was close. That one was really close. I don't even think 20. We only need a few more. Only a few more. Salmon Run is great too. Is the new Salmon Run good, Hannah? I really want to try the new. It like, I liked Salmon Run on the last one. That was actually my favorite mode. I'm really curious about the new Salmon Run. I hope that one's really good too. Oh, like three or four more. That's it. We can do it fast. Here we go. Oops. <laughs> I already messed it up. Dude, let's do to five. Oopsies. Four. Let's do one more and see, and then we'll check. I think this will be it, though. Two. Three. Okay. Let's see. Oh no, couple more. Okay, now five more. Last five, last five. Now we good. Last five. One. One. that one up. Two. 
two. Oh, that one's perfect. Three. Oh, I messed it up. Oh no. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, I think it's like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Man, right at the end, we're messing it up. One. Two. Oh. Three, there we go. Okay, two more. Okay, one more. It's like a weird game. One, two. Okay, good. All right. Let's see that strand again. Where did I put it? Did it fall? Okay. Oh yeah, that's long enough for sure. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this and this. We'll cut it. It was somewhat long end. I'm gonna pull these through. Okay. You wanna start right here somewhere. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole. Okay, we're going to start right here. One. Two. <gasps> pull the two mark. Two, pull the two far. Gosh, my breath, I went. <gasps> I, I was so scared. This is it, guys, this is the end of it. That? Oh, I'm so excited. Where's that? Where's the hole? Is this the hole? There's the hole. Oops. Oh no. What'd I do? We'll have to fix that. We'll have to fix that part. Yeah, if you can get enough likes, we'll definitely do a giveaway next live stream. For sure. Almost there. That. Oh, I think I messed up somewhere. Because that's supposed to come out there. I think right here is supposed to be one. Maybe not. Let's have it come out the same place as the other one. Let's see how that looks. Okay, all right, so we got our two strands, right? We'll hide these little ends in there. I also need to hide all these little loops, messed up loops, but it's basically done. Got the two strands out the side, filled with dinosaurs. We can probably fill it with one or two more. 
one. Let's do a little one. Here's a weird little dinosaur. We'll put that one in there. Okay. We pull it tight. I close at the top. Hey, we got a volcano bag. Pretty awesome. Oh my God, it's so cool. Open it up a little bit again. All right, let's fix these little loops that we messed up though. So first is this one. This one we could just tuck in like that. That's pretty good. And then the loops on the ends of this, we need to fix a little bit. This loop. We just hide it in there like that. And this one, same thing. Yeah. That's pretty good. And then we'll just hide these ends in. Unless we want to keep them because we want to make hands, but I don't think we need hands. Pretty awesome. All right. Just gonna weasel this all the way up as far as I can. That far. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cut that. Boom, that's how we roll. Thank you, Echo Cat. Agreed. All right. So here's the dealio, guys. I'm going to get this uh, pattern on the website ASAP. Uh, probably expect it on Monday. But by next live stream at the latest, I'll get this on the website. We'll have a new pattern on the website. How cool is that? Pretty cool. And then uh, I'll be back next Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Same time as this one. And we're going to be crocheting probably some dinosaurs. Oh my gosh, so cool. Check that out, you guys. Oh my gosh, let's get a look. Good look at this. Look at the little dinky little face, little eyebrows. That loop's annoying me, but that's okay. No, it's not. It's annoying me. There we go, really hiding in there, okay. All right, now let's get a good look. Huh? Nice little lava off the top right there. I got the two strands out the side so we can pull it tight, close it up. Switch the camera. Look at this little dude. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm so proud of this. You guys, I'm so proud of it. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Oh, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, wood volcano again. All right, guys, thank you again for joining. Um, I'm probably gonna make this pattern maybe membership exclusive. I'm not totally sure just yet, just because it took a long time to make. Um, but it is so cool. I'm very, very proud of it. That's one of, this is probably one of my favorite things that we've made on this live stream. So thank you so much for joining me. And for those who were here uh, the whole time, for all three parts of this, thank you for joining. And everybody that's donated, thank you so much for your donations. I super duper appreciate it, seriously. You're the reason why this channel can even survive. So I really, really, really want to say thank you. Um, if you'd like to support, uh, consider a membership. 
that'll get you all the patterns on my website. I do a bunch of them. Uh, we're also doing a lava run playtest right now. We're going to be launching a second wave of the playtest with single player mode soon. Um, you can learn more, I think, at just lavarun.com. If that doesn't work yet, I'll make it work uh, in just a second. And yeah, I'll see you guys next live stream. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. And. Mm, no, you hang up first. You know what? You hang up first. Stop. You. Stop. You hang up first. No, you ever. No, you ever. No, I'm not going to hang up first. I'm not hanging up first because you're going to hang up first. No, no, no. I don't want to hear it. You hang up first. You first. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Echo Cat. Bye, Abby. Bye, Sunshine. Bye, Cooper. Thank you guys for being so kind and nice. I appreciate you. But really, it would be really nice if you hung up first. Chuckles told me to... Chuckles. Dude. I thought you were on my side. Chuckles, you are such a backstabber. Mm-mm. Okay, bye!